podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Boxingvoice.com. Dollar D.B.L.C. Productions. I must be the greatest. Let's get that done. I've been here before and I know what it takes. Hard work, dedication, boxingwoods.com. Man, what is he the best. Win, lose, or draw, we coming to fight. Can't nobody take that We're coming to fight. They do what they can, I do what I want. Oh. When you look at how he's oh. that left hook, it starts out really low. He's looking to see what kind of character he oh. is. Oh, I know left and right by Maidana. And it's all Marcos Maidana here to a lot of those punches off his shoulder. There was... I think anybody out there listening to the key, anybody who thinks that that's a dangerous deal to make, I think mean, it's a perfect deal. Watch this, I'll call you. 15 minutes. Can you be strong for 15 minutes? Can you? Listen, the concentration is weaving a little bit. Pick it up. Pick it up! things about we got to deal with his body shots i don't think you want to be that close to us he's talking about letting the left hook go then you're going to take the left hook let's get that done look the fire's coming are you ready for the fire we're firemen we are firemen the heat doesn't bother us we live in the heat we train in the heat let's get that done Danny, how much of the differences are for you at this weight? You're not weight, man. Yeah, I'm working out. I lost like 35. Yeah. Okay. Um, every fight is a threat. Puerto Rico! Miguel Aguirre! Oh! Boxingwords.com. We're not going to do that. We're gonna take this fight against Keith. We're gonna get less than you, Keith, but we're gonna get more the second time. So go ahead and make it two times. Boxingwords.com. My job is to focus on, on boxing, going out there being the best that I can be. All right, you men, please, my instruction. Protect yourselves at all times. Take my commands. I want you to touch gloves now, man. Boxing in the bell. Box, 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 Somebody's going to get stalked. We don't know who, but, you know, I'm pretty confident in myself. Um, you know, and we're ready. Come. I must be the greatest. Come. I took up the world. Boxingwoods.com. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Monday morning edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. I am your host, Nesta Gibbs, and we're here to discuss Subriel Matias and the fact that he's still hunting for an opponent as the Liam Bottle fight that was heavily rumored has fallen out. According to Frank Smith, CEO of Matchroom, and I quote, I don't think it will be Liam Bottle. I know there was a lot of online about it being bottle, but I don't think it will be. We are working through the list of opponents now, but it won't be him. And he told this according to Seconds Out. Now, um, gotta be money issues. Let's just be real. Uh, because uh, we all knew it was gonna be bottle. Bottle is obviously a in-house fight, easy to make. Who 
is going to replace Pato now? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Elvis Rodriguez. Obviously, we had Elvis and his manager on. His manager made it clear to me that, you know, he's uh, gotten the green light from Al Heyman to sign with anybody. And Al will just be their advisor. So if he needs to sign to match room for this fight, I'm sure he's been green lit. And it makes the most sense. If you're going to do a fight in Puerto Rico, the best thing to do is have a Dominican versus your Puerto Rican, giving you the ultimate Caribbean rivalry and making it a big fight in those islands. Now, it's not like DR can just fly over to America for the fight as, you know, you need a visa and all that good shit. But, you know, there are a nice amount of Dominicans living in Puerto Rico that have migrated throughout the years. And uh, it will still get his hometown Puerto Rican crowd riled up to see him beat a Dominican. Elvis is a good fighter. He's been in there with some decent names. Joseph Adorno, uh, Kenneth Sims. Not a bad fighter. Not a bad fighter. Um, and again, it adds that rivalry. Now, there are a few other names that could possibly be in the mix, Regis Progre, it's just that he doesn't look like he's been training. Let's be real, right? Like, Regis ain't out here looking like he's ready to take a fight. Um, He's training MMA and shit like that. So that is a bit strange for me. But Regis is with Matchroom. That's a in-house fight. That could be something that they can do. Um, He's number six in the IBF. Now, uh, you got... Matthew German from Canada. I hope they don't go that deep in the well, right? Like, why? Why would the zone allow it? Maybe the zone should call, like, Golden Boy and be like, hey, do you really want this nondescript Matthew German to get a a, a title shot and not Barboza the number 10? I get it. Barboza may have his own route. He may have his own trajectory, but... At least the call should come from the network executives because who the fuck is Matthew? But cool, cool, let's move on. Like I said, Barboza number 10. So you got your Mexico versus Puerto Rico there. Cross promotion, though. The pot now needs to be split. You got Elvis Rodriguez that technically is a promotional free agent advised by Al Heyman, and you have your Dominican versus Puerto Rican rivalry. Jose Ramirez, once again, you got... Mexico versus Puerto Rico. I just don't believe that Ramirez is going to go to Puerto Rico, let alone fight uh, Matias off of a layoff. Uh, he hasn't even got one in that I remember. And if he has, not memorable. You got Andy Hirioka from Japan. Uh, and I also hope that it's not him. Then you got Stephen Claggett, who top rank offered him at number 15. So it's really slim pickings out there. It's really slim pickings. I mean, Pro Gray would be the best option. It's a, it's a matchroom option. Jermaine is a Yvonne Michelle option. Barboza is a Golden Boy option. Elvis is a Al Heyman advised option, not a PBC fighter, uh, like not a promoted fighter. He's PBC advised. Um, as told to me by his manager. And then you got Jose Ramirez with Golden Boy and Andy Hidioka uh, with o- o- Oshashi Promotions. So, slim pickings. Slim pickings. They can do a tank, though. They can do a tank, right? They can, they can bring someone up. Let's say they can do a tank and a Canelo. So, let's look at the rankings. Right, This is our 140 pounds. He's... Obviously, number uh, in the IBF. One and two are vacant. Hitchens is busy. Catterall is busy. Ryan is busy. Regis available, but is he training? He's dropped the book yesterday. Is he training? I seen him training MMA. Is he fight ready? Cool. You got... Uh, oh, shit. Why is this not screen sharing? Fudge. All right. Now you should see it. 
So we got a vacant number one and two. Hitchens is busy. He's fighting Gustavo Lemon, your number eight. So number three and number eight are busy. Um, he just beat Urshigev. And, 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 and like I said, top rank offered Stephen Claggett. So the, the names are very slim there. Like, not a lot to choose from in that IBF. Now, can he bring someone up? Not really seeing the name that can move up and go to Puerto Rico for a fight that um, name value, I don't see anyone. Maybe Abdullayev could get offered to move up. I would have said Luca's body, but he's, he hasn't done enough at 35 to even warrant him moving up. At least Abdullayev has fought some names and beat some names at 35. Now, no one really, you know, can he bring someone down? Not really seeing that either. These guys are big. I would say Alexis Rocha, as it's been tough for him at welterweight with the Rashidi loss and the Giovanni loss. Maybe he's small, but he's a puncher. So I'm sure, you know, it's not easy to make that weight. You know, Sabril's in a really tough situation here in terms of uh, who they can find him. But Matchroom is good at that, right? Like, Matchroom doesn't use this top 15. You know, they find their guys international. Um, you, you, you know, they'll throw in some UK guys, some Ireland guys, a, a person from Spain and, you know, Frank Warren, who has nothing to do with this, but, you know, he goes to Ghana a lot uh, and, and gets opponents. So we'll see. Shout out to Lucas. I mean, I'm about to call him Lucas Matias. Shout out to Sabrell Matias that uh, it, it really looks like he's going to get the easiest hometown fight ever. You know, I mean, in terms of, again, competition, it is just slim pickings of what is available for him to fight. So, you know, whatever that check was going to be, um, man, he's going to make it pretty easy. Uh, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't, uh, hopefully he doesn't fight down to that level of opposition, right? Um, and gets in that ring and does what he's supposed to do. Sorry about that. I thought Discord was open, but of uh, I've re I've reconnected it now. Apologies, apologies to my Discord people for whatever reason. I thought it was open and working. Um, but yeah, man, this is what we're talking about. Sabril Matias looking for an opponent. Um, and who could it be? Very, 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 very slim pickings. Very slim pickings. Um. And again, I'm look even looking at 47. Like maybe I have an easy one, but could he make the weight? Like I, I can't see any of these IBF ranked 147 pounders in the top 15 being able to suck down to 40. And and the 35ers, they just don't look sexy. Maybe they go for Angel Fierro in the fight. Angel Fierro is in the IBF at 35, and uh, he is a matchroom fighter. Maybe they could throw him the bone, but I I, I mean. You know, he he's he's this type of boxer that probably is going to get beat up really bad because he likes to move. I, I don't, again, I don't see what they can do. And this is why I chose this particular topic because uh, I guess it'll make us think for sure. Um, and it gives uh, Matchroom that, that, that opportunity to show how good and creative they can get when it comes to finding opponents. But if you want to call in, Discord is available and Twitter Spaces is available. We're going to go out to Nike Hendricks, first call of the day. Looking like we might have to reconnect and disconnect. Oh, man, shout out to you, Nez, Danny, whole team. So, uh, Pato, he, uh... What happened? Injury or something, or he just pulled out? Ah, uh, they haven't 
announced. Um, Frank Smith just said it's not going to be Bottle, who is the CEO of Matchroom, right under, obviously, Eddie. Eddie, you okay? Okay, so, okay, so, shit, like you said, Ness, I mean, I would have liked the Paro for him. I feel like he would have beat Paro, but I would have liked the Paro. But, hey, fuck it, man. Uh, he get this easy hometown fight. He can keep that belt for Haney, man. Or, you know, he come from the um the Al Heyman um, and PBC over there, you know. He used to being on the shelf for a year or two. They they fighters used to that, so fuck it. Stay on the stay on the shelf for a year. Um, Devin beat Ryan ass, and then you can spin the block like Ryan did. It's crazy, man, how these fighters like try to avoid Haney, but then go to another route, and then can't find no fight. And then they be looking for fights, and now it's, oh, I got to find a fight now. Then they go back to Haney, i.e. Ryan. He been avoiding Haney for the longest. Then it's, oh, I'm fighting Roly to get a belt to unify to make it bigger. Roly played your ass. Floyd and Ellaby and Espinosa all kept that shit in-house because Roly and, and um, Cruz, PBC fighters, so that's an in-house fight. Floyd just played his ass. That's all. Now he had to spin the block back to Ryan. Because Floyd just played him to get the publicity on Roy. Roley with Ryan name. Because you heard what he said. It's three faces of boxing. Uh, Canelo, Tank Davis, and Ryan Garcia. He just wanted that publicity on uh, Roley name so they can sell that fight with him and Cruz. They knew what they was doing, keeping it in-house. And then just how Tio ducked Haney. Then he got fucked up by Cambosis. Fucking Sabril, he had the chance after Haney whooped Reach's ass. Like Bill said, y'all put that target on his back. Boogeyman, boogeyman, boogeyman. Ooh. It's looking like it, but it's like, damn. You had an opponent. You had Haney there for you. But your ass ran. Like, come on with the bullshit, man. So take that easy-ass hometown fight. Keep your belt. So... Later on this year, or early next year, he get his ass whooped by Haney for a unification belt at 140 and quit all that running. Him, T.O., all of them at 140, man, because I don't see who else he going to fight right now. Like you said, that's besides the easy-ass opponent. I wanted that Liam Pato fight because that was a step up in competition for him, too. Because, to be honest, even though he's been the longest at 40, his competition ain't stellar at 40. Like, he ain't, he ain't fought the, the, the Josh Taylors, the Jack Catterall, the Regis Prograves, the Devins, the T.O.s. He ain't fight them types at 140. They're F1 Russell. So he got to step it up, man. That's my call. Night. Thanks for calling in. Appreciate you. Uh, we going to copy cool. Puerto Rico, let's see how you feeling, champ. What you gonna do, man? What's your man gonna do? Oh, huh? damn, copy, go stay on mute, champ. We got our first guest, my man, Kyron Davis, taking on Elijah Garcia. Kai, what's going on? What's going on? Chilling, chilling, man. Uh, happy to have you, obviously, on the show. You ain't got no headphones, so we're gonna get that feedback because it's picking up my own voice coming out the speakers. I can try. Hold on. My, my AirPods, you gotta see. Yeah, Air, AirPods is good. Uh, find these niggas. Uh. We're joined here with Kyrone Davis. He's going to be taking on Elijah Garcia. That'll be on March 30th, pay-per-view, Amazon Prime. Kyrone, man, how you feeling about being on that first Amazon Prime show? Um, I mean, it's exciting. I, I'm, I'm interested to see how the format is. For sure. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good show. Like, I got, got a lot of good fights on there. Yeah, you in a tough fight, man. Uh, what, what you think about your opponent? They've been, uh, I don't want to say grooming him. They've been throwing this kid into the fire, you know. So, 
He's certainly um, young and uh, hungry. You're the tough vet, man. What, what's your thoughts on uh, Elijah Garcia? Um, I think that he has a he has talent. Um, I think that he, I mean, I, it, it's not much you can really say. I think they they matched him pretty pretty favorable. I don't. I think that he's been in there with some uh, okay people, but I don't think anybody who's um, dynamic. What do you mean by dynamic? And compare that to yourself. Um, can just do more than one thing. Okay. Um, make adjustments. Um, I don't think that he's been in the ring with somebody who has a little bit more in their uh, in their bag. You know what I'm saying? I think he's fought people that are, um, it's pretty um, one dimensional. I mean, you would be the biggest name that he's faced thus far. Um, you know, there were great fights with Emil Vidal and you know uh, Armando Resendez, but you they're know they're kind of the same guy too. So they haven't been on the level that you have been on. They haven't been in the ring with the level of opposition that you faced. So he's definitely taking another step up in this particular fight. W why do you believe he has made a mistake? Obviously. Well, obviously, because I think that I I'm the best at 160. Um, you know, I was my I had been campaigning at 168 because of circumstances, but at 160, my natural weight, I've been in the ring with a lot of people, and I and I feel I'm the best at 160 right now. I think, you know, with the class of people at 160 right now, I'm the best. Now, obviously, at 160, um, you know, you've been in with some decent opposition. I want to say Jamal. Was Jamal? No. No, no, no. Mm. At as, as 60, y'all kind of on the same level, champ. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in I terms of names, in terms of names, like, I thought for whatever reason, I thought you had a fight with somebody, I don't even want to say it to look that bad, but yeah, at 60, shit, Armando Resendez is a tough buzzsaw. Like, obviously, you fought Patrick Day, but that was 54. That that Resendez kid is a buzzsaw, man. You seen what he did to her? Wasn't that her? Yeah, but we've seen what's been happening to her, though. I don't think that was the same Jared Hurd that fought Islanti Laura and and beat Tony Harrison. Well, this is your time, champ. I mean, they grooming this kid. You know, uh, let's be real. The truth is he he needs your name. You don't need an undefeated prospect. You want a title shot. So, you know, this is your back against the wall here. Are you taking it that way or no? I mean, they got they have him ranked pretty high. You know, it's a good it's a good position to fight. It's a good fight um, on pa on the paper, and it's a good fight just in general. I think that he's going to come to fight. I don't think that he's going to come and um, take me for granted. I think he's going to come to fight. I think it's going to be a good fight. I just think it might be a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. That's now, all it is. Your last performance, how would you grade that letter grade? Um, mm, maybe like a C. Because um, I made the adjustments that was needed, but there's things I could have did that was more. But I, what I will say is I haven't been, I wasn't in the ring for a while, you know. And some things I had, to, I, I was working on in the fight too, that you wouldn't be able to see. Some injuries that I had in the fight too that you wouldn't, would you know. But I don't, you know, I don't get no things. We won the fight how we were supposed to win the fight. And um, it was what it was. But now this opportunity right here is great because I'm coming right off this fight. And I'm feeling great. I'm feeling. I'm feeling amazing. I, I probably haven't had fought this this close back to back in a long time, you know. So I'm. I'm excited to see how I, my body feels. Not even taking a break. Yeah, man. Activity uh, seems to be the, you know, leading cause of most losses in the last couple of years. So uh, you feel, even though that Stewart fight wasn't your best in a, a C performance, it, it, it's exactly what the doctor ordered to give you knock off the rust and have your rhythm back. In your opinion? Yeah, I mean, I don't like. I said, I don't get. I don't get into like 
one one performance isn't is not going to affect the next unless you're taking punishment. You know, um, it, it's just in a performance. It's almost like um, a quarterback. When you have a bad dri- drive, you got to go back at the next drive, and you got to just you got ex- execute. You can't think about the last. You know, what I mean, you get you you get through you get through the game, and the same thing with boxing. You you, you get through these fights, you get to you get wins, and you got to get to the next one. You know, this one might be spectacular, or it might be gruesome, but we're gonna win. You know what I mean? By any means necessary, we're gonna do what we got to do. You know, we ready for that. I'm I'm excited for it. I got I'm genuinely excited for the challenge. Um, I'm genuinely excited for him. Um, it's gonna be a good fight. So I'm assuming you're still with Breadman for this because you said you were holding camp in Philly, right? Yeah, I'm with Brad. Are you bringing in any particular spawn partners or using guys local to you? Um, I got some guys that's going to be coming down. Uh, we, we got some good local softballs um, in the area as well. So we just, we, we're mixing it up. Okay, okay. Um, so were there any other options or did they just say, Hey Kyle, we got Elijah if you want it? Or did you have other options? Last year they asked us in the beginning of the year. So I guess it was like maybe like fourteen and oh or something like that. And he asked us and we say, Yeah, you know, like we'll take the fight and then we didn't hear anything from him. And then time went by we both fought and he fought again, I guess, and then uh after this last fight, then they said, you know, oh, yeah, we'll take it. So, I mean, it's been a fight that we've been, you know, uh, ready to take at any time. But, you know, I guess they felt like they were ready now. So do you think that that's kind of a false confidence that they're getting? Because they, they didn't take it till your last fight, which you yeah. yourself are saying is a C grade. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on, like why the circumstances and why they took the fight when they took the fight. You know, I'm, I'm, I can't really even allude to that. But after this fight, they did say, you know, uh, yeah, we'll take the fight. So maybe they feel a little confident, which is a good thing for me if they feel confident. Because of some styles makes fights, circumstances makes fights. Um, so you it's, it's something it's something that you can't roll over you can't say oh because this guy beat this guy because this guy struggled with this guy because this guy didn't knock him out that it's it's going to happen the same exact way or it's not going to be dramatically different when the next fight you know uh like i said circumstances make fights when i fought benavidez i had 16 days notice if you look at it on paper it's a loss but if you look at the circumstances you know given what had happened and how the fight played out you know, you could allude to the fact that the fight would be a lot different um, if I had a full training camp. Same thing with Anthony Durrell. We only had, like, we only had four four weeks exactly. Um, and that fight ended in me winning, but they called him the draw. You know, give him more time. You know, it, it, to give him the circumstances. The fights will turn out differently. And that's what, that's around the board. But, you know, when the fight is over and it's done for, you know, people don't do the research on how, how things was made. And, I mean, I don't expect them to because they're just fans. But. You know, circumstances make fights. So when you're when you're training for a guy, and, and and you don't look into them details, sometimes you make a mistake, and that could be possible for him. What's your thoughts on Carlos Adamas? Obviously, if you beat Elijah, who's highly ranked in the WBC, he's number three. Adamas is in house. Jamal's in that. You know, Canelo sweepstakes. He possibly vacates. Adamas becomes full champion. You're in-house. Uh, is that a fight you've ever looked at? Is that a guy you've watched tape on? What's your thoughts of Carlos Adamas, your WBC interim champ? We asked for that fight um, before. It was a fight that uh, that I would like. And also the winner of that Laura fight. That's a good um, that's a good position to fight, too. You know, anything to a world title. If you got a strap, I want to fight you. There's not a guy with a strap I don't want to fight. So, um... That's how, that's how I'm looking at that. It's not against him. I don't know him. But if you got a belt, I want to fight you. For sure, for sure. And you've never sparred him, right? Mm-mm, no, we never. We never met. Uh, but you have sparred Bud, right? Oh, yeah. What's your, what, what, do you, what do you make of, uh, I guess, Canelo saying he won't get credit if he fought Bud, so he's kind of ruled him out as an opponent? 
Was that something you would have liked to see? Did you think, obviously, as a fighter, divisions matter? Um, or were you, did you believe Bud was capable of moving up three divisions to challenge Canelo? Because you've also um, sparred Canelo, right? I sparred Canelo too, yeah. yeah. I was in camp with Canelo his last fight. Damn, so you sparred Bud and Canelo. So you really, I mean, you really could tell us. Because if you yourself have fought from 54 to 60 to 68, you've moved up. You've been able to fill his power. How, can Bud, could any guy move up three divisions and fight a Canelo? Um... In the landscape right now, I don't think that there's a person that can uh, move up three divisions, you know, from 47 and, and, and be Canelo. But I think divisions matter. I think that weight matters. I think what you walk around that matters. Um, Canelo's a big guy, and he's not just big. He's dense. Um, he's a powerful guy um, with, with boxing skill. I think that would have been the – and I've been telling people it's, it's going to be a tall task – to um to to for for that for Canelo, for Crawford to win, now I think for Canelo was what Canelo was thinking about is like after the fight's over, you know, like after the fight's over and, and given he wins, which I believe he would, um, how people look at him, you know, they'll make a lot more excuses than you know because of the weight, you know, some people give him credit, but some people won't. A lot of people won't, you know, they have it's a built-in excuse in that fight. And I think um, that makes sense. Well, I like to see it. I, that, that's a it's a big fight, so of course I like to see it. But um, I I do understand where he's coming from. Now again, you sparred Canelo, um, and you fought Benavidez. In your opinion, is Canelo waiting Benavidez out, afraid of Benavidez? Doesn't want to fight. Be I mean, you know him on a personal level. You've sparred him. Can, do you feel like you can make that 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 call, or you don't really know what's going through his mind? Because I mean, everybody wants the Benavidez fight. You fought no man. You smaller than you know Canelo, yeah. so to speak. Like so, what what? Why is he taking so long to get give, give us this fight? It's kind of like when you get to a certain level. I think you got to be a little more strategic. I don't think things things matter. The timing matters. Think about like when you got like a music artist, they don't they don't drop as much music when they get to a certain level. You know, they're, they're more strategic about how they go about their rollouts. Um, I think that they're just being strategic. I don't. I mean, I was in the camp, and we've had conversations me and Canelo, and I didn't. It didn't sound like any kind of fear, but I know that they are strategic, and I know he does want to fight until he's about what. 36, 37, I think he wants to get up there. So, I mean, there's time allotted for that fight. Um, I think we always want to fight right now, right now, right now, right now. But, I mean, there's time allotted for that fight. I don't think that it's a, it has to be a rush, even though I know we want to see it really, really bad. And I know that Benavid has been looking for it. I think that he's just picking his points. You know what I mean? Let's, let's do this here. I think he has goals outside of the boxing fans where he wants to fight things he's trying to achieve, um, you know, for, him own, for his own self uh, that maybe we don't look at because we're not in that landscape. But I, I think the fight will happen. Um, I think the fight will happen, but I don't think it was going to happen exactly when we wanted to happen, but it's going to happen. Maybe it might happen in September, you know. It might surprise us again in September. So I think that Jamal fight is a good fight. Him and ben, I'm him on Canelo. He's bigger than Canelo, like, Walking around, he, he I think he's a little bigger than Canelo. So I think I think it's gonna lift a little different dynamic. Even though it's gonna be hard to fool the fans that Jamel he's gonna do better than Jamel because forget he that he's gonna do better. It's gonna be hard to fool the casual that that's not Jamel. Yeah, like, yeah that's he's what I'm an saying. identical yeah, twin. Yeah, yeah. They gonna people. I, I already know how it's gonna get. Like oh, he's fighting Charlo again. I'm like, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It, it, it's gonna. But it's Canelo, and you know we, he got big Mexican fan base. They're gonna watch him regardless, you know. So I, I, I think that's I think it's, it's a, for for the boxing fans a good storyline. The big brother gonna try to avenge the loss, you know. And we're we're gonna watch it. We always say we're not gonna watch it, but we end up watching it. And um, yeah, I think that'll be. I think that's gonna be a good fight. I think that you know, it, it, depending on how good how how depending on how. Jamal is. 
because I've know he's it seemed like he's been going through some things. Depending on how Jamal is, he can make the he can make the fight competitive. I don't think he wins, but I think he make the fight competitive. If you was fighting Canelo May fourth, would you already be in training, or is it still plenty of time? Nah, I'll be training right now. All right, well, Jamal's in Church and Caicos, man. I follow his wife. They posted pictures sharing coconut drinks in Church and Caicos, man. I don't, I hope it's not Jamal. I'm going to be real. You can't fool me. I mean, it's the same brother. They identical. They literally identical. So, <laughs> I, I mean, last I night they posted a picture sharing coconut out, out the real coconut. So, like, he on vacation. I'm just oh, hoping yeah. it's not him. I'm hoping it's not. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't have that background information. Yeah, no, you know I follow things. everybody. I'm watching everything <laughs> so I can report it to my audience. And certainly, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, nah, nah, he's I out mean, there chilling. That's not a good indicator. Um, but, you know, people, people go on vacations, though. You can't do that. No, no, for sure. I, that's why I asked you to fight. Maybe is training it enough on vacation. Time? It's just, and the coconut water is good for you. No, it's good for you. But that's why I asked you, is there still enough time to put in a Canelo camp for May 4th? Like, you know, we're talking April 4th. May 4th, you still got 60 days, uh, more than 60, it, it, only it, on February uh, 19th. Really, all you need is 10, 10 weeks. Yeah, he so, got plenty of time. I mean, he, he got, got all of, of March, all of April. Yeah. I mean, he, he, it might be, he might need some time for himself. It's okay. It's mental health. For sure, for sure. It ain't that, it ain't that close. My, May, May 9th, it, you got a little time. You got a little time. As long as you get that 10-week hard train camp, so oh, I before I let can... you go, I, we, we obviously got to talk about another PBC star, uh, you know, with the Amazon roll-up, you being lucky enough to be on that first one. Um, now Tank's bracelet is off. You know, do we get a, a, a Tank on Amazon? And, and, and who do you think he fights? Because it's like, he hasn't fought since April. So he coming up on a year. He might need a tune-up. Before he fought Ryan, he fought Hector as a tune-up. Do you foresee him taking a tune-up or you think he'll take a big fight because he got to make a splash on prime. That's interesting. Um, who are, who are his options? I, I mean, I would say Rayo Venezuela. That's, uh, you know, you just got that. Knockout they just over Colbert. Then, then I would say maybe Frank Martin is an option. Um, they could always bring somebody up again. They could bring like Lamont Roach Jr. One of my one of my listeners recommended Lamont Roach get brought up. He's not going, he's not, I don't think he's gonna fight Lamont or um I think the Venezuela guy would probably be the best because you know we, they love doing a crossover of the black fighter versus the Hispanic fighter. Um that's us always hot, you know, and I don't think they're gonna bring anybody outside of PBC because it's the it's we, we they're just starting the Amazon deal so um i think that that venezuela if i makes sense i think people will watch it and be interested even though i think that he stops him um i think that yeah that, that's that that sounds about right i think y'all got the matchmaking right i think that i think that's gonna happen that sounds like the best move and i and i and i'll be a great opportunity for for venezuela who just came off the off a, a great knockout win so i mean he puts him right in position to make the money that he's always been wanting to make and it, it gives a uh, tank get his feet wet. I think that's the fight to make. Now, now I'm not asking you to be a hater here, but I am asking your thoughts. Um, on your card, Sebastian Fundora went from coming out of a knockout to getting a tough fight to getting a tough fight for a full title, not even an interim. Like he's getting the whole belt. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That sounds like a little favoritism. Um, that's only a little favoritism. I'm not gonna hate on him. I mean, get nah, it how you get sure. it. But it sound it sound like a little favoritism. Awful knockout um, loss too. I mean, I, um, yeah, Mendoza I would think you have to him. get that back. I would think they have to run that back, right? Like at least. Well, Mendo after that, Mendoza went and lost to um. They'll run it back. To, he to, lost to, to, to Zoo. Yeah, but I don't think. It, which which belt is it? W the WBC they they strip Mel and they they made him champion think, in recess and they putting his belt on the line for uh, and who is fighting who is fighting man Sebastian Fandora find a dude named Bukachok 
They should have. They should have let like him. Sari, sh- sh- Sergey Bogachar or something like that. There's a lot of other guys they could have put him in there with. Nah, for sure. <laughs> There's a lot of other guys they could have put him in there with the 154 division. They could even have gave him a, a second try at that fight because he just beat um the Spanish guy. Who the who the Spanish guy? Um, you know what I'm talking about that 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 Eric Lubin just beat. Uh, the Spanish guy Lubin just beat. Oh Ramos. Yeah, he, they could have gave Lubin a. They could have did that. They could have had that was an exciting fight. They could have made that number two. I'd rather have seen that then. Yeah, I, I mean, would. I would. I would have liked the rematch too. But I think Lubin is not interested in that rematch. He feels he won. You know, and he get mad for at for the for the for the full title. Oh, for the, for the full, full title. title. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the full title, he'll fight. Cause you know he. He's he's always been right there, but he hasn't been able to get the strap yet. So, I think mm. for the full title, I think he he would have took that fight. But I I don't know. It sounds like a little favoritism. Nah, for sure. Why you ain't never get no favoritism like that? How who me? Yeah, t- well you did right. Benavidez fight was a title shot. Nah, that wasn't title shot. He ain't even having an interim. Nope, and it was a ten rounder. Damn. Um. I mean, some people just get it differently. To how everybody's story and journey. I don't get into. I don't get. I don't get mad. But everybody's story and, and journey is different, and it makes us different kind of fighters. And um, you just gotta be blessed to be in a this position where we could fight and make the money, and um, do this for a living. Um, I don't count anybody else's blessings. I only count my own. I've been given uh, good situations and opportunities in my career, and this is another one. That's coming up March 30th, so I don't, I don't, I don't get into that. But um, what I will say, I, that is a little sounds like a little favoritism. Um, but you know, he uh, hopefully do what he got to do, and he, he can take advantage of the opportunity. For sure, Kyle I won't keep you any longer, man. Give everybody your social media. Thank you for jumping on, and uh, obviously, best of luck in camp. Get this win, champ. Appreciate you, um, Kyle. Shut it down and everything. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Kyron Davis, we appreciate you uh, live on the show. We're going back to phone calls. Uh, whoever I was just talking to, Copy Cool, Copy Cool is on you. That's who it was. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? First super chat of the day, Slick Nick, $2. I don't want to see him in the ring with another euro. Copy good cool whenever you're ready. Matt Bent, 100. Okay, I hear you. Go for it. <clears throat> What's good, champ? Chilling, my fault, chilling. My fault. Uh, I just, I'm going to be real brief. I, I, I just got three names, man, uh, for as far as Matisse. I think they'll be kind of uh, decent opponents for, you know, for the next time up. Uh, in the meantime, maintenance. And I think Broner is one. We could put a Broner fight together somehow. Um, I think that's a big name that could potentially sell tickets and, and, and uh you know, I, I don't know if he's a good guy. I mean, remember, it, IBS? remember, it's Puerto Rico, but that is a good name, and he has fought that high. Maybe he will take it. I don't know, but that is a good name, and 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 just wanted to remind you, the fight should be in Puerto Rico unless they change it. No, no, definitely. I mean, I don't think whether it's in Puerto Rico or not. I mean, it it, it is what it is, right? Every, not just because it's a Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican is no broner, you know, just because of Mayweather. So, I mean, it's just a good name to to attach to sell sell tickets, and whether it's in Puerto Rico, U.S., Australia, that, that name, those, you know, that name's gonna sell. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think a Conor Ben would be a dope name to to attach to them too. You know, uh, bring him down from 47, put him to 40. You know, he's always he's always ready for the get down. So I, I think that's a good name that that could that could be a potential next opponent. And um, who was the other fighter I had? It, man, fuck, I can't think of the name right now. I just had it too. I was just waiting. I had, before I had three the fucking four names and, and the three names, and I, and I skipped. But you know, for you know those those names will be you know great uh, matchup potential matchups. And um, I think that that's that could be a route that they couldn't potentially. Oh, uh, Barroso, why not put put the old man in there with him? Uh, you know, I, I think, think Barozo is not with like, he's with the PBC, no, like associated with them. Uh, 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 is and it this... PBC? I thought I thought it was Golden Boy. No, 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 no. He fought on Golden Boy because of the situation with the WBA. I don't mm. think he's with Golden Boy. I know he's with MR Promotions, but um, I believe he's like. Co-promoted or some shit or advised by Al. I could be wrong. 
<clears throat> I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I was underneath the impression that he was on the Golden Boy. That's why I brought him up. You know, I mean that those I think those are three solid names that can potentially create some. You know, Barroso's on the wave right now, so that could potentially create a, you know some type of movement. Um, you know, and the other two names, you know, Ben. You know, we already know that that's a, a different, a whole different crowd that that can bring to the attention of uh, Mati, Mati said, and Bronner. We know Bronner. So those are all three potential names. Oh, you know what? Um, you know you got any news on on, on Pueyo? Yep. Yep. So I mean, Pueyo, Pueyo be a good name. Dominican. No, no, Puerto no, Rico no. Rivalry. He's tied up. He's tied up. And, oh, and he's remember, tied up? and oh, remember, he's, he's with PBC. He's gonna get a fight announced ah. soon with PBC. Ah, okay, so that that goes that. You know. Um, but you know, at forty, I mean, right now because it's a maintenance fight. I mean, although we want to say championship fight, I think that you know those names. I don't know if Elvis Rodriguez is tied up neither. Elvis, but, you know, Elvis is Dominican in Puerto talks. Rican. Elvis is in talks. Hopefully, he gets. Okay, it. so there you go. So that's a good name to to have in in, in that matchup. But that's it, Trent. I appreciate you. Man. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Hopefully, you know, he takes it. But uh, I'm hearing it ain't the best. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It's going to help with the visibility of the show. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. We're trying to get to 190,000 subscribers. Right now, we're on 189,421. So if you haven't screen, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. And help us with the visibility of the show. Um... Right now, like I said, we're at 189,421. If you go ahead and subscribe right now, you're going to see that thing change in real time. And remember, we need to get to 500 thumbs up to open up the live chat. Right now, it is members-only mode. Salute to all my members rocking out with us. We got Brandon in Cincinnati. What is up? Yo, Ness, what's going on, brother? How's my audio? You? Uh, yeah, for- can you hear me? I hear you, I hear you, but for the other Brandon, it says, is, uh, if Elvis is in talks, why not Barroso? Because Elvis has gotten, like I previously stated, Elvis has gotten the green light from Al to sign with any promoter, and he'll continue with Al as just Al, Al Heyman advised. All right? Go ahead, Brandon, in Cincinnati. I like I, I like the um, Ismael Barroso name. I like the Elvis name. What way does Kurt Scooby at? He's 147 or is nah, he 140? Nah, he's 140, but damn, you're trying to give him a title shot? My man, like 10 and 0. I mean, but you got to think about it, Ness. When it comes to a guy like Sabriel Matias with all the big names um, busy, he has to find a, a, a decent opponent that cost yeah, efficient. Kurt, nah, gonna, but, but he ain't, ain't top cost 15. Much. You can't get a voluntary defense with a dude that's not even top 15. Last time he was you ranked sure was about when, that? I mean, I double check, but last time he was ranked was when he fought Hank Lundy, and that shit was mad long ago. Since then, he ain't really, you know what I'm I saying? Ain't, I ain't know you had to be top 15 in a title defense. Yeah, for um, a, if vol- a, man, if for it's a voluntary, voluntary. Yeah, for a voluntary. You can't, oh, okay. you can't, I mean, oh. I, don't, I mean, I could Google that, but I don't, I believe you can't just pick out of nowhere, but I don't see Scooby name nowhere. Let me see the WBA, maybe they, nah, yeah, he got dropped out, man, he not active enough. Oh, okay, I was thinking, what about Nestor Bravo? Bravo Yo. is in the WBO number 11. In the IBF, he's not there. So, again, he might not end up being an option. They got to go down the line. That's why Elvis is in the, in the talk. I like the Elvis fight a lot. That's a good action-packed fight. Elvis, big, strong kid, going to be there coming forward. We know Sabril ain't taking the step back. That's a great fight to make. Arnold Barbosa is a good fight to make. I heard you earlier say like, Arnold Barbosa, what's the trajectory for him? But what the fuck is the tra- what he's gonna sit around and nah, wait for a Ryan fight? No, 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 no. The trajectory. Like, what for- better opportunity does he have? Well, 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 well. He has the WBO. Remember, Tio took super champion, which means they gonna they gotta create a belt for Barbosa eventually. No, I don't think that's how it works with the, the WBO. No, doesn't the when WBO you become give, super champ, I don't they give you they, make a, they give you eighteen months to 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 make a mandatory. So you know he's essentially got an extra time away from Barboza. So Barboza's on the wait out tour because a he thinks he could beat To. Two, I mean b he, he he's number one. 
Yeah, but why wait on To when you gotta you Bruh, can you, possibly get you, a you a, literally a watching you literally watching To look vulnerable. If you Barboza and your father and your father, you licking your chops like man, this dude we could beat him. That's how they looking at. Yeah, yes, that's another good name. Uh, I just don't think this fight for Sabriel is gonna be a, a opponent like you said. All the big names are currently busy, so he he's probably gonna get a nondescript name. Somebody um. That he'll probably run through, but that's okay. You know, this is a homecoming fight in Puerto Rico. You want him to look good. You, you want know what the they fans to do, get right? behind you. You know what they should do? What's that? Linares. Linares guaranteed to get knocked out. I thought about that earlier, he fought, bro. He fought I thought, at 40. Oh. He's international. He's Venezuelan. He's been trained by Freddie. He's been on, on all the networks. He's for all the guys. Like, it's a decent name, and he's yeah. going to get starched. Um, Pablo Cesar Cano knocked him out. Last time Linares yeah. fought, it was on a matchroom card. He did retire, though, but, you know, <laughs> comebacks are meant to happen. On every on everything, I did think of Jorge Linares earlier today. And when we was, I was like, maybe they bring Jorge out. It's a, a name people know and familiar with. Probably won't cost him very much. And like you said, he'll go down there and get knocked out, get beat down. And like the key is to get the Puerto Rican fan base in the country and in America behind Sabril. Because if he can get the Puerto Ricans rallying behind him, then he can make big fights over here in the States. Like, so, like I said, I don't expect this to be a big name opponent with everybody being busy. But like I said, as long as this, as long as this performance is great and he gets his people behind him, and he gets Puerto Rico back popping, Puerto Ricans back excited for a fighter, then you know people won't be able to say, well, who, what does he sell anymore? Don't nobody know him anymore. Nah, motherfucker, he got a whole country of people behind him. And when they excited for a fighter, they come out. So hopefully that's the, the game plan for him. But, you know, Sabrina's my favorite fighter at 140. I don't have nobody beating him at 140. I think he runs through all of them. He just needs that opportunity. And he just needs to stay healthy, and I think the sky's the limit for the kid. But um, yeah, man, that's my call, man. Take it easy, Ness. All Check right. the middle half on TV. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what to do. And if you're trying to call in, you must request. We're using Twitter Spaces and uh, Discord for those that want to call in. Um. We got LV Slug on to check in. What up? TBV. Uh, sound. Street. Yeah, man. Disappointing news, man. You know, especially, you know, hearing the situation with him and T.O. You know, T.O. sending out an offer. He couldn't, you know, accept that offer, you know, him dealing with an injury. You know, especially seeing the T.O. we just seen, you know, coming out of that fight. So, you know, another, another, uh, some some more disappointing news on, uh, on the Matias side, man. You know, trying to get active, stay active, trying to find an opponent. But uh, I'm not sure, but I don't know if y'all said Sandor Martin. I know Sandor Martin pretty high in the WBC, though. So I'm not sure exactly if they, if they can do that. But uh, I think Sandor Martin would be nah, a, a, he a another, good name. He, he and another promoter, and he's on another sanction, and that's he's certainly not an option. Yeah, I know he was pretty high in the WBC, so yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking that would be a good name, but uh, Barboza, not not the uh, the one that knocked Roly down, but the uh, Barboza. How about him? You, you, could he? Barboza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could. Take, What's his like, first name? Like you could Arnold, Arnold. Like you could take a title shot, right? If you want, but like if you don't think you can beat and. The money ain't right. So, like, for Barboza, he's already number one in the WBL. So, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm number one in the WBL. You offering me a shot at the IBF. You offering me, hypothetically, 300000 We're going to keep the same boots number. Hypothetically, you offering me 300000 to face the toughest champ. I could stick around, probably get that or a little bit more for the bigger name in Tio because I'm his number one. Like, I'm next. So for Barboza, they got a sweet in the deal. It would be a good option because he's on the zone. So for the zone, that's a good look where they get in they they continuously getting their promoters to work with each other. But for Barboza, it's up to him. Like what he thinks is the easier win. Cause people don't like to believe that. But you don't fight a dude you think you're gonna lose to. So you fight a dude you think you could beat. 
especially when you're trying to win a fucking world title. You understand? So is he looking at this fight like, oh, yeah, I get a world title? Or is he like, man, fuck that. I ain't fighting that monster in his hometown of Puerto Rico for X amount of dollars. So just because a bet on the line don't matter, especially with a dude with options. Yeah, yeah, I ain't realize he was number one in WBO, so he keep doing, try to stay active. He might be Mando uh, before long. Maybe y'all know no, boxes. He, are, he already Mando. Tio already asked for super champion status, so Tio's clock is ticking. He gets 17 or 18 months from the date to, def to then he got to defend that belt. It's no different than Bud. Like, Bud got 18 months from the date. Okay, well, yeah, we'll just see how that play out, but... uh. I don't really. I, I I think Elvis though. Elvis been calling him out. You know, Elvis been looking pretty good ever since that Kenneth Sims loss. So I mean, I wouldn't mind that fight. That'll be a nice little replacement. The, uh, That's guy a pretty, good fight. Like, That's a good fight. I'm, I I wonder if yeah. I should go and like wear some Dominican shit or they gonna kill me out there. But that's a good fight. Yeah. Puerto Rico versus yeah. DR. That's a great fight. Yeah, he got some good little power on him. You know, let's see if he could put it all together and, and pull off the upset, but. I definitely disagree. I mean, but Tears is looking like, you know, one of them ones, man, out here doing what he's doing right there, right now. All his wins by knockout, but I do think, you know, Devin Hanning is the best at 140. You know, uh, but Tears may be his toughest test out of the other three belts, but uh, I do think Haney is the is the top dog as far as 140, though. But, uh, yeah, let's just hopefully we can see when Tears back and see what he can do, you know what I mean? But I like the Elvis fight. I can't really think of too many 140s right now. Linares, did he lose, didn't he lose that fight to Catterall? Champ, that was the bell. Yeah, Linares lost to Catterall. Adrian, what up? We got Mad Ben 100 on the $2 Super Chat. He says, Daily Dose of Tankwell. Liam says, no gracia, no mas tias. What up, Adrian? What's going on, brother? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, that's good. I got those Kanichi bears on, so I know you can hear me. But uh let's fucking go, yeah. man. That's support. Uh, <laughs> but uh yeah, so to be honest with you, is is, is Ivan Redcatch still retired or in that bad contract? Yeah, he's probably retired because of the bad contracts, which means if he comes back, he's comes back to the bad contract. Okay, okay. Um you know, to be honest with you, I was just out in Puerto Rico. I had a fighter who was supposed to fight, but some, you know, the bad business of boxing and some promoter shit happened. But walking around the island, talking to people about boxing, you know, the only person they really give a fuck about, to be honest, is Amanda Serrano. Everybody I talk to out there, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. So a lot of these other Puerto Rican so-called stars, they got a lot of catching up to do. They don't believe in, Bur in Berlanga over in the island. They really don't. I didn't meet one person that I asked about Berlanga that liked him. Um, Xander, they're like, uh, eh, you know, they're whatever about. But Amanda's the one. So I think Sabril going over there is good. I think, honestly, Ness, they just need to pull that Danny Garcia move, right? They got to get like a, a, a Rod Salka type Mexican and just put it over there and put on a showcase for Sabril. You know, he just, you know, obviously we know that he's probably not going to shit the bed like Danny did in his hometown. You know what I mean? So I think that's what they really need to do. It doesn't sound like he's got a lot of options that are going to make a lot of sense or are going to be, uh, you know, obtainable. So I think as foul as that can be, they just need to get somebody, rank them up there who's Mexican, Puerto Rico versus Mexico, showcase fight to get the people to be behind him in America cause, and, and Puerto Rico itself because they're looking for those stars too. But that's just like I just was down in Puerto Rico and asking about uh, the fighters they like and who, who they consider the Puerto Rican stars. And the only real name that comes up is Amanda. Uh, and, you know, obviously I only got to ask so many people, but like, you know, I'm at a boxing promotion and that's, that's the one, um, you know, and that's basically what they did at that boxing promotion. It was flying a bunch of Mexicans versus Puerto Rico. Um, like the whole card was like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's where it needs to be at. I mean, if you could get red catch, which, like I said, doubtful. Like you said, he's in a bad contract. Even if he comes out of retirement, he fought in um, July of last year in uh, I don't know. I gotta fucking figure out this country, but in some country. Okay, and my thing is like, bring a dude like him. Red Catch has name value, 
come on, we know Sabril going to knock his ass out, right? But, you know, Red Catch has a win oh. over Devin Alexander. You know what I'm saying? For all of us uh, hardcore, he beat Alexander. Okay. You know, so he does have, you know what I'm saying? He does have wins over signature guys. You know, like you can bring that up. You can sell that to the public. This is a guy who beat Devin Alexander, trained by Roy Jones Jr. So he um, fought you know in saying? Costa Rica last year in one of their arenas, mm -hmm. basketball arenas. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think they, you could, you could put that name in there. You could rod circle that name into some sort of, cause you gotta be in the top 15 to fight for the IBF. Right. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they can, they can sneak that name up in there just based off of, you know, some things that red catch has done out of his Chad, career. At least, you know, sneak them in the, at 15. That's the bell. I got Chad in Canada. Hey, good morning, Ness. You got me? You know it. Yeah, I just jumped on. I caught Adrian's call. Great call, as always. I really like Adrian. But it was interesting about uh, his uh, Berlanga, you know, um, not not getting that kind of love. And I kind of think it just shows that Berlanga's still got work to do. And oh, no. I think he can, change, he can change that, you know. He can still change that. Um, and, and, and win the hearts of, of the, the people. Right. Um, but dude, I, I'm off today. I don't work today. We have a holiday up here. President's and day. so I was watching. Yeah. It's called family day up here. Yeah. You guys got <laughs> president's day, right? Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I caught a bit of the, uh, Catterall and Taylor, uh, press conference. Like they did a face off and everything. It was, it was pretty bitter, man. Like uh, they were going at each other. They, they're trying to do the face off. You know, they're going at each other. I'm sure everybody's going to watch it. But I, last time I looked at IBF, both those guys were ranked top 10 still. I mean, doesn't it make sense at this point to wait for to see, you know, what kind of hype comes out of this fight and take the winner for, for Matias? I mean, that just seems like the logical thing at this point. No, which which fight Catterall? Because remember, Catterall <laughs> is with Matchroom, but the other guy is with top rank, so if he wins, you know, it's, it's, it's not as easy as you think to make, right? Oh, I see, I see. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, the timing of this fight, and if these guys, just the way they're going at each other, I'm guessing it's going to get a lot of fans hype, you know? So I'm, I was thinking, yeah, the winner of that would be uh, a good look for Matias. But uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like I, I could list a whole bunch of uh, possibilities uh, I think we know we just want to see him challenged, you know. Um, I, I'll take really – I feel like they'll find him They'll find him a good fight. I, Matias has got integrity. I, I know they're going to look for a good opponent for him. Um, but I don't have any, any big list of recommendations. It's something I haven't really thought about. I just kind of jumped on. But uh, what, who, do you, who do you like, Ness, like uh, top couple options for him? I mean, the pickings are very slim – uh, with what's available to him, uh, credit, everything, boxing that pretty much uh, ruled out, I mean, did the work by ruling out who is available and not available. And um, yeah, and telling you the names of the promoters. But when you go down the line, obviously Regis is the best and the best option for Matchroom would be Regis. You know, he's with the company. But Regis has been doing Books, book signings, training MMA, and rolling on the floor. So we got Matthew German, who's with uh, Yvonne Michelle Promotions. Arnold Barboza, he's with Golden Boy Promotions. Elvis Rodriguez is a PBC advised fighter, no promoter. And uh, I've been told that Al's giving him the green light to sign with anybody he would like. Uh, and he will, you know, obviously continue being advised by Al. You got Jose Ramirez with Golden Boy. Andy Hirioka with uh, Oshi, Oashi Promotions. So, and then you got Stephen Claggett, you know, who top ranked. Yo, Barbo Bar I know I got a, uh, my call is done, but uh, Barboza, uh, I like with like everything you just mentioned. Um, Barboza kind of popped out to me. That Barboza Mat Matias would be cool, but uh, I'll let you go, Ness. Thanks, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, Barboza would be cool. Uh, the thing is, is he willing to do it? Because, again, he's in position to fight Tio, the bigger name. Um, and 
You seen Oscar. Like I got I guess I gotta remind y'all. Y'all seen Oscar say that TO one eight four. You seen Oscar invite TO to his house. Um you seen TO be at two now Golden Boy events. I don't I think they've already, you know, done a lot of talking and figured, hey, we should do business together. And uh it looks like that. I could be wrong. But it does look that way. Um, again, uh, yeah, phone lines are open for anybody that wants to call in and voice your opinion. Let us know who you think. Okay. Got my boy Michael Fox on a check-in. Wanted to talk to Mike. Mike, what up? What's up with you? Chilling, chilling. So yeah, man, I, I I woke up to a DM today and they like, yo, I know you was talking to uh Brian Norman Sr. and that fight had came up as a possibility. And whatever happened, we've had those talks and interviews, and I guess you guys ended up sparring. Um so I was told the spawn obviously went in your favor. So I don't think that that's going to make it any easier to get the fight. But, uh, yeah, do you think you'll get that fight now? Why'd you spawn him? I heard it was your dad that got upset, too. Was it your dad that made you spawn him? Heard something that, that Norman Sr. said and set up the spawn? How'd this go? Nah, so <laughs> what that happened was... Um... Somebody, somebody, I'm gonna tell you. Like, so somebody on Twitter, they posted a a clip of you asking them about uh, about Brian. You asking Brian Senior about him, his son fighting me. So I saw it on Twitter. I see it on Twitter. I screen record it. I put it on my Instagram. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I add my, I make a little additions to it or whatever. But um, this was what. Whenever that, whatever that interview was, probably November, December, or whatever, nobody saw it until well, Brian Norman Senior ain't see it until like January. You know, January he jumped on my page, he all mad and shit, and then um he jumped on my DMs, and he like, man, first thing he say, you about to get beat up for free now. So, I'm can't so the whole time I'm like, man, uh, he, he like sending send an address, we gonna be up, we gonna be up there in February, blah blah blah. I'm like, yo. Fuck all that sparring stuff. We can, you know, we can, we can just, we can just fight. I mean, if you like, you know, if you really, if you really mad about something that's said or done, we, you know, man, we can just set up the fight. You know what I mean? Then he's, but he's hell bent on coming up here. But also, you don't want no smoke, blah blah blah, doing all that. Uh, I find, I, I find, I finally just, you know, you because you're not gonna come up here and, and then and then get get back on it in front of another camera and be able to say we was up in Maryland. And Michael Fox was nowhere to be found, so I finally, I, I like, I give him that, I give him the address. I, I see, you know, he's, I see, you say, all right, we'll see you soon. I'm like, all right, bet I'll be waiting for you. And then, um, you know, we came through when we sparred. We sparred what last Monday? We sparred last Monday, and I went out of town like right after that. But like, we sparred. So we sparred last Monday. We got about, we, we shot, we shot for ten, we shot for ten. But I mean, I lost track of the round, so I'm probably, I think we did ten of not. Uh, if not, I could have, I could have, I told you, asked how many could I go? I told, I, I, I asked him how many did he need? So, you know, we did, we did the <laughs> rounds. <laughs> we did, the, we, we did, we did the rounds and I'm like, and I'm just like, um, and I, I mean, I knew once he came up there. I, Let I me ask you, seconds. did he smother himself? You watched his last fight? Yeah, I did. Did he smother himself with you? Was he? Because I know he likes to put pressure, but he he's also I also feel like he likes to like have his head on you and just you know what I'm saying. Um, but you're a boxer. Was he even able to do any of that? Um, he he was able to close the distance sometimes, but he did a like what from the fight with Quentin Randall, he did a much better job of uh, like maintaining you know getting close, but being able to uh, fight on the uh, to be able to. Let his hands go. So. That's good to hear. That's good yeah, to hear because, man, he was he was smothering the hell out of himself in that, that Quentin Randall fight. Mm -mm. I'm glad they made some adjustments. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, the Quentin Randall, yeah, the Quentin Randall fight, you know, yeah, I mean, you know. He got the win. He got like the that. win. 
Yeah, he got the win. He got the win, and, and I mean, and you know, you know, that was the main fight I watched. I'm like, okay, so he, so he worked, he, he worked on that a bit. He worked on that a bit, but you know, um, but we did. I mean, we did the rounds. It was, it was, it was. I think it was a little back and forth, but I think it was still in my favor just because, um, you know, I, I felt like I felt like I, you know, I felt like I was uh, landing more every now and then. He would jump in, but you know, when, when we were on the inside, I, I felt like I outfought him on the inside uh, a couple, a few times. So, you know, it, I mean, it was good work. His father's very prideful. Do you think that uh, whatever happened in that spawn would be enough to give? the father the confidence to make that fight? Because I know it's been offered, um, or at least, you know, talked of, not offered, but, you right. know, acts like, hey, would you fight Fox? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he said, he, he, I mean, he, he, in your interview, he said what he wanted. He didn't want him fighting a southpaw, but I mean, he, he, he wanted, if, if he wants to, if he want, like you said, he wanted, he want to fight, I mean, so all the dogs fight it at, he get a chance for his uh, for his son to really shine on, like I, Orthodox or Southpaw. I'm not the fighter to. I'm not. I'm never going to be the fighter you just shine on. You know what I'm saying? If you behind the cur- if you behind the curve, it's going to it's going to show when we fight. I mean, I think that's the appealing part of taking the fight with you, though, right? Like uh, you have been known to be tougher than what everyone expects. Like you know, so. If he can blow you out, he makes a statement. And I mean, you haven't really... I mean, I feel like your toughest fight was Cavalaskis. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, yeah, nah. So, in, in, some, in some magic world, yeah, nah, he, he, no, he, he's not going to... He wouldn't be able to blow me out. But, I mean, like <laughs> he I said, said a magic <laughs> world. Yeah, like he, like I said, he's a, he's a, like Junior, Junior's a good fighter. He's cool, you know what I'm saying? Senior, you know, it, it was Senior. Like the thing is, I hadn't spoke to Junior until, the, until he walked into my gym. <laughs> so, it, I, like the whole back and forth was was me and Senior. Senior is a very prideful dude. He kind of like he, <laughs> he remind he he reminds me of every the, the, the you know the fathers of every father son duo in uh in boxing from angels to tos to you know, bills. You know, they're you know very vo- very vocal, uh, very vocal about their sons, and oftentimes talking more than their sons. For sure, man. Um, what's up with you, champ? Who is your manager? What's going on? Are you a free agent? What's the what's 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 the word? Um, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much a free agent. You know, I've been you know I've been trying to get fights. I've uh. So I did the combat league. After the combat league, I tried to get uh, two fights. One, one, I felt like they weren't trying to pay enough, and then, and then um, another one uh, was on going to be on Amanda Serrano's undercard for her last fight. We tried to we we tried to uh, get that. I tried to take that on two weeks notice um, against the guy uh, Damian Lascal. Um, but somebody, you know, people called around matchmakers matchmakers and and, and people called around and. And I, and then they never called me back. Um, have you spoken with Pro Box at all? Um, I I, uh, I actually um, like I didn't know I don't know who actually runs it, but I I, uh, I actually spoke to uh, Chris Algeri. He said you would pass pass my number along to uh, to the matchmakers. So I mean, I took, so shout out to Chris Algeri for looking out. But I mean, I'm, I was I still still be waiting. I'm still waiting to hear some. All right. Yeah, nah, that might be a, a good look. You know, recently I had uh, tried to send Blair to Flair that way. He been out just as long as you. They was interested in, in, in doing something with him. That's a good fight for you, too. Would you fight Blair? I mean, I'm not saying on that network, but just in general. Yeah, Absolutely. Have y'all ever sparred? Because he is from Philly, like at once upon a time in his life, right? Yeah, once once upon a time, he was he was uh, he was from Philly. He was training. Breadman was training him. I tried to uh, so my uh, Breadman actually called my dad to get uh, my brother uh, to come up there to spar Julian. Julian was getting ready for um, 
I, I forgot. Oh no, it was Centeno to get him ready for Hugo Centeno, and then they had that that uh, no contest with the head button stuff. Um, and then I I rolled up there with him. Corbin Fab asked, "You got you got anybody that can spar him?" We were up there for two days. We tried to uh, and and he tried to uh, tried to get in contact with Blair. Blair came on the second day after I uh, after I worked out a little bit. But since I said I'm like since we up in Philly, I was getting ready. I was still an amateur. I was 17. I was getting ready for the uh, for the pals. So I was, you know, I was shaking out. I'm hitting the bag and stuff. He said he on the way. We on. I said, fuck, I said, well, I already worked out, but we. Didn't, I mean, we in Philly. We 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 going home today. I'm gonna get to work in. So I mean, we we only did a few rounds. I I can like. He got he 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 got out on me, but I was I was pretty, I was exhausted. I was pretty tired from the workout. So, I mean, yeah, I would fight Blair uh, Blair Cobb, and you know, that I, there's nothing. There's not, there's, there's not, there's. I don't see a reason to say, say no to a fight with him. Like I don't like. He, he, he can, he can, he can fight, he can fight, he can fight some. You know, I mean, he, I'm, more, I'm more worried he'll woo me to death, but I ain't worried about him. <laughs> I woo you to death. I love that one. <laughs> Yo, but uh, is his power real, or, or was that more Hooker not being a hundred percent? Because I mean, goddamn, he was fucking Hooker up and 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 put him down a bunch of times. How'd it feel when you sparred him? I mean, like I said, I was seventeen, but even at seventeen, it wouldn't feel. It didn't feel like nothing that was like like out of this world. I mean, and I mean at that and, and at that at that point that he fought Hooker, I mean, you fighting a Hooker that's coming up that that's still coming up in weight, and he's. And I mean, you know, he's he's over there, probably, you know, he was over there with Terrence Crawford, probably sparring with Terrence Crawford, probably he probably get, leaving a lot of it in the gym. I mean, he still he still he was still he was still uh, technically he was still technically a junior welterweight. So I mean, like if you were hurting him, yeah, you was hurting him, but I didn't. Yeah, he was hurting. He was getting out on him. He was getting his man on him, but like, nah, yeah, I don't. Like he didn't hit me with nothing that that was that made me want to rethink boxing. For sure, for sure. Well, uh, I've certainly passed your box rec on to the owner of uh, Pro Box, man, to see if if, if uh, he's interested, and and then I'll just give him your number if he needs it. Uh, but, champ, man, you should at least get a Mexico in. I mean, it's been since 2022, champ. You just sitting. I'm already here. Yeah, yeah, nah, this ain't for lack of trying on my part. I, I, like I said, like I said, my name, my name comes up, and then the, then you know. People's phones stop receiving notifications. But like, like, and my thing is, I got, like I said, I got four, I got four losses. So, like, my thing is, you got these youngers just trying to become world champions. They, they should, they should, they, should, their, their matchmakers and managers shouldn't have a problem with them fighting me. Yeah. But they, they know, I, they, they know, I, they know I can fuck up the tra- whatever career trajectory they got planned for them, for them guys. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Um, it's way tougher for you to get fights than your brother, man. You think it's a weight division thing, or you just tougher? No nah, disrespect I mean, I see, I to Alantes, it's... I'm just saying. Yeah, nah. Shout out, to, shout out to Alantes Fox. Nah, it's it's the the biggest thing is, uh, I mean, Tez is six five at super middleweight. I'm six foot four at welterweight. I mean, people see and southpaw, so they see the height, they see the stance, and I mean, if they look, they they look they look around. Uh, I've had mixed results, but they know they know I'm not gonna lay they, they know I'm not gonna lay down for nobody. So they they know so they know if they they know if they fight if they if their fighter still got some work to do they like we're not even gonna mention it we're not even gonna mention Michael Fox's name in our fighters because fighters are, fighters don't turn down fights managers and promoters do mm. managers and promoters do so so if they whatever they got whatever they got uh plan for them if they if, if, if they see somebody that could thwart them plans they're gonna be like nah we gonna we gonna slide this way. If you if you if you if you tell if you if if if, if you if you fought then you say yeah we turned down whoever we turned down so and so you as a fighter you are gonna be like for what like what, what, what you turned him down for you don't, and then then that then that then that type of argument with the team starts you don't think I can beat that dude why you don't think I can mm-hmm. beat that dude then you got then you got to have that then you got to have that conversation with people I mean you got to have that conversation with a fighter and then I mean ultimately a fighter has the the final say if he says a fighter he or she says make make that fight happen. You do it, or they'll find, or they, or they'll find somebody that will. I mean, that's. I mean, I think you know the, the fighters are still, the fighters are still the boss. I mean, they tell them if they tell them, I want this fight," unless you can talk them, unless you can talk them down, you gotta make that fight happen. Well, champ, man, I do want to thank you for coming on. Uh, hopefully, 
you know, the team at top rank and, and, and obviously Brian Norman, they they take that. But like you said, Southpaw 6'4", God damn, they need a reason yeah. to want to fight that. They Can you drop? Wait, 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 wait. I know you probably haven't done that in a while, but today's show is about uh, Sabril Matias not being able to find an opponent for his Puerto Rico fight. It, it might be too much for you to ask, but can you go to 140 for a title shot? I ain't been down there in, in years, yo. Mm. I ain't been down there since, uh, I ain't been that low since, like, 2019. God damn. I, I think, honestly, it might, it might, it might would kill me. Hmm. Hey, I had to ask, man. You never know who's listening. They they in desperate need of an opponent for for for, for Matias at the moment. Um, but listen, Mike, give everybody your uh, social media. Let them know those Kenichi Bears. Shout out to them headphones. Oh, yeah. Shout out you to know, them you, headphones. Yo, I train I trained the younger that made these. I used yeah, to, oh, oh, I, I first Carden. started I first started boxing. Okay. Shout out to, shout out to Carter and Chapman. Yeah, that's my my guy, man. Uh, shout out to you for rocking the Kenichi Bears. Let everybody know where they can find you, champ. Yeah, everybody, you can have me on Instagram or Twitter at Professor Mike, Mike with a Y, uh, M Y K E. So uh, at Professor Mike on Twitter and Instagram. Appreciate you. All right, All right there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Fox, welterweight. Wanted to get him on as, uh, listen, I might get the footage. I'm telling you, somebody DM me. I don't even know who it is. That's how I love how big this show has gotten. Sometimes I get message. I don't know who is who. They just dumping footage and, you know, leaking shit to me. And it's like, okay. And that's how I found that out. Like, yo, that spawn session went different than, you know? And I'm like, oh, did it? Well, let me talk to my boy Fox and see how it really went. But it looks like we got the man with the plan, Ringwalk Danny, and he's rocking an FTWR brand shirt. You can get your own over at FTWR brand. Don't forget to use that code TBV. I'm going to drop that link in the description. I see Marco Boxing is also there. What's up, fellas? What is poppins? Top of the morning, man. Top of the morning. What is this? That shirt is dope, Danny. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is a Mexico. What the fuck it say? It say uh, La Tierra de Campeones. Oh, I thought it said the Los land, Campeones. the land of, of the champions. How the English for this for the gringo? Land of the champions. Yeah. So, so go on over to FCWR as Ness was saying. Top of the morning. I think it's President's Day. It is. All right. So happy uh happy President's Day to all the dead presidents on either a dollar bill or you know that are no longer here with us. Nah, shout out to the presidents giving people a day off, you know. Now they're able to rock out with TBV. You know, we got the links to our Discord and our Twitter spaces if you want to call in, voice your opinion. Uh we're talking Sabril. Matias looking for an opponent. Liam Pato is out. According to Frank Smith, he's never been in. Hmm. Nobody's going to fight Matias, man. Nobody of significance. I mean, Paro wasn't like a huge fight. You feel me? I didn't think so. I thought he put out a good outing with... Uh, Montana Love, and you know, you might link him to some American sparring, but uh, is he more popular or more known than Matias? I don't know. You know, it would be a dope fight, and I think people, I think purists would love this fight, but the public probably wouldn't want it is Barroso and Matias. I think that would be a fun fight, that'd be a bomb session. Yeah, I'll I mean, obviously, uh, we've seen Barroso. Well, actually, we saw him last show was Golden Boy. We've also seen him on PBC. But, uh, I mean, if he's able to go do business, I actually wouldn't mind that fight. That'd be a fun I fight. Think, I, I think that just, like, puts him in, and shows the level that that he's at, right? If he's able to dismantle him easier and then Roly was able to with with little problems. I think. Uh, yeah. Oh no. I I mean it's a fight I would expect them to win, but uh, then again, so is a Paro fight. So I wouldn't mind a Barroso fight to be quite frank with you. What about you? That's what you think about that, or who you think gets it? Barroso Matias. Nah, I'm not even. No. Nah. I mean. It, it, 
isn't he with PBC? I have no idea. Well, that's what I said. His last fight, he fought on the Golden Boy show. Yeah, but but that was because see. of the WBA because he had that. You had he had to do it right. Um, I feel like they would rather hold him for Roley. Uh, Isak, when a, if you keep that guy on your side, you could kind of control it. If he loses to Matias, I mean, doesn't that what well, somehow now make because he's in a position highly ranked in the WBA? Like, I, I, I it just opens up the door for other people to fight fighters that maybe Al don't want to fight a Roley or Isak. But again, that is a champion. So I guess if he beats Barroso, it doesn't give him a high rank in the WBA because he's already the uh, IBF champ. So I guess I don't know. Oh. I don't like the fight. I don't like the nah. fight. Nah, man, I'm afraid. I don't give a fuck how good Bar- Bar- Barroso's been doing. Uh, you trying to kill him? He looked he looked too old in the face to take a shot from Matias. Man, fuck around and die. <laughs> That's just his genetics, man. Don't hate on his genetics. Nah, them wrinkles is real, B. He wrinkled yeah, yeah. up in the face, bro. Imagine, I, I just, I don't know that I want to see Matias hitting that old man. He's only 40. He's not that old. I mean, look. You know. He can punch. T- I'm, t- I'm real curious bro. how Matias handles that, those punches. Motherfuckers an interim world champ. Like that is the ultimate like baby step title defense. Like ain't shit wrong with that fight. Agreed. Agreed. And Barroso should have been a, a champion too. Like if a, if if a commission is, is gonna sanction him to fight, like I mean again, he has an interim belt. What's you know? Especially when you look at the rankings where you when you look at what's available, when you look at uh what was available a month ago and what's available now, like, I just think that you got to at least consider Barroso. Agreed. Who else is there? Um, well, I, mean, I mean, Elvis Regis, is... The, Elvis, maybe? yeah, 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 no. Regis Elvis? should be... Regis should be top option for Matchroom as he's in-house and, and they don't have to deal with anyone. Um... Honestly, people would probably be as upset as they are that he's getting a title shot off a loss the way that Sebastian Fundura is getting it, but at least he wasn't knocked out loss. Um, Second option, I'm saying Elvis. Elvis Rodriguez, he's got the green light from Al to sign with anybody and be advised only. Uh, It makes the most sense. Uh, I'm hearing they're already in negotiations with Elvis, so we'll see. Um, I'm yeah, I mean, he's uh, he he's a uh, top fifteen ranked fighter, so they'd be able to get an exemption to uh, defend their title against him as he is a uh, he's right outside the top ten. Yeah, uh, you know Barboza. I I I didn't get your thoughts on this. Like people are like, oh, but Barboza, Barboza, he's number one. Obviously, he could go to WBO. Maybe the TO is a bigger fight, but like. Bro, at this age, do you turn down a title shot? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you at number one. But, like, do you say no to a title shot? I just don't know that he can right now. Like, you know, he hasn't had one just yet. But at the end of the day, uh, getting fights was an issue. You know, inactivity was an issue. He, you know, went across... From toppering the golden boy from one major to another, from one platform to another. So I think that right now, uh, if you get what you were so much asking for, you have to take it, right? You can't go, you can't complain, oh, nobody was trying to fight me. Yo, let me get a title shot. And then that comes across your desk after the, the complaints and the outcries and the changes and you know you do not take it. Um should 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 should, should Matchroom just call Montana? If you're Montana Love and you get an Eddie Hearn call, 
do you say no to a title shot or do you take it? Uh, I mean, I'm not interested in seeing that. So if you're asking me, should match room call call back? I don't really think champ, so. I mean, champ, you saying what's wrong with match room? I mean, what's wrong with Montana Love versus Matias? I mean, back to back uh, suspect performances. Obviously, coming off the loss, and the guy that for the longest we thought was in line to face Matias is is. The winner, right? So it was Paro the winner in, in, in his last fight versus uh, Montana, who who lost that fight, and then even the fight before that, you know, had a suplex uh, a fellow Aussie out of the ring, you know, in order to have success in there. So uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say like he should never get a fight again. I just don't think he should get a title to it. Who are we talking about? Montana love. <laughs> oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I mean... You know, I think... Uh, what was what was the name you gave, Marco, uh, two minutes ago? Who, who you, Oh, Barroso. Yeah, I'd rather see Barroso than uh, Montana. Barroso's you know, like... Great. I've never been to Montana. I hear great things about it, but <laughs> I'd rather see... Oh, I, I'd rather Excuse see me. Barroso. Well, the thing with Bar- Barroso is... Not only did, can he knock you out, right, which is in itself um, exhilarating, but he also has this built-in story to him because he's an older-looking dude, and you know, it, it just—I it, feel like he's just more of an exciting fighter to go against a lot of people. Although some people feel like like Ness does that because he looks old, it's not intriguing. But I think the opposite. Yo, I like that option. Look, I mean, I mean, I like that option. I, I mean, Matt. What about De Los Santos, who already said on our interview he's willing to move up? He is in DR, though. He is. I spoke to Samson. He's actually might be. He might have got injured and went back to DR, but fuck it. De Los Santos at moving up to 40. And if not, what about the dude Ryan just beat? Duarte, Mexico versus Puerto Rico in Puerto Rico? There's no more Mexican than Duarte. That's perfect. He just fought at 40. It's just another, you know, I get it. He ain't win, but, like, common opponent with Ryan type shit. Yo, what do you mean by that? What? <laughs> it ain't no more Mexican than Duarte. What do you mean by that? Break he's, that down for me. He's fully Mexican, bro. He lives out there in Mexico. He only speaks Spanish. He's trained uh, by a Mexican trainer. Like, there's no more Mexican than that, papa. Damn. That he's literally walking around with the flag. What's wrong with you? I think you should do a poll. I bet you your people would want to see Barroso more than anybody. Just saying. That is a good poll, Nas. I like that poll. Do a poll. I bet you Barroso wins. Who would you rather? Who would you rather see? Or who is more Mexican? Nah, like. <laughs> Danny could make a poll, but we ain't get to a goal yet. We don't do polls till we get to our 500 goal. Oh, okay. We got ways to go, champ. So, uh, who we got? Anybody want to call in? Now is the time to request. We got Uptown Rico. What about Jose Ramirez? Yeah, I just don't think he's going to take a Matias title shot off that inactivity, right? Like, has he fought? Has he been back? Like, <laughs> you know he got Rick Merrigan. Rick Merrigan ain't letting him die. Uptown I mean, so Rico. Did, did, what were you, you think? What, you think what, Rick? Go what ahead. Wait, who? Uh, no, go ahead, Danny. No, nah, I mean, I was going to say... Did, did you think Rick really thought he was gonna be the uh, Josh Taylor? I mean, I think Rick. I my think dude, Rick that was wasn't tried, that. Yo, he, you funny. Wasn't that like for like he, undisputed though? Wasn't that two belts, two belts? What about Josh Taylor? Yeah, I don't think yeah, it. I, mean, I don't I, think I don't it matters thought, at I, that point. Like, do you think Rick thought he was gonna beat him? I think at that point, it's just the biggest fight Rick as a manager could make for his fighter. You know, undisputed. 
you know, it's the most money, the belts, everything. I mean, it, it wasn't, you know, that's when the risk is worth the reward. That's when you do take the risk, whether you think you could beat them or not. You got to roll the dice for all the marbles. Yeah, I mean, look, I think right now, right, he's a guy with multiple losses, Jose Ramirez is, right? He's lost a few times. Uh... He's a guy, or only, or it's, it's only been to, to Regis. I mean, to Taylor. I think just Taylor. I can't remember anybody else beating him. Oh, well, look, even better. He's a guy, he's a guy with one loss. That's why you don't right? rush him. That's why he's there. He's yeah, on the yeah, cusp. Yeah. yeah, but look, since the one loss, he's averaged one fight a year. No, he had right? to get married. Oh, a lot has happened. He had to get married. They waited their contract out. They got rid of Golden um of 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 of, of top rank. You know, they doing things a little bit differently this year. It's nothing. How old is he? 31. He's good. He's good. He took a couple years off like Mikey, maybe a year and a half off like Mikey. And, uh, yeah, fucking, you know, if he gets back at it now, that's why you don't rush him. You get him on a bike, though. You get him a couple wins, then he's back. And then you can make a big I mean, fight with him and Matias. You got Pedraza and Kome, like. Kome, Kome. I like Kome. I like Kome. That ain't going to, it ain't the best option for Puerto Rico, but Bro, fuck he, it. He just got stopped. Oh, Kome Stop. got stopped too? Damn. Motherfuckers out here losing big time, man. Yo, somebody said Kurt uh, Scooby. What you think about Scooby? I think he just too, he not even ranked. <laughs> I mean, he might have as many followers as Matias, to be fair. No? Young. I'm just Ain't saying. Scoob, don't don't Scoob got a little following? Brandon brought him up like, yeah, he, he might be he might be cheap because he's, you know, not like like that in terms of, you know, deep in the game. Here. I mean, 13 and no, 11 KOs, I mean. I mean, he's been active three fights last year. John Manu, Hank Lundy, Narcisco Carmona. I mean, two undefeated guys and a, and a veteran, so. Oh, Why not? shit. Why not Taylor? Damn, damn, damn. That should be it. Tito Mercado. Tito fucking Mercado. That should be it. I think Josh Taylor. What's wrong with Josh? I mean, Taylor? Josh got his fight. He got his fight with uh, with Catero. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, yeah, they, they they had the first presser today. Okay. Yo, hey, yeah, I watched hey, it. So, yo, yo, I got a problem, bro. Like, how do you continue to let this man put his fucking hands around your throat? Like, you know, like Josh, like. Yeah, bro, that's a problem to me. Like, oh, he choked him, bro. Again, who this got ain't the choked? Fucking first time. Josh Taylor choked him. No, bro, no, I'm saying Catterall choked him. Oh, Catterall choked but, Josh again, bro. Every time, every time he choking him, it's like, bro, what the fuck? Wow. Like, bro, you you gotta like spit on him or something, bro. Like, you out here looking like ain't a got no respect. You getting choked. <laughs> ain't got no respect for him. Yo, Badu Jack is not considered an American, so it ain't gonna be Badu, right? No, oh, Badu. No. It... Nah, Badu is Swedish. Swedish, right? I know he's Swedish. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know how that go. Yeah, it's. It, I think it's. I asked Benavidez's his um, manager, but she didn't know, so I, I think it's Benavidez. I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping it's David, too. But phone lines are open. If you guys want to call in, give your opinion on who do you think gets the Matias title shot. Uptown Rico. Yo, yo, my chat. Yeah. One, two, uh, one, two. My guy. Hey, shout out to the panel, man. Uh, just, you know, I know we don't got to fight for him. But you know, I, I think I, you know, me probably being a conspiracy guy, you know, and all, you know, I think uh, 
this whole play, him going to match room and everything, was like a, a strategic move because if he would have stayed at the PBC, I think uh, he was going to have to. He was. I think the PBC would end up feeding him Gary Antoine Russell. That's the fight I want to see. Me personally, you know what I'm saying. I think that's the most entertaining fight, uh, uh, best fight, and um, you know, I think that he, he you know, that could have been an easy fight to make if he would have stayed with PBC. But you know, him now going to match room makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, I mean, what do you guys think about that fight? What, like, why Gary Antoine Russell doesn't get that? that that n- never really seemed like his name is never in the hat. Yo, so there's mixed reports, man. Like I said, you know, the big wigs are reporting that uh, Jerron Ennis and the man Anonius were options, but I was heard, I was told by my, you know, sources that uh, Russell and um, that other kid was offered at 40, uh, Rodriguez, Elvis. Uh, so... I don't know, you know, um, Mm. maybe that still wasn't enough. You guys got to understand, like, if I'm born in another country, my goal is not to keep fighting in your country. My goal is to bring my world title back to the people who watched me, the people who doubted me, the people who believed in me. Those are the people I want to fight in front of. I want to come back home and show the motherfuckers who thought I'd never achieve yeah, I put on the biggest fight Puerto Rico ever seen. I want to show the okay. motherfuckers that been following me. Yeah, I did so well. I'm back home as the boss. And that's what y'all okay. don't get. Like, I'm not going to stick with PBC when they had me for seven fights and they didn't give me that. I'm not going to top rank when they had me for like six fights and they didn't give me that. I'm going to try this other dude who's telling me he is going to give me that. Like, y'all got to get over it. Y'all got to understand, like, you know, every person has individual needs. Some people just want to be a world champion. Some people want to be a unifier. Others want to undispute. Maybe this man's major goal is to defend in Puerto Rico. All right, that's fine. Do that for do that for one fight or so, and then come back to the U.S. I mean, you're going to make the most no, money and that, here. No, and that's true. You could come US. back. You could come back for sure, but you got to understand, you still need a promoter willing to help you do that. And top rank, they were offering him. They was offering him a June date in New York. Like, yeah, that's that's almost, you know, that's that's what y'all do with every other Puerto Rican y'all got. Yeah. Do, do me better. Yeah. Do me better. Do me better. Well, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I, and I don't know what the offer was for June. Why? To be fair, what they typically do, what they typically do, or what they've done as of late. They put them in the theater. The small room, right? That's where they put them in. So if you like that, you do the big room, MSG. Not one venue in this country more historic than Madison Square Garden. You get what I'm saying? So if you really like that, that's what you would have got, right? And I think that's what should be the goal, like doing the big room, not just doing the small room, because that's what they typically do, right? So if you could show, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Berlanga, I'm not Amanda. I, I, I do the big room. I think that's the statement. Yeah, but that's but, the but thing. He, that, but, hold, but on, he, hold on, hold on, hold on, champ. Like Uptown that. Rico, hold on, hold on. See, that's the thing. You, he already got a Puerto Rican promoter. We already did shows in PR. We trying to tell every promoter we working with. We already a draw out there. You understand? We already did shows the best we could out there nah, and they successful. Not, so we just need the big box promoter to come out there and put on a grand show with the fireworks. For sure, for sure. I'm just I'm just saying as a Puerto Rican fighter, so, uh, uh, headlining the big room at Madison Square Garden on I'm on, on Puerto Rican uh Puerto Rican weekend and well, you know whatever y'all whatever they call it, like I think that's a that's a pretty significant thing as well. You know, I think that should be... But, 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 hey, Chan, hey, Chan, hey, Chan. I think y'all undervaluing... But that's what I'm he's saying. He's not as big as Tito. But you, you, under, got, you, you undervaluing room, that. You undervaluing what he's trying to achieve. See, you saying it yourself. He said it, Danny. Oh, uh, 
not Danny. Was that last caller? They only talk about that was Adrian said. Oh, they only talk about Manny Serrano in Puerto Rico. He was just there with a fighter. Cool, right? Then you saying he not as big as Tito. Cool. How do you show Puerto Rico you are by bringing a fight back? Look how long Amanda about to be thirty eight years old. If I'm lying, am I lying? How old is she? She about to be out. However, thirty whatever, and finally going to Puerto Rico. You understand? This man about to go there right behind her, and he on his umpteen fight? No, that's how you show that you as big as Tito, because you came back home with a big fight with a television network before Tito. I'm not saying he did, because I ain't a historian, but before fucking Amanda, for sure. Amanda just got there. Like, you know what I mean? You got to let him build. And, 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 and Top Rank had him first. They didn't do that. Not not the way he wanted. PBC had him, and they didn't do that. Now, people could argue that PBC did a better job because they made him a champion, but, you know. And they I was going to put him. I can't like, pronounce. They got better opponents. My they got dude, better opponents. Pronounce one name that he uh, fought PBC. on the PBC side. Go ahead. I can't think of the other guy name. Exactly. We can't but pronounce you, nothing. PBC no. gave this motherfucker. A, 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 a bunch of names that yeah. you need a 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 professional but, but, to pronounce these names, who, man. Come on. Who, who, the guy who he just fought, uh, uh, you know, the Hergeshev. last fight under uh, Hergeshev. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was a good fighter. I mean, he was good. My man, uh, Les, there's no H in it. It's Ergeshev, not uh, her. Ergeshev. <laughs> Yeah, I mean he was he was good, but you you know Bro, you gotta put he, him in there. He was so good. He was so good. He uh he after the fight had a speech he pulled out of his pocket to give us his retirement <laughs> like statement. Like, come on, champ. I was with yeah. Ergus Seven in the gym. Sugar Hill was telling me how my man's wasn't even in there for real. How he was ready to you he know carry out. on with his life outside of boxing. So. Yeah, he was checked but, uh, out. He checked out. What, but, but that's what, all I what's had. What's the though, other name? You know? what, yeah. What? Oh, I mean Gary Russell. I mean, I, I mean, I, that's the fight I want to see. I think that's the most explosive, best fight to make at 140. You know, I think Gary Russell is the boogeyman at the division. Nobody really want to see him. That's that's my opinion on it. And I may be bi I, and you I'm ain't more lying. biased because I am from Washington D.C. Uh huh. You ain't lying. Uh, the only thing is, ain't it ain't that nobody wants him. It's his promoter don't want to see him because he don't put him on. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is true. But that's right all there. I had. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man. You know, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. You know, I, I always tune in. But keep Antoine. going. I appreciate it. All right, champ. You the man. All right. Uptown Rico, we got. Nah, that's he talking about Gary Antoine Russell. I always, I mean, how yeah, the forty are pound fighter. How many Man, are there? About about five, six, seven. So seven about seven, about seven, seven of them. No, I mean you got you got Junior, you got Antonio, you got Antoine, you got uh three. One more, know, man. Oh no! I mean, help me out, Gary. I mean, Russell. What's up? I mean, <laughs> you know they all G A. Fellas, what it what do? Up, brother? Jersey, strong in this in this piece this morning. Yo, Matias, yeah. opponent. That's what we talking. That's what we talking. Yeah, Cause talking bottle, bottle was out. Bottle was out. We all agreed. Barroso should be out. Uh, uh, That'd my God, good. Marco, Marco suggested Barroso. That'd be fun. Um, Barroso's not bad, believe it or not. I don't know. I don't know if Nestor. Oh, uh, Nestor suggested the super ultra, never before seen, uh, Mexican in Oscar du Duarte. You know, I mean, it don't get it don't get no more Mexican than Oscar Duarte. Uh, yeah, I don't. Duarte's I'm another good opponent, though. I, ain't touched I mean, one. I mean, he hold said, on, he, hold on. Does Oscar Valdez speak English? Yes. Valdez. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, Valdez. Yeah, he's boy. yeah. All right. He's American. Does Does Oscar Duarte speak English? No. You don't say. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Danny keeps trying to laugh at me, but again, who's more Mexican? Is it Duarte or is, nah, it, is I mean, it Valdez? I mean, yeah. The question, because it was just like. Like the question in itself is 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 you know a unique one. I mean, you know? I mean, 
I was gonna if get my eyes to, sharpened on. If we trying to That's do, it. if we trying to do the 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 the, the green print, right? Uh -huh. Which is Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Then mm -hmm. you want a Mexican that's really Mexican. Ness, I was just going to say that. Let me get my Al Sharpton on. I want like a Mexican Mexican. No disrespect. The less English, the mm -hmm. better. And even the nuances between Caribe and, 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 you know, more Hispanic, you know, Latinos. And it's like that nuance is, is the essence of the rivalry. So even the words, like when he's talking his shit, if he sounds Mexican, you know, the Caribbean is going to be like, man, get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, you want the most Mexican guy possible. Absolutely. You know what's funny? You said that. It sounds good. If I would have said that, I would have been kicked out of here. It would have been done. I can't say shit like that. We're not Ever. that sensitive. Plus, you're from New York because you you know what I say. I'm getting my Al Sharpton no, on. Know. You already know. Hey, yo. So hey, yo. You saying, plus, you're from New York just triggered me. Tell me, y'all, at least two of y'all seen Punch Drunk's interview with T.O. Senior saying, I mean, I'm from Brooklyn. You ain't see it? Yeah. Yeah, I seen it, man. Punch, Punch sent it to me, but I didn't watch it yet. Oh, I watched it. I watched it. I watched my shit Punch sends me. Come on, what man. Happened? He just yeah. screaming? Oh, no. He ain't screaming. He dropped the M-bomb and told you he oh. drops the M-bomb because he's from fucking Brooklyn. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. He don't mean it that way. What he did do, actually, we're going to talk all about Punch's interview and all the juicy details about him being dropped, not dropped by Keyshawn and or maybe not Keyshawn instead by his trainer at the time that would be K, say the last name? Kamora? Uh, Roma. See, that's why I let him say it all the time. I always fuck it up too. K what is it? Karoma. 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 So uh, if you want, definitely head on over to Punch and check out that interview so you can get all the juicy details because T.O. Senior does tell you about the situation he, he says he was not knocked out. He did get snuff. You feel me? And it was not by Keyshawn, you know, but I don't want to give you so all the details. Keyshawn, that means Keyshawn's lying. You mean Shakur? You mean Shakur? You mean Shakur? I, I thought they said Keyshawn. Yeah, but it, was, but it was Shakur that put it out there, right? So it would be Shakur lying. Oh, no, no. I heard Keyshawn um, interviewed about it, and he well, confirmed it. Well, according to T.O., Senior. No, no, I heard Keyshawn uh, confirm no, it out of his mouth. According to T.O. Yeah, yeah, Senior. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. But but you heard, the, was it the Hans interview with Fight Hype? I don't know what it was. It was an audio bite, and Keyshawn's like, yeah, it happened five years Fight ago. Hype, Fight Hype just interviewed him in New York after the uh, fight this weekend. Shout out to my boy Hans uh, from Fight Hype. And in that interview, they brought up Shakur's tweet stating what had occurred. And then Keyshawn talked about it from there. So and, that's why I was... And is that T.O. confirmed it? And T.O. Sr. also said, I don't know why Shakur would say X, Y, Z. That's fucked up. You know, I, go watch the interview. Shout out to Punch Always Gets the Direct Line at Sr. That was a decent so, um, interview for sure. So, I just want to throw out there that uh, maybe, I don't know... Maybe you a were week there. Ago, Ness hit me up. Yeah, because you were there. You hit me up. Uh, That's nah, crazy. I wasn't, there. I, I, I wasn't there. Oh, you wasn't there? No. Nah, I, I was just bro, about to say I, how it's crazy that you was there. I thought you was there. Hell no. Nah. I Is wish I was in. Nah, you got but. Something happened. But guy I, 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 I was not there, but the story for years was always that it was a member from the camp. You know exactly, not, and not, that's what not, T, that's what T.O. Senior says that it wasn't Keyshawn. He says who it was, and he goes as far again. I don't want to keep saying all the interview because then they won't watch it, and that's not fair to punch. But he goes uh, as far as saying like, K. Karoma would say this, and if he don't, then he's not a real one. See, I wouldn't even entertain this if I didn't hear Keyshawn confirm it out of his own mouth. So now we have a problem because somebody's lying. Yeah, yeah. Well. Definitely Senior has called uh, K. Karoma's integrity in the question if he doesn't cooperate what he has been saying. So that now, right there, K, you K know. Was, K, K was in New York, obviously, this weekend working uh, Shoo Shoo's Corner. He don't be giving um, interviews, though. You know, it's going to be tough no, to no, find no, out the truth sure, from him. For sure. So I was just going to say, if anybody has seen an interview, I doubt it because he don't. But, you know, um... Look, you know, stories are stories. 
But uh, I mean, why is he hitting? I'm old... intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Uh, you know, now could there have been punches thrown for more than one person? Perhaps. You feel me? That's possible too. Like for sure. Like, I mean, it probably turned it, into a scuffle. Especially any of us who have been in gyms, we know how the shit go. The moment somebody from the other corner get in, then your people from the get in, and you know that's just the way shit goes. And you know, yeah, that's it. no, that that's real. You know, when you have completely different stories, who is? I mean, fa- yeah. I mean, you sitting there smiling and shit, bro. I feel yeah. like you got the video. Nah, nah, because you know I'm I'm thinking to myself. Sometimes you know these things. You know that all the secrecy has gone out the window, man. Um, you know, not to say that you can't speak on things that happen, but um, you know, and, and whether it happened, how it happened, I, I just I'm just saying. I think that that's part of a good storyline to you know if Top Rank somehow decided to make. Uh-huh. A fight between Tio and uh, um, uh, Keyshawn. You know, I think it's an interesting storyline. Even the fact that we don't even know the truth. Uh, you know, his version, that version, the middle. So, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this may hey, lend itself to something promotional in the long run. Bro, some WWE they, going on. Uh, watch, watch, watch some footage come out on it the week of or 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 when the fight get announced. I mean, or look, sure, Ryan bro. and Devin just just had a somewhat staged interaction. Fighters are starting to do that now to to push fights. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How damn, dare whoa, you? Whoa, How damn, dare you? Thought that you? Was staged? How dare you? No, a I lot think, of people thought it was staged. Bro, Fuck I, it. I mean, I, bro, I know, look, bro. I know first Bill, of all, like you guys. Let me just get this off. Uh, did you not see Devin's brother like, yo, push up on him, push up on him, yo, push up on him. But he tried like to look the other way. He's like, push up on him. Like, you had to have seen that, Danny. Yeah. Danny. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I saw what Little was saying. It wasn't it wasn't verbatim push up on him. Um, what was it then? It certainly looked like that. But I think I think if it's I think if it's staged, you ain't gotta tell me to like to like stage it like if it stays my it stays. dude gonna... there was literally like three professional camera guys on hand like waiting for the moment was, but hey was... hey listen whatever you know i mean it was radio row that's what you're gonna tell us i, and... I think the part that wasn't staged was was i think they might have agreed to be like yo just don't put your hands on me and ryan was like yeah, yeah i ain't gonna do it i ain't gonna do it i ain't gonna do it and he did whatever he did and came back and said fuck it and then they said all right he went off script Oh, Brian, like, Brian is so. It's funny to see Ryan's energy. That's what happens. You see, like dudes know who they do shit to. So you see his energy with Tank, very respectful, sending bottles. You know, with Devin, he must think Devin is soft. He pushing Devin. He calling him a pussy. He talking about his father. This is funny. Like this is funny. You. I think Bill Haney is like Dr. Claw, man, from Inspector Gadget. He's a mastermind to promote. He knows what he's doing. He's super smart, you know, and he does it in a, in a very entertaining way. I think it's a great. I think it's pu- pushing the fight. I think it's a great thing, actually. Yo, but like, to the point of the whole Keyshawn thing, like I said, I, I don't know. And, and you guys may be right. Maybe somebody's got the footage. It'll leak. But I think that nobody minds the discussion of it, even though some some of us might be like, yo, they you know, they leaking gym culture, they leaking gym stories, they leaking altercations. I, I think this is a part of, so again, not that Keyshawn in them situation was in, in any way scripted, but it's like, all right, you know what? People is letting the cat out the bag to make the, the, the animosity and to build towards an expectation of a, a particular showdown, then let's talk about it, you know? Maybe even baiting T.O. into a fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, you know what? He, he might his his ego may feel broken if we talk about how somebody put hands on his pops. You know, um, you know, cause cause Tio came out trolling like Crawford for a fight, so it's kind of like what what do unto others as others do unto you. You know, you can't be mad when it happens to you. So, um, you know, I think this is some of that residual blowback from that style that Tio is pushing. Yo, so this is your daily Keith Thurman talk. Um, 
you know, you know, you know, Ness loves to do more than just, you know, I love getting in people's business, right? Um, so I'm trying to set up some sparring. With who? For Keith. Mm -hmm. so, Against who? So I got the perfect guy, but I want to see who y'all recommend. Y'all get to recommend one person each. Okay. And it'll... Huh. Already in Florida, or are they, they, were they able to fly in? Good um, question. You know, that is a good question. I mean, that shouldn't be a good question. That should be like, no, nah, I mean, if, if, it's, if it's a good name, they're going to fly him in. They're going to take care of him. Yeah, I, mean, I guess if it's a like, good name, um, possibly, though, whole, possibly. I'm who, not sure. I'm not sure. Is this preparation for the zoo fight or just to spar in general? Nah, zoo fight only. Oh, in preparation for the zoo fight. <laughs> it could be anybody. Say, say again? It could be anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, a, okay, even somebody who probably wouldn't do the sparring with them, but who we want to see. No, no, it's, it's got to be realistic. I got a guy. It's got to be realistic. Be realistic. Okay. I got, I got a guy. I got a guy too. Go ahead. You want me to go first? My guy's name is Andrew Murphy. He's a pro. He already trained down there in Florida. He trained with Roy. He's undefeated. He's a he's a white boy, you feel me? Andrew Murphy. Hold on, ball heads unite. We're thinking the same Roy Jones degrees of separation. I'm thinking Chris Eubank Jr. I'm thinking bring him in just because. Well, you know, well, formally, formally, Roy, formally, formally, Roy. and that's what I'm saying. So just proximity. Yeah, Andrew wise. Murphy and, and is too big, bro. He's fucking uh 168 on fight night. I mean, on, on weigh-in night, so, like, he can't spark. Keith, he's going to be, like, he's 185. Dropping. He's dropping the 60, bro. He's dropping the 60. He ain't big, I'm telling you. My dude, if he weighs in at 61, what is he fucking doing at sparring? Think about it. I mean, they fight in that middleweight. He, he... I mean, saying, so this bro, guy so... is in Florida. I'll send it, but I don't know. It ain't so, even appealing. And it's all the way up at the top. He going to have a lot of driving to do. Just saying. He might have to catch a flight and stay for the week. Honestly, bro. I he mean, had, I, mean this dude I don't know how bad it is, bro. But fuck, a flight, something. They can't set nothing for him. Like I'm not saying. Fuck? What is you talking about? There you go trying to insinuate shit. I'm just saying it's still far for this kid. It's still far for this kid. You know, I mean, hey. it's a job, bro. What the fuck? That's why they get him paid. That's why he get him paid. Like, he better drive his ass down. If it's in the same state, bro, it's close enough for me. I mean, shit, tell him we got Kevin Newman. He want Kevin Newman? He wants, you know, a, a older touch? Like, what he want? I don't. I mean, who who you had for him? Like, well, I I did say Eubank Jr., but but I realistically, Lubin. That's right. That's right. Is Lubin available? Because that's that's in Florida. I'm just thinking, you know, and that's in the division. That's a fight, though. That's a fight. I think. I don't know if, if this dude would do it, but it would be great. Virgil Ortiz. Wait, let me double back to I mean, I mean, said Lubin. Yeah, he's a southpaw. But okay. outside of that, outside of that. Might be a Lubin fight, battle for Florida. Once my interview dropped, mm, you know me, I had to tell Tim, I mean, I had to tell Keith that Tim came on here telling us that he was training seven weeks for Southpaw in Lubin. I just wasn't ready for what he was about to say. All I was telling him was like trying to get in Keith's head to feel like, yo, is that fucking with Zoo? Because he's been training for seven weeks for Southpaw. And now he got to switch to train for an orthodox fighter. So that's more what my question was about. I just wasn't ready for what Keith was about to say. I just, I didn't expect that. But I got James Benitez. That interview will be dropping whenever I mean, my editor gets to it. I mean, what'd he say? <laughs> like I said, enough for there to be a fight. Battle for Florida. Yo, that's Danny, Amin, Marco, y'all hear me? What yes, up? Sir, Mr. Benitez. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Yeah, I, I like Kevin. I like Kevin Newman, man. Is he even down there in Florida right now? 
Bro, y'all keep getting these dudes. Newman weighs in at 68 on the scale. Then he hey. balloons. Y'all trying Look, to get it's, Keith it's my, killed? Hey, hey, my hey, hey, it's hey. my choice. Hey, hey, that's <laughs> all I choice. needed to know, man. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> that's all I needed to know, man. They scared. What you they mean, scared? I'm, I'm, Bro, I'm, of, I'm trying of, to find 54 pounders. He already moving up they, the way. They man. ain't so scared he... of shit. This is our conversation. I'm trying to find 54 pounders, but... James, give me a minute because I never gave the ultimate pick. The ultimate pick, mm -hmm. which I ain't even going to take credit for. Uh, my sources hit me with the ultimate pick. Marcus Valle. He's literally the, the American version of Tim Zhu or Puerto Rican version. It's perfect. And he's big. To be 54, he's big. I met him in person. He's big. Big as fuck. Lives in Florida. Perfect. And I know people that know boxing, I'm like, Ness, that is a perfect, like, is Zoo better than him? Of course. He's way more experienced. But that is the American version of Tim Zoo. Go ahead, James. So that motherfucker's so big, man, how much he walking around at? Like 190, 200? But, but, the, but again, he's walking around with a 54-pounder should walk around. He's not walking around with a super middleweight should walk around. You understand? Like, you trying to put, you can, like, you and Danny pick super middleweights. And they super middleweights I mean, bro, we only bro, on Friday. You typically not sparring guys in your division. Man, Damn. knock it the fuck Spar off, bro. Chill. You stunting. Come on, oh, man. You sparring oh, up. Man. You sparring up maybe one division or down one division. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Oh, okay. So Liam Pyro was what? He's a, a 60-pounder? Is he a 60 when Devin sparred him or was he a fucking 40-pounder? He was a 40 when Devin was at 35. Still a division exactly. up. Exactly! And what did I say? One division bro, up or one division fighting, down? Not fucking bro, two the, and three. The, Not two I mean, and three like y'all doing. They're fighting that middleweight okay. and I gave so, a super so, middleweight. So, so, so outside of very inexperienced 60-pounders, what what 60-pounders Devin spawn? Outside of his, his own fighter, Amari. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not telling you who Exactly, man. Can, exactly. We're going to get back to the caller, man. Go ahead, James. So, again, again, uh, <laughs> this fight, I'm just God, kidding. Man, He's I, I just thought you was trying to correlate it some way, somehow, bro. Correlate you, what? You talking about, I mean, the bringing up a guy fighting two divisions below, fighting, uh, sparring a middleweight as to a middleweight sparring a middleweight. The reason I brought that up is because you guys, you and James Benitez on the call, have mentioned two super middleweights. Uh -huh. I'm saying, look at Devin. He sparred 130. He's a 35-pounder. Why bring, up, why bring up a guy like he's literally right now currently in this in this example three divisions below, right? Who? This fight This fight is, is at middleweight. So, no, so, junior so middleweight. Got, so Junior no, middleweight. No, fight, one, one no, this fight's only, at middleweight, brother. 55. Come on. So that is middleweight. Let, let, let James get to his call, man. Let James get to his call. Hey, I agree with you, Danny. It's only one division up, man, technically. Exactly. Anyways, man, not not two and three like y'all given. You you skipping no, you skipping middle junior middleweight. Middle, you skipping junior middleweight. Middle to super middle. Nah, middle to middleweight middle to super middle is one division apart, bro. Yeah, but they not fighting at no fucking super middleweight or no middleweight. They, That's just you with your fight. fake technicalities because they took the belt off. Bruh, yeah, they they weighing in. They weighing in at a catch weight of one fifty five. Bro, Yo, so, so, what so belt all that Canelo shit, of, uh, all that Cotto's, shit that he talking about, what, what, he just trying to win an argument, Canelo, man. You know, prolonging what, shit. What belt did Canelo take off of Cotto? I'm just curious. No belt. Oh, wow. So now you a liar. <laughs> Yo, Yo, shout out to you earlier, man. I like the Oscar Duarte pick, man. I think that would be a good fight for um Sabriel, man, being that he fought in probably one of the fought against one of the bigger names of the sport of boxing. So Matchroom, they could definitely market the hell out of that, man. Even And uh, since that Ryan already fights on the zone cards, you know what I'm saying, Duarte fights on the zone cards, that makes sense right there. Um, also, De Los Santos. Hmm. De Los Santos probably going to fuck around and win that fight if he moved up and fought Matias, man. But, you know, we got to see if that can actually happen, though. The other names I have, man, would be like a Puerto Rico versus Puerto Rico, man, a Nestor Bravo. 
you know, he fought on MVP cards and shit like that. So there's a relationship there with the zone. So that's a that's a plausible name. Um, Montana Love, Montana Love comeback. I mean, that's that's probably highly unlikely. You could also go with Kenny Sims because he's not going to get the Ryan. Or, I mean, he's not going to get the Roley and um, Eastside Cruz winner. So you might as well go ahead and pivot and just go to IBF route and shit like that because he ain't got shit else going on for real. So he might as well fight Sabril because I think that would be a good name for him. And then how much money are they really going to pay him, man? Like 400 k that should be enough to get uh, Kenny Sims in the ring. And the last choice, man, this is probably not the most popular, but Barroso. You know, Barroso, he should Barroso know. People keep on saying, you, you said earlier, they're going to save him for Ro, for Roley and Eastside Cruz with her, which we all know that's true, not true. Because after Ryan Garcia Bro. and Devin Haney fight, they're going to try to go straight into a unification. So I could believe Bro. that's going to be more realistic for those two guys instead of uh, Barroso. Barroso is going to be waiting. So he might as well go ahead and fight um, Matias. What's up, Danny? Bro, I'm just curious. Do you think... Like, like I just want to know where do you think the four hundred thousand comes from? Like, where'd you get this number from? I'm just curious. I'm just is saying, it a matchroom thing? Do you right think? There. Do you think it's because it's matchroom or? I'm it's not trying to. Shit I, mean, on I mean, I mean, no. I mean, they gave <laughs> Montana. They gave Montana three hundred thousand. Bro, uh, am I saying. talking to you? or Am I talking to him, brother? I, I oh, so now you mad? Know. Now you mad? Oh, I'm now just, you mad. I'm just, I'm just helping. Bro, what I'm the fuck? Think, Bro, keep it real, Danny, Sam, man. Like, you think look, I don't man, know what persons are? Can... I just wanted to know why he thinks Kenny would get 400000 I genuinely want to know. Gonna... Is it a, a national because... zone thing? Or... <laughs> Yo, Danny, he ain't going to get more than half a mil, my nigga, man. That's unrealistic, man, for Kenny Sims. Bro, probably be a I good think price for point for it. Champ, listen to me. That's why, that's why y'all got to... Bro, Bro I'm Kenny so Sims genuine. got a fight I already. I keep telling y'all. Bro, I mean, and that's great Bruh, for Kenny. He ain't in shit. Um, yeah. You feel me? He got to fight, just, man. If he stop no, ducking I mean, his interview, again, we'll make him I say it. He thinks 400 is high I, for Kenny Sims. No, I mean, it ain't It ain't too high. I, no, I mean, it's high. He went it's high. Higher. It's high. That's, it's high. Higher, that's higher than what I would have gone, yeah. I don't know that Kenny made that yet, but um, nah, he definitely I don't think we got to. Listen, we can't be factoring in. How much? Cause, 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 cause. Uh, if we gonna go by how much, Ariola made one hundred and thirty thousand to fight Wilder in Birmingham. So we could put the pay scale a whole lot lower if we wanted to. It, it's more about the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you want to I mean, become inflation, a champ? Inflation, brother. Inflation. Yeah, for He's sure. Bringing up a fight that happened during the Trump administration. You feel me? <laughs> <'Cause> we <laughs> we living in different times right now, my brother. <laughs> Hey man, look, look, Daddy man, I know that got you off your off your horse. So what you man, saying? What look. you saying? The offer should be less than four hundred, or, or, or beneath I that? Think, I, I think I think three fifty four hundred. Danny, that's what I really believe three fifty. Oh I man, I love Danny, it, bro. You, you know, you, nah, you know I'm gonna believe in you. You whatever you can negotiate, man. If Kenny could get four hundred out out of Edward, hey, but I love it for him. You know, he's from the city, bro. He, what do like, what you think Elvis could get as Puerto Rico versus DR? Well, I mean, based off stories I've heard, shit, the manager going to come in asking for like 2.2, .2, you know, open and <laughs> offer. <laughs> and then, yeah, I mean, I don't know, bro. You know, we always say they price themselves out. So, yeah. Kenny didn't beat them. So, does, does Elvis take 400000 uh, Kenny can't take the so. fight, man. I'm telling y'all, Kenny got his own fight. He don't cross the street. Y'all know he don't cross the street. Well, I mean, he crossed the street to so, be Elvis. So we can guess. Why, why can't he? Yeah. Bro, that yeah, was so a mandatory. So Kenny that was an eliminator. eliminator. I'm pretty sure that was for an eliminator. Not so a final. Who, so if it Kenny, was an eliminator, it wasn't fight, a final man. eliminator. Let, I'm a Google. Let me guess. Let, let me guess. Is it Michelle Rivera he fighting? Who? Kenny. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, man. How you don't know? But you told us he got an opponent. Yeah. My dude. Speak my English. dude. Doesn't everybody speak knows English, I man. know. I also can't <laughs> tell you if I can't tell you. So that's... Is it's, English his first language? So say, That's all I'm asking. So say, Is English his first language? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, look. It, again, if, if, if Kenny stopped ducking... Cause I hit him up twice already. He he answered one. Yeah. I'm waiting on the other. 
So, so like, answer what? You trying to get him on the show or something? You know it. Yo. I hey, mean, you know if you check job, the DMs, man. you'll see. I mean, you know I don't Yo, have access Nip. to that, but... Uh, oh, damn. What happened? Yo. I don't know. Yo, and somebody loves me. I, I, I no longer have access one. to the YouTube page, bro. It's like, I don't even work here no more. I don't know what's going on. You a liar, man. You, you know, you show up to work and you scan your badge and your badge don't work. You a liar. That's what the fuck I felt like this morning. You a liar. You a liar. Right. Um, who we got next? My man said, Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Only Alex would mention this guy. I'm going to have to Google him. Who the fuck is Gabriel Who? Venezuela? Who? Exactly. My boy Alex, man. The hardcore is hardcore. Gabriel Valenzuela. Ain't that a... Young oh, he be oh, he beat Steve Sparks? Yeah. Oh, shit, that's the kid from Canada he beat, Ulysses Jr. I ain't never seen this kid fight, but he beat some names I know for sure. Yo, oh, next, he lost I'll to Montana. In, uh, what up? I'll be, in, I'll be in South Florida in a couple of days. Nah, man, you already know. Lock in with me. Tap in. Yo, he lost yep. to Montana, though, so this is what I'm saying. Like, if we if we going to dismiss uh, Rodriguez because he lost to Sims, then this guy lost to Montana. You know, and Montana brings more than this guy. Like, this guy, we had the box rec to know who he is. Montana, off of laws, you know who he is. Uh, Yeah, man, I don't know. We got... Well, we got Jonathan... Jonathan Reaction. Welcome to the prospect level. Matt, Matt Bat Bat 100. You the man. Second dose. The shackles is off. Gorilla emoji. Gorilla in the force. Monkey in the trees. Tank 2024 for president. Show beta 20 swing. No, so he you, said you monkey's quiet in the trees. Yeah, and then he said Tank 2024. Yeah. You said Monkey in the Trees. You forgot Quiet. It's all good, champ, man. Go ahead, man. It's tag team shit. So you got the next one or you want to go? There you go. This fucking guy. Bro, you're not allowed to smoke in your own house? Champ, I've smoked. I'm just making sure. I'm just trying to... Usually, you read one, I read. So I'm just trying to see what the fuck you're trying to do. So for all my wrestling fans, this is Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty right here. This mother... This guy right here. Lyle, he just loves to fuck around, guys. Damn, that's what you call what I do, champ? Damn, that's crazy. Marco. Yo, I'm going to fuck, a, I'm a fuck around. To, I'm going to fuck Marty around Jannetty. these next two months, man. <laughs> And I'm going to just put betting slips up. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just fuck around and just put betting slips up after the fact. You feel me? Because this is, this, is, this is unbelievable. Josh, for $5. Reed has been putting Puerto Rico on his page for weeks. I think it's him. I am Q, I that $2. Says, what about Ramirez versus Matias? Like that, too. What was your issue with that fight, man? Ramirez versus Matias. I mean, off that layoff, there's no way Merrigan is taking that. Okay. No, no, no. I was just, I couldn't remember. Leonard Sterling, two-pounder. I'm sticking with Paro. He re-entered number seven in the IBF in January. I mean, he's going to have to, he's going to have to accept an offer. The way Frank Smith, the CEO, second in charge of Matchroom, his direct quote is... And I quote, John Nori, welcome to the prospect level. And I quote, I don't think it will be Liam Pato. I know there was a lot online about it being Pato, but I don't think it will be. We are working through the list of opponents now, but it won't be him. End quote. So maybe they playing hardball with Pato trying to say like, yeah, we moving on. 
he might have asked for that that four hundred thousand Benitez was talking about, and they said, "Fuck this guy." Word. But um, you know, Regis, some that's a great opponent. I like uh, Ramirez, and I like Barbosa. You know, assuming that they're willing to work with Golden Boy and make those fights happen. Yeah, I'm, I I would love to see would Barbosa really take that. Like, I don't but have any issue with him taking it. Like, the I thing feel like is, he's wasted his time trying to call out Ryan. Not oh, Ryan. Oscar, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for oh, you. Oh yeah, okay, I get that. But I I thought he was, you know, you know, he's been on that To thing. He's number one in the WBO. Like a dog with no teeth. I mean, I hear that. <laughs> no bite. Mind him no bite. But I like to see him fight Matias because you know I feel like Matias uh, you know straighten him out. All he does is bump his gums about calling out Ryan on Oscar's behalf, but you know, call out Matias. Let me see you call out Matias. Not because of me, but just because it's the right thing to do. I got tip on a check-in. Off the ropes, boxing, five dollars. Arnold Barboza would be a great choice for Matias. Yo. Yo. What's the word? TBV, your tribal chief has arrived. Man, I see y'all talking this Matias shit again, man. Nah, now Liam Paro done backed out, man. Damn. Damn. So, so first, we were talking about Eddie Hearn potentially giving him a not so big fight. And now he ain't even got a not so big no, fight. No, 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 right? no, 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 no. He's got a multi-fight deal and he will get a big fight. This is never was gonna be a big fight. This is the hometown fight. Stop trying to mix I'm, everybody look, up, man. Stop. Don't do that. Listen, man, listen, man. It's like I said. The man should have never went over there looking for a hometown fight. It was pointless. You know what I'm saying? If we look back at Tito Trinidad, Tito had 10 fights. Matter of fact, he had nine fights after winning his first world title before he even fought in Puerto Rico. Before he even fought in Puerto Rico again. Because before he won his world title, he fought in Puerto Rico. Then uh, before he fought Pernell Whitaker, he had a fight uh, uh, in Puerto Rico. Like, you know what I'm saying? Matisse, he, he doing shit the wrong way, man. He's just moving the wrong way. Uh, it, it, was just, it was just a stupid move for him to go over there, fuck with the Heron boys, you know what I'm saying? Because now you got a bunch of losers over there. That's all they could toss you up, honestly, is a bunch of losers. They ain't really got shit for you. Y'all keep bringing up Montana Love, uh, uh, Regis Prograde. Like, dude's coming off of losses. Like, Bro, this, why, is a, this is his introductory fight to the network. It's not supposed yeah, to be a world but beater. These, but this is what I'm saying. That's none of these fights are a good introduction fight. That's a lie. Montana, box. I think Montana Love is a great introductory fight. Yes. Yes. Let's, yes. Let's yes. be honest, bro. The man just got tossed over the top rope and lost the Royal Rumble. Then he came back at WrestleMania and got knocked out. Like, bro, it's not a good introduction Who? fight. Montana Love. Uh, that was one of the many names we listed. All right, give me another name. Give me another name. Put over there on that match room on that side of the street, that, as we would say. Regis, Regis Progray is the Regis biggest Progray. fight. Come on, bro. It's somebody Regis he Progray. called out. Jose Regis, Ramirez. Right, so let, let me let me give you Progray. Progray literally just shit the bed in 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 in, in a. In a championship no, fight, style bro. make fights, got, bro. That was the wrong style for I'm him. But, but, this the right but, style but, for Progray to get the win, or this the right style to suit Progray's style. It it is, but you can't just throw Regis back in there. You have to get Regis a, a fight. You got to get Regis. Regis got to he got to uh, regain. That but my audience, dude, bro. my dude, that's exactly why this fight ain't gonna be a big name. Matchroom is gonna get like a Stephen Claggett. You know, somebody nondescript, some dude from Spain or some shit, a, a Mexican undefeated fighter like they just had for uh for my dude from New Jersey, Khalil Cole, right? And he'll do his thing. He'll get introduced to the audience. He'll get the knockout. The commentators will talk about Devin and Ryan Winner and Liam Parra, I mean, Jack Catterall and, and Josh Teller Winner and Liam Parra and sauce it up. This ain't nothing more than an introduction. He been hiding in terms of nah, the bro, networks I'm, I'm having been putting them on. 
All right, well, then, you know, you tell us what it is. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. It's just like, uh, yeah, if it was just a tune-up before something, you know, something major, then I would understand. But that's that's not what we're looking at here. Nah, we're looking to keep him, like, uh, as a marketable name, as a champ, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't do tune-ups at you can't do a tune-up at this point if you're going back home. Nah, bro. So who you got for him then, Tip? Nah, who you got the for him I, I honestly don't know, bro. I honestly don't know. It's like I told y'all the other day, man. He should have moved up and he should have took He should have took the fight. Bro, with, uh, Oscar uh, Duarte uh, is a perfect name. He just fought Ryan come at on, 40. Next. Once again, bro, he just got knocked out by Ryan. So Bruh, why would you give him how, how you next? think? How you think Ray, Ray Beltran made a name for himself, bro? Like, people lose and get Fuck opportunities. It, Bro, shit, he might as well fight Raymundo Beltran. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I don't think anybody have a problem with that. Like, oh, he's fighting Raymundo Beltran. Anybody heard of him in a minute? So, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, it ain't like he been in the media or, you know what I'm saying, he done had a, a, a noticeable fight where he took any type of losses or, you know what I'm saying, hey, something um, like that. Don't worry. Matchroom is the one that found Liam Paro and Steve Sparks. They'll be able to find somebody to put him in there with the Maybe Steve maybe you Spark, all know. Man. Maybe you all know, but they they uh they make a good fight and we wanna see them back because again, I like Liam Pato and I like Steve Sparks. Would anybody be mad Sparks if it was uh, Zuria, you, the guy he's that uh that, that, that region Ooh, fought? That's a good name, but that he's Puerto Rican, so I I, I don't think they wanna do Puerto Rico on Puerto Rico it, crime. It, it, it. Yeah, and then again, it don't look good because you know Regis got the gift against Saria. So you know, you see what I'm saying? Like this, this, this shit here that boxing them fucked up. Like these matches are possible matches. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them are possible, but you gotta think about outcomes. You know what I'm saying? Zaria would probably be a good match in Puerto Rico. But, Two but, Puerto but, Ricans in their hometown. Nah, but, that ain't you know good. One that ain't good. Why, 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 why would we do Puerto Rico and Puerto Rico crime? Like we going back home. We trying to, we trying to gather the fans, not. Not divide him. I mean, if any, no, I mean, if anything, uh, if anything's a Riaz fall in the same venue that you want your guy to headline, so uh, exactly. But again, people. why would we do Puerto Rico on Puerto Rico crime? We could put him on an undercard. We trying to build Matias, like we trying to build Matias. Well, I mean, if you're trying to build Matias, stop trying to give him dudes Why with, can't you... with a loss. I mean, the dude just fought five straight dudes that were undefeated and knocked them all, made them quit on the school, actually. Like, come on, bro. Like, and that's nah, what I said. That that's what I said. Matchroom's probably going to find an undefeated dude like they did for Khalil Cole from Mexico. You, you got you got to find somebody undefeated, or you got to find them a, a, at least a formidable champ that's, like, got something going on. Going to, uh, you know say a uh, uh, former world champ, you know? But it's like, like I said, it, you, it could be Regis, but Regis just lost, and Regis ain't had a fight back since. So it, it just don't look right. It don't look right. Bro, for him to but fight then Regis, you bro. say that, you say that, and then continue to give us a name that not just uh, is coming off a loss, but that Regis beat. Who? And ain't done shit since. Zaria? To me, yeah. you just said Zaria. Yeah. No, I look, I didn't, I didn't say Zaria. I said yeah, Zaria would be, but you know what I'm saying? I said because Zaria got the the the, uh, the gifted loss to Regis, it doesn't look good. I said that. Well, champ, let me get to this other call here. Uh, Chopper. Yo, yo, what's going on? What up with you? Man, I'm. I didn't mention, uh, what was the guy's name that had a controversial loss against Gio? Uh, I'm not sure if he signed with... Uh, Sandor, um, he went top rank, and he highly ranked in the WBC. He got the, he getting step aside money right now from Devin. He ain't doing nothing. Yeah, that would be the perfect match for Matias. That's, that's, I'd like to see that fight. I agree with you with the Regis fight. That would be a good fight, too. No matter what, coming off a loss, you know, it's not a it's not a loss to nobody underneath the top ten. You just lost to Devin Haney, so I mean I think it'll do numbers. Wherever they fight at Puerto Rico states. But uh, yeah, I like that I like both of those fights with Matias. In terms of building to get us uh audience to park the state. Yeah man, uh, that's that's my car, bro. I'll take it easy. Peace, man. Real quick, man. That's that's some of the thing. Like you, you see how, how um, how negative Tip is because 
he got he lost he lost he lost these guys are fighters man that's the difference between the uk they they'll prop these guys up and say yo he lost but we, we want to see him back give him another shot yo he fought a tough fight give him another shot and by the way as far as regis losing you know he, he's saying zoria yeah if you think regis got the gift then why not say yeah this is the guy that you know we thought you know beat regis but regis got, you know, and, and that still adds, you know, a, a level of, uh, you know, storyline or whatever. Plus the opposite side of that, you know, Ness, I'm, I'm thinking that fight wouldn't divide because it'd be like if they, it'd be like a hometown affair, like seeing two hometown cats get it on or one cat from one side of the island, you from the other side of the island, everybody come out, you know, meet in the middle, so to speak. But, um, you know, Re and Regis is lost, by the way, talking about losses. Regis my lost dude, by being my outboxed. Dude, you want, you want, like, why do you want your public divided, cheering for another man? You want them cheering for you. Like, a, as my promoter, why why would you put me in there with someone else they could love more? It's supposed to be about me. You put me in there with a Mexican or you put me in there with a, uh, a, a an African-American, something that's going to get our country behind me. Like what are y'all thinking? I don't get what y'all how, how y'all matchmaking. Like why would y'all split him between Zorija? What if Zorija got more of a fan base? What if he with the streets? Like what if Tito is his yeah, fucking long lost that, cousin? That'll tell. Like, that would tell Eddie to do a better job promoting this fighter. That's all. Y'all haters, no haters, man. Y'all haters, man. Because don't you win an audience? Y'all want to ruin his first time back home hey. on an experiment, man. Like, y'all crazy. He Hate said him. on an experiment. What the fuck? Yo, because if he's from Puerto Rico and you win the other side, they got to respect you. It's like, get down or lay down. It's like, oh, all right. Man, we what? You before, but we fuck with you because you... you they going to give you your flowers for real. Yeah. What's you a, gonna have what real do you think, followers from the island now? What do you think's a bigger fight, Mexican versus Puerto Rican, or Mexican uh, versus a black fighter? What nah, draws Mexican more? versus a black fighter because nah, it's, it's it's too big a I demo. It Puerto the, Rico's smaller. I think I think it just depends on who, on the fight itself. But yeah, it depends yeah. I mean, on obviously, the, yeah. if, if if you're talking about a Puerto Rican as big as as Tito and a black guy as big as Bernard, then yeah. But like. Again, right now we don't we don't have that. Like Puerto Rico just producing less champions than Mexico is, and yeah, like, and a, you know African Americans are are, are 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 they're in better positions than most Puerto Ricans too. So it just is that it's bigger with those two demos. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Depends who it is. Like De La Hoya Tito was huge, but De La Hoya Floyd trumped that. So I guess it depends on the fighter. Again. De La Hoya Tito was the smaller demo. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Common denominator was De La Hoya, though. For sure. Mexico. Uh, Quentin's Many Promises, $2. Oscar Duarte or the fighter that fought Shakur. Okay, so that's De Los Santos. LV Slugger, $2. Hitchens, take advantage of late notice title fight. Yeah, right. Um, Hitchens got a fight with... Uh, Gustavo Limos. And he's doing it purposely to see how he feels because he's already fought for the IBF before and he said he didn't feel good. He's doing it again just to see because obviously there's a title shot on his side of the street. So this is all, you know, part of that. If he feels good, he's he's obviously going to take the Matias fight. Aiden Dyer, he says, uh, Daily Valley. Appreciate you, Aiden. Uh, we got TDDT, $10, Canadian. <laughs> Ness, have you ever considered being a manager? Great interview. Um, I would fucking love to be a manager, but I, you know, I got to take my boy Adrian's course, man. Get my manager certificate. Learn a little bit more because obviously you you have someone's career in your hands and, and you don't want to ruin that. But, like, I, I'm going to interview this kid I met. He's only 24, and he's got two fighters. They both picked up wins on Pro Box. Uh, shout out to him. You know, um... His name is Dom. I don't even know how to pronounce your last name, but first round management. Shout out to him. He's got a cute the Cuban that picked up the win. So he's got good fight, but he's 24. You understand? I wish I had my head on straight at 24. Lord have mercy. You know, being a Jay-Z fan, I hate that I gotta learn to live with regrets because it's hard to learn to live with regrets. You understand? Like 
Man, at 24, yep. if I was, like, head on straight, like, this kid got his head on straight. 24, he got two fighters, and they both on TV already. Congratulations. That's the thing, man. The youth is wasted on the young. Congratulations to that kid, bro. I wish more people, you know, do their thing like that. Drew, what up? Yo, yo, top of the morning, fellas. What up? Uh, Drew, what up? First off, what nonsense is Danny and Amin talking? Did it, Ness, didn't Eddie Hearn just bring my man back to Oaxaca in a big fight Hell and brought yeah. in the outsider to rally lost. the city around? But he lost, but he still rallied the entire neighborhood and city and um, that part of the state around the Mexican. Why are you going to bring another Puerto Rican and split the fan base in his homecoming fight? It makes no sense. For Matias. Was, bring in was, somebody was, outside to rally that, the fucking... Was that the first the fight church. that they had, or was was there... A no, it was the was big there. event, that bringing him home with the belt and 10,000 people. But, That's, but the guy he fought, was it a random... It doesn't matter. Fighter? It doesn't matter. They didn't bring in another Mexican from Oaxaca, Danny. Come on. Nah, it don't matter. If it don't matter, why bring it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, no, you saying bring in another Puerto Rican. I'm telling you, you want to, that's like bringing in another Oaxacan to fight him in the hometown. Like, but Tim, nah, in your example, on. in your example, was that was that their first fight? Was it just some random Joe that they fucking found to bring that, in? That's not the example to, to I fight. use. Our example I use was you bring was him bringing him home. You like to add that side quest shit to try to back up your narrative. I mean, it's a fucking work rematch. You, you just make it seem like they brought in some random motherfucker that they found in, in front of your porch. They didn't bring in another like Mexican? Guy from Oaxaca. But they didn't bring in another Mexican. They, but they it was a rematch. I just, I just, I just want to be clear that it was a rematch. That's it was a rematch. I just, just, just want to be clear. It was a rematch. I want to be clear on that. It was a rematch. Yeah, it was a rematch. But it okay. wasn't another okay. Mexican. Just be clear. Go ahead, Daddy. But uh, and on top of that, Tip Bayless calling in with his nonsense, his chicanery, his bamboozled logic, talking about you can't give him Regis. Regis coming off of L. My man, you bragging about Fondora on the Keith card getting a title shot after a knockout loss. So kill that nonsense, bro. You you thinking every so which way in the third wide. No, I'm just saying in general, you like he's a man. Nice. Matias, uh, Matias said, he said Matias shouldn't have signed with Matram, should have stood with the PBC. My man. Al Heyman's giving his guys the okay to sign with other promoters like Elvis Rodriguez. Other guys is leaving. But so what game they, they, they're though, guaranteed? Brother? I'm okay with uh whoever they find. It's a homecoming fight. I'm not expecting it to be the big fight. Whoever they find with him, just keep him active and busy. I know the routine is like they're not gonna get him a solid fight till the second or third fight. I'm disappointed but, it's not Paro. How you how you okay? I know I how know Arnold okay? Barbosa. And I you just was sitting on my option. So you can't be okay. I'm not. Why would you bring another you Puerto Rican? Right. No, no, no. I mean, you already said that four times. You, you, you asked that, you asked that rhetorical question four times. I'm just waiting for your options to see, you know. The options, if it's a homecoming fight, it's not going to be the biggest fight. I'm just against it being another Puerto Rican. Right. Paro's out the picture. Oh, okay. So they'll find him somebody that could just bring him home, bring the bell. They can see the bell, and he comes home. Like, that's what he wants. Like, how hard it's, is it? Y'all expecting it? It's not going to be a big fight. No, it's not hard. You just you just mad. Right. And, and, and knowing that it's not a big fight, we give not big fight options, and you're mad at them. You don't necessarily give any options of your own. But I said the good, only bro. option is not a Puerto Rican. It's not a Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. Why would you do, why would you do that? You're trying to get the, get the the team around him, not split the audience. You ain't got to split them. They all your kind. They all your people. <laughs> you like win them. You win them. That's no, what happens when, no. when when you that guy. You win. You you win. You win the fans. You're not gonna win all the fans. Listen, some might be mad that the other dude lose. Like, come on, what are we doing? I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna yeah. win all the fans regardless. Like, that's a fact. It's Black, not the, the white, point of him going, going over there. You ain't going to change uh, Danny's mind, player, player. You ain't going to change Danny's mind. Oh, I'm not Danny's trying to, mom. but I, I just, uh, we, uh, we never do. But Danny no, needs to I bring mean, up that he, other stuff. He, he literally called in. He's talked three minutes. He's he sat. He, he's been sitting on, on what options, you know, other people have gave, but has literally gave no, you know, no options of his own. He just says, no, but I like the not, not Puerto Rican. Yeah, but that, but that is an answer. That's an answer. okay. 
Right, the Pro Bray right, Funk well, that Canelo we said there. was cool. Canelo there. The Pro Bray Funk we said was cool. Send him, to, send him to La Isla. Oh, uh, see, there Canelo you go. There you go. There you go. More trainery. Canelo More started trainery. His like, I mean, I mean, you yeah. just want to say but like, shit. Like, no, we said I'm the, the, the Pro Bray Funk. You just want to say shit. Fight. So I'm going to say shit. Y'all both can't talk, Danny. Why, why, why do you get into these arguments? Not that I. No, know. like, even with. We, we all get into arguments. It's good. It's a good Monday. But uh, even Tip saying, no, you can't do the program. Why not? Why can't we do the program? Well, because it's coming off a of loss, right? Like, we are we are mad that uh, this Whoa. kid is getting a title shot. What's his name? Sebastian. No, no. Like, but, no, like, we are mad. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Tip said you can't do it. But he was over here bragging about that. Like, nah, man, it's the rollout. You got to get the fight. It's a good, uh, good fight on the car. So, like, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Devin, uh, Regis didn't get knocked out. And that's what I'm saying. He just got out box. That's why I think he'd be a good He got out box, and this is not going to be one of their... That's what I said. Test, I right? said styles make fights. This is a better, yeah, this a better yeah. style. This is a better style for Matias. I mean, for Regis yeah, versus but, Matias than it is for Devin. What is the last thing memory options, fans have bro, of Sebastian Fedora is laying on his face? Danny's not going to let but you live it up. He wants you to give options, man. He ain't happy you're not giving an option. I said everybody but a Puerto Rican. And you did There's say... There's plenty of guys so when I Google, when I Google that, Regis. ain't nobody face come up. He so, did so, say Regis, so Danny. He rec. did I need, say I need Regis. I need a name I can put in box. He rec. did say Regis. He likes Regis. He been saying Regis. Is it, Danny is it goes to a European what, what, fighter? What, what, Anybody but a but Sab Puerto Rican? So Sabriel's what? No, wait. Sabriel's what? The IBF or the uh, WBO? Uh, IBF. IBF champion. He's a Puerto go, Rican. Danny, He's a Puerto Rican champion. And Danny, go, Danny, go through is. the top 15 at IBF and pick one that's not a Puerto Rican. You got the you got the computer in front of you. It's not hard. It's not a lot. It's not a Puerto Rican. There's not a lot of options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I know not a lot it's not of hard, options. but again, and there are bro, no Puerto it's Ricans. Been, it's been nuts. Give him more time, bro, because we running on. We coming up on three or four minutes. And oh he's yet man, to give Drew, a I gotta name. let you go. I gotta like, let you go. No, no, you don't, bro. Because I mean, when, no, 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 when you go to Google, when you go to Google or Boxrec and you type in everybody but we a know Puerto Rican, don't nobody not one person show up, bro. Yeah, both. Did you know that? You said when you go to Google or box right, what? And you type in everybody but a Puerto Rican, not one face come up. It'd be a bunch of different shit coming up. Oh, so shit. So it's like, I don't know who the who is. You can everybody go, you but can, a Puerto you Rican. Like, Stop. Yeah, man. <laughs> Nunca lo he conocido. <laughs> Danny, Danny's you so real petty. Obtuse. Danny, like I, Danny he's being obtuse. Petty. That's what it is. You know what obtuse means, right, Danny? Go through the top 15 at IBF. You'll find a guy that's probably bro. available. Bro. Bro, no, it's not gonna be a name fight, and it's a stay busy it? fight in the hometown. Word. I don't got time to do that. You on a computer? That's your job. But you missed you the box, You literally right, but you calling the same bullshit, right? You just saying, oh, anybody oh, going to the Rico, they can't say a name. Uh, oh can't say for a the name. first Drew, I'm gonna get to some other callers, Drew. We got a go couple ahead, go people. Ahead. What is up with Danny and this uh one in a fight, Lord? What are you talking that's about? That's the Bro, he called, look, and you know, me and Tip don't even get along like that, but he called in shitting on ticks, on, on he, Tip, on Tip. But uh, Danny, on, you, on, you about on, to say the same thing you've been saying when he did give you options, my friend. Bro, but listen to what I'm going to say. He shitted on Tip mm -hmm. for saying Regis. Mm -hmm. Then, then, then he, he did at the very end, after many times, say that that could be an option. So the only option he did give... Was Regis? Then he said anybody in the top fifteen, which I don't even know that Regis is in the IBF top fifteen. Yeah, but Regis then, says Regis he, says. Then he say, "Oh, anybody but a Puerto Rican, but couldn't name one." And Shout then out. he shit on Tip. Who else he shit on? He shit on Tip. He shit on like three or four people's opinions, but could not come up with one of his own. Okay. I say live and let live. <laughs> <laughs> we got Worlds, $1 cash app. Hell happened to Blog Talk, Harlem World. Yo. Oh, Harlem World. Yeah, Blog Talk was just too he inconsistent. Said, I, I just decided to cut it, man. He Get, said, anybody in the top 15, so I want the Ergushev rematch. What the fuck? I thought he retired. I want... I mean, he's in the top 15. I, I mean, want what, the I know you brought that up today. You literally said he retired in his post fight. So what is you talking about, bro? Why are you asking for that? You said that today. I mean, yeah, but he said to go in the top 15 and pick a name that ain't Puerto Rican. So that's what I did. 
I picked a non Puerto Rican name in Shogahan Ergusha. All right. He's retired. No, uh, uh, we got no numbers. Puerto Rican. We got numbers. Sandor Martin versus Abril. He's too highly ranked in the WBC. Plus, the Devin fight is more money. So I doubt he's taking the shot. We got so Worlds. Ra- so, what? 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 What, Donnie? My first. Oh. My, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, my bad. My first pro fight was against a Dominican, right? Oh, From shit. San- Santo Domingo, and it was at this this uh, some place in Jamaica Queens. I forgot what it was called, and Missouri Center. Mm, and damn, that's a club. Were, Ain't that a club nightclub? I guess it is. That's where they threw the fight. This was in 2000. Those Dominicans, it, they there was a lot of Dominicans cheering that dude on, man. A lot. Jackson Heights. Did you win? Yeah, that's in Jackson. Yeah, that's in Jackson. It's not Jamaica. It's Jackson Heights. <clears throat> no, I'm saying right on the border. I think. Maybe. Was, I know. Like the, North- it was a long train ride. I know that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, Dominicans so rolled did deep. You, did you beat the Dominican in his hometown or what? I did. I did. Oh, you a Dropped body him. snatch, huh? I don't know about that, but... Uh, I got Worlds. One dollar super chat says... Cash app, excuse me. Try to get that Basorro interview. Man, I've been trying, bro. I'm already... You know, I tried so much, I actually forgot who was my contact person. I got to, like, go through my texts again. Uh, and we got Tip with a counter bunch. Tip, got to unmute. Yo. Yo. Nah, I ain't here to notice. Yeah, hey, man, Drew. Uh, all right, so let, let's let's really get into uh, the difference of this Fundora thing, you know what I'm saying, compared to this Regis thing, right? Or, or you know. Uh, yeah, Fundora is coming off a knockout. Um, but you also have to remember that he's coming off a knockout to Brian Mendoza, who had the what was it, the WBA interim, what, or something like that. What, it, what, it, what, uh, what did he have? He had some type of belt. No, Mendoza did. had some type of belt. I'm, nah, Mendoza won. Mendoza won something, and then uh, nah, uh, he won he, something when he he beat won something, but Sebastian. he he ain't had nothing I, going I feel like in, he had bro. Something before that fight, he I had like his he pride had before that fight. It, it might it might have been it might have been a smaller belt. It might have been like a a, a secondary no, belt, like the WB. I mean, um, if it if it was something, it ain't even on box rec. I'll just say that. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was something like that. But you know, what I'm saying uh, <laughs> from, from, yeah. that's what and I'm Fandora. saying. It was something like that. Not nah, even. but, yo, but he bro, funny, but he bro, funny. what I'm telling you is box rec. They include the the interims and, and stuff, so it wasn't it wasn't that. Uh, but yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like that, like I, I think like certain NABF belts and all that they don't recognize like on boxer. But, gotcha, but at the gotcha, end of the day, sure. uh, uh, he beat Fandor. Fandor was a silver champ, right? Well, either, either way, Fandor had a belt. Fandor was interim. Fandor was interim. a secondary champ. All right, was, right. So Fandor was Fandor a secondary was champ. Interim. So then, so then Brian Mendoza beats Fandor for his secondary title, and then what, what, what does Brian Mendoza do? He goes and fights Tim Zhu, a champion. So now, if you look at if you look at boxing scene and you look at the rankings, the rankings are all fucked up because Mendoza lost, Fandora lost, Lubin was just in talks of fighting Tim Zhu, and he's like number like number, I think one one two or three in the WBC. You know what I'm saying? So that's how the equation is. It's already telling that he wasn't going to fight for the title. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you really want to look at it, you know what I'm saying? It it, it would have been uh, what's the dude Bokachuk that uh, Fandora's about to fight. It would have been him and Fandor, because I think Fandor is still like, Fandor might be number three or some, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to have Yoannis Tellis fight for it. They're not going to have Virgil fight for it. Them dudes, been, uh, like, you got prospects, and then you got a dude who's been out the ring for X amount of time, bro. So it's only right that they were going to make Fandor. It's the logical fight. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it, I'm, just, I'm, just going, I'm just going with the details of how the shit looks. You know what I'm saying? And, and how, how matches were being made, bro. That's the reason why Fandor is fighting for this title right now. You know, but, you know, I see Drew want to hate on it. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, bro. Yo. Hey, order. Hey. Hey, hey. Did, you, did you figure out who this fighter is named anybody not Puerto Rican? For who? For Ness? No, that's what Drew said. He should fight this guy named anybody not Puerto Rican. I don't know who that is. Any? No, anybody Drew, Drew said Rican? that. Drew said that. <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Man. Drew said that. 
Who you think yeah, he should Danny fight? I was with you for a second, man. I was thinking uh, the the Ur- the Ergusha rematch. I was like, Ergusha rematch. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Y'all I'm crazy. just saying he was sitting on your eyes. First of all, that was a top. Literally... First of all, that was a but tough it, fight it was... anyway. You, you, it was entertaining. You try. It was entertaining, but it was tough. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Ergushev could come up with a different game plan. You you trying to get him a hometown win? Like what is wrong with y'all? Yeah, but I'm saying if you bro bring him back home, bro, then you gotta give him some good, bro. Oh yeah. Hey, God, we like. Can, can we find a how good was Gary and, Russell hometown yeah. fight? How good was that? Gary didn't fight anybody. Mm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it, All it, right. It, 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 Thank it you for telling a small us. Crowd. That was a small crowd. Mm-hmm. If Gary, if Gary had fought somebody, it would have been more people there. I mean, but that, you was, know. that was a small Showtime fight. You know, they ain't give him that matchroom treatment, huh? Hey, hey Danny, can, Danny, can you find some undefeated fighters on on, uh, on a box record or something right now? For, like from where? Nah, from, from where? Maybe? From where though? I, I can't do shit. Man, I'm pretty sure there's people in the rankings one through one through twenty or something. It's got to be something there. It's got to be something. But, but, sell, but, but we did market. give a bunch of fighters. Like I, I, I'm not understand what's wrong with the fighters that was given in the IBF. Uh, so, so who are we looking at in the IBF? Next? Um, Regis. Okay, Regis. This guy gonna make me do this again. I gotta go. You hear me? You wilding right yeah, now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna make it Look, quick. Available is Regis, the number six. And then you got Matthew German from Canada, number nine. Arnold Barboza, the number 10. Elvis Rodriguez, your number 11, who they already negotiating with. Ramirez, who's not taking it, 12. Andy Horaki, Horaki, Horokia, and from Japan. We don't want that shit. And uh, then Stephen Claggett from Canada. Stephen Claggett, probably the most named. Yeah, Claggett. Yo, yeah. And that's that's who Top Rank was offering him. Quiet, but yeah, so I mean, he might not even Yo, get that. Mess. So you know what I'm saying? I guess you gotta say Regis. I mean, you don't. You could take the Canadian German and beat him down in your hometown. Hey, what about we've been talking this Coliseo shit this whole time? Yeah. What if they? What if we say fucking Coliseo? Not in a disrespectful way, but in a in a way to where. You know, because obviously, uh, y'all mad at Puerto Rican on Puerto Rican crime. So what about Puerto Rican on Dominican crime? And I say yeah, that's we go what we to doing. a baseball stadium. That's what, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. We're going to stay in the Coliseo. We're trying to bring Elvis there, but we got to, you know, they got to make Elvis happy. So, so we can't go to a baseball stadium, make it even better? Because that's where y'all rivalry No, d- because it's, from, it's, right? it's, it's a brill. Wouldn't you say, wouldn't you, but wouldn't you say that's where y'all rivalry derived from? I wouldn't be I able to tell you because I don't follow baseball, but this is what I can tell you because I follow boxing. It's a brill, the A-side. The reason we go into Puerto Rico is the one that wants to fight in, in the Coliseo. He don't want to fight in no baseball field until we ask him that question and he say he do. What's been mentioned is... The stadium. Uh, William. Jamaican Mafia. Wagwan. I just ain't think it mattered. Like, I mean, of course it... Bro, that, that's like telling Devin it don't matter to go back to Oak, whatever s- fucking arena in Oakland he wants to fight at. But putting him in a stadium yeah. in Oakland instead? Like, that's what I'm saying. Homie, you still not doing what he wants. Go ahead, William. Oh, okay. No, hey, I didn't know he wanted. I hey. just thought he wanted a homecoming. Hey. In the Coliseo. Hey. Like, why you keep ignoring that? Go ahead, William. Yeah. I, I think Matias should fight a... Uh, he should fight either a Mexican fighter... Oh, black fighter. I don't think he's. I don't think he should fight a, another Puerto Rican fighter. That wouldn't make no sense to me. Um, and uh, and uh, and uh, it, it, it's, so give it's us really a name. A show. Give it's, us a name. Who you think he should fight? You triggered Danny because you I, ain't agree with him. It's over. He about to attack you. Yeah, nah, I just wanted to be like a man. We, we get like a. Uh, Regis Progray, um, either Regis or, uh, let me see, who else is at 140? Um, 
We just Terrible training for an Earth. MMA fight. I'm trying Danny to think came of a, uh, with the hate this morning. Well, I'm trying to think of a, uh, another 140 fighter because a lot of the a lot of the fights at 140, is, well, you can't you can't you can't say. Well, what about Tia Fimo? What about that fight? I mean, well, 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 that that well, no, nah, that be that be too much of a mainstream fight. Um. It had, it had to be. A, there's a, there's somebody out there, another fighter, but not not no Puerto Rico versus Puerto Rico. Nah, that's not gonna work. That's Charles not gonna work. Charles Conwell, man. the tale of two killers. No. He just signed a hey, Golden Boy. Hold on, he just signed yeah, a Golden yeah, Boy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Move, move up. Move up. Move up two divisions and fight Conwell, or or have Conwell come down from 54 to 40 to fight. Like, what is Danny doing? What bro, are you I'm doing? just saying, bro. I'm just saying. We, bro, you saying, supposed saying, to be like the podcast host. You got to know this shit. Come on. Bro, knock it off. we talking about UFC fighters or MMA fighters. We could talk about... The uh, hell? We could, we could talk about the two killers. But hey, that's, hey, that's my call, man. Y'all have a good day. All right. Hey, yo, yo before Danny, you get to the next one, man, I got to get up out of here, man. Yo, you, do, you doing a show later? Possibly, yes. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin the block, but uh, for now, right, King Amina Vestix one on IG, King Amina Vestix one on Twitter, and uh, Championship Rounds on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. It's always a pleasure, man. Get back to play, man. Yeah, I'm supposed to be talking about the Keyshawn Davis Tia Fimo thing this afternoon. If all goes Yo, well, I was there, so I got a lot of insight. Uh, you know, yeah, I was just I, gonna say, bro, people were sending me pictures of you. I'm like, I need yeah. to know these people. Yeah, I mean, was at the fights, bro. I mean, was at the fights. He's doing his thing, bro. Philip, I see you. Philip, what up? Philip, what up? Hello. Hello. Philip, what up? Hey, how you doing, man? First oh. time caller. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the show, my friend. Hey, so I got a... Uh... How about Tito Mercado? That's what I said, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking go. That would be Dude, perfect. Cinderella. And he's Mexican. Cinderella story. What is he, Mexican Nicaraguan? Something like that? Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. I thought he was, and imagine, uh, I thought he was Puerto Rican. That's why I didn't say his name. Nah. A win or a good showing? Dude, Tito would be man. great. He'd have a bidding war, man. Get him a big contract. Yeah, well, man, uh, well, that's well, a good option. Nah, I, I like that option. I, I don't know about that, right? I think he would have to win. Who? I think if he, Tito, like, I think if he if he doesn't win, he don't get no deal out of it, right? Yeah. Like, he would have to win. Yeah, I mean, that's how Matchroom's been doing their deals. Like, yo, we got a five fight, three fight, if you win type thing. Yeah, yeah. But no, no, no. I mean, I don't mean just Matchroom. I mean, anybody, and that's like, I think that, I don't think he'd be picked up by Anybody coming off of a loss, like I mean, it all loss. depends. No you crazy? No you crazy? You crazy? It all depends on how that loss look, bro. First of all, he would be stepping up to the heavens. No, for sure, yeah. for sure. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm if not he don't get stopped, I that. think if he don't get stopped, that alone get him a deal. That alone. That alone. Now let now, that boy be now, competitive. My God. <laughs> yeah, that's now, what I'm thinking. I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong because obviously of the huge step up it would be for Tito, but could you name me anybody off top that got signed to a major off a loss in the title fight? I mean, not signed, but Diego Chavez got knocked out by 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 uh Keith Thurman. His next two fights was Bradley and Rios. He he back in Argentina re retired. He fought Thurman, Bradley, Rios, and probably but Bundu. Uh, you would have to check because I ain't can, the greatest. Can you refresh my memory? But wasn't he already a world champion at that nah, point? Nah, nah, nah. Keith got his interim belt from him, so he was an interim or or whatever regular WBA or regional, interim regular so he, something he was like a regional that. champ, pretty much. Something like that. Something like okay. that. Okay. Okay. I mean, look, I I love it, bro. 
I honestly uh I thought I thought the kid was Puerto Rican. That's why, you know, they said they said no Puerto Ricans, right? That's what you said. He said no Puerto Ricans. So I'm like, I can't say Tito's name. I like it. I think it's a huge step up. And uh I I find it to be honestly a bit unlikely. Like how much you gonna ask for that, what you gonna want. But yeah, give my guy some time. Nah, I'm good. I just wanted to throw that name out there and uh I think he'd have a good showing, possibly win. Well, where do you know him from? How do you know Tito? I'm just curious now. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I live in uh, San Gabriel Valley, which is basically in between L.A. and Pomona, and I've seen him over here at uh, yeah, it's called like Hollywood Fight Night Promotions. Okay. And okay. I seen him. I seen him fight. I seen him fight there at uh, in Montebello, like club fights, basically. No, I got you. We're big but, fans of Tito over here. N- yeah, Ness, yeah, I've heard uh, him on the show. The yeah, I think he's cool. yeah, definitely. It's great to see him get some love out there, you know. And I'm also a big uh, Raymond Murataya fan. Yeah, man, we waiting for for Murataya to be in a big fight. Hopefully, they put him in there with know, uh, with with Shakur next, right? That that seems like the only thing they can offer Shakur next. Yeah, I was kind of surprised March 29th didn't get him a bigger name. Uh, I mean, Murataya hasn't announced anything yet, so. Oh, I, I've seen his name on the uh, March 29th bill. What? Uh, Sanisa Fani- Fani- uh, and uh, Oscar Valdez. And... He's on that yeah, card? Yeah, Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's he fighting, Danny? That's crazy. I know. No, I don't know I who's fighting. Was, uh, I just know that's the card. That's crazy. Who did? <laughs> wow. Yeah, they got him on box rec against like some uh, Argent- Argentinian kid that I, you know, said I don't know what he's gonna do for his career. But hopefully, he occurs after that or somebody, a former champion, top. I mean, they gotta put him in there. Yeah, well, man. All hopefully. right, sir. Thank- all right, fella. All right, thank Appreciate you, guys. you. Nah, all for right. sure. All right, man. I actually hit thank up you. Tito, man. See if we get a quick live interview. See if he call him out. Because he's already called him out, too. I wonder, did he receive an offer? Last time we interviewed him, he said he think he could beat Matias right now. People laugh. So this would be the perfect opportunity to, you know, call him out, get the fight, prove these fuckers wrong, and show them what you're all about. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Uh, let's see who is next. We got N.O., New Orleans. New Orleans on a check-in. What up? Ooh. What up, what up, what up, what up? What's that? I'm audio sound, bro. Straight. I, I, man, look. I think, I think Matias, bro, I think he won a hometown fight, but I don't think that's a deal breaker for him. Crazy. Because, like, he's not, he not a big name like that to demand, like, I got to go home. Like, well, that's, that's he, exactly like, why he had three offers, right? Because he's not a big name like that. Well, 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 who who guaranteed him a hometown fight? Match room. He, he came Match out and said that. Match room. And, and he Match came room. out and said that you heard that from you heard that from him or his team. Come on, man. You heard that's that from that's him. the whole point of the show. That's the whole point. Like, man. Well, well, uh, uh, well, you he waiting for Eastside Cruz or something? Like, it, you you just gonna bring anybody to Puerto Rico? Or he trying to he trying to fill that was, stadium? It was up? supposed to be bottle. They gonna find somebody. Don't worry about it. They about to show. They gotta the world. be somebody. It, it can't just. I'm trying to tell you though, Ness, it can't just be any guy that Mexican up. But that's so, the, it. Got to be the somebody. Who, he trying to show ya he been like that. That that he been a draw. So yeah, it could just be anybody. They was about to bring an Australian. It wasn't even bringing a Mexican. It was bringing an Australian. It was bringing. So he an gonna fill that stadium up with Australian. He gonna fill that stadium up with an Australian. He. That I, what you said. That was definitely their intentions, right? The rumors since December. Yeah, I, 
The rumor. Oh, they were gonna give a bunch of tickets away. Yo, the rumor since December have been uh, Liam Bottom, my dude. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. So yeah, they always so wait, they wait, always what he intended. Sold out? So he he sold out over there before. He got nah, a history of nah, that. nah, nah. But he he he's done shows over so, there. So they got. But we all speculating. We all speculating no, right now. No, they. Bruh, he's done shows over there. He's done shows over there. So they know what he How can many do. He sold? Evidently enough for Matchroom to decide that they gonna go over there. See how that worked? I mean to be fair <laughs> to be fair though, to be fair though, it was it last time he fought out there, he fought in a in a in a gym. That's cool. In the gymnasium. That's cool, but guess what? So, whatever so, it was, so look, it was oh, enough for look, Matchroom Dad, to say you yes. Go from a gym to, to a stadium? And you, and you, no, and you, look, and you, I think, I think no, you got to do a I good undercard. Ness, I think, I think what Matchroom has seen isn't what he's done in the past in Puerto Rico. I think what they've seen is his Puerto Ricans recently jump on and support and. And now he's a world champion. But, but and champ, now Tito stamping. And now you get yo, what I'm but saying? If, I don't but think if he was doing 2,000 tickets, let's say, in your gymnasium or 1,000 tickets bro, in your gymnasium. You're talking and, about a gymnasium? That's that's an arena, bro. Man, that was no. Yeah, man. You're talking that, a gym. A, a gym. That's, that's a man, knock it off, man. bro. Like, both of y'all sound crazy. Now, now, now a gymnasium. So top rank can't hold 1,000 people? Absolutely not. Man, you're kidding me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, that's okay. what you're what, what, what okay. you talking about, bro. Bro. Bro, let, no, bro. Just and then you gotta look at it. Let me ask you the question again. Let me ask you the question again. Let me ask you the question again. Top rank can't put a thousand chairs if they have one ring in that gym. Hell no. Man, Hell you ain't no. even been to the gym, Hell bro. No. You can't even answer this question. What well, how big, right, how I big still don't think so. With the square footage, with the oh, square footage, man, with the square footage on that gym. Lord have mercy. With, with, with the square feet. I, I don't we know. I don't know. Right I, there, right? I, I don't know the exact number of square feet. I, I would have to ask so the fucking you, owners. So how you bro, you're talking about a thousand you chairs, tell, bro, man. That's a thousand chairs. thousand chairs. You're going to need... You gonna need room to walk and room bro, to get to like bro. No, just keep in no. mind, keep in yeah. mind, keep in mind that we did border wars in Wisconsin. We had three hundred and fifty people. And we and there was plenty of room left. You understand? Keep in mind, Adrian. So you could have got a thousand. Yeah, yo, yo, Adrian. Matter of fact, 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 Adrian. If you're still listening, please call back in. He has a gym. Yeah, Adrian, and, and he, Adrian, can you get a thousand dude, chairs in no, your gym? No, Adrian, he gets two thousand. No, no, he gets two thousand. He gets two thousand. We already spoke. Remember, we doing border wars there in September. So hush your mouth. I, I be, I be, all right. How big is the gym? With the twelve foot edge, with the twelve foot is on that gym. Man. Yo, again, if he got two thousand, top rank could do a thousand, in my opinion. Believe me, as a dude that's done shows in gyms, as a dude that's done show in in pro box, and I know pro box uh, uh, max is a thousand. Man, yeah, man, yeah. I and then Ness, this is another thing, Ness. This is another thing. Top, top rank gonna follow, follow, follow all the rules. They gonna you follow all the rules. They no, gonna, we not, not gonna be. But listen, you, you, you. I don't know what it is that you thought you heard. We not actually asking top rank to throw a show in a gym. We're just countering Danny's statement of you can't fit a thousand in a gym. That's all. That's not what I said. Whoa, 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 you whoa, said, whoa, whoa. You said, I say, I say, He yo, said it was not. Danny said, said with, with, I said, hypothetically, we don't know the size of the gym. I said, hypothetically, he sold a thousand or two thousand tickets in that gym. You said, what? How you get a thousand people and in the gym? Yeah, I said, I said, no, no, no. You said two thousand. You ain't saying no one or two. I said, what gymnasium is holding two thousand? That's damn near a small arena. Well, I definitely said one and two, and you, you, you killed it at one. Man. And, I mean, did you not go with me to stay, uh, Silver State Boxing? You can't fit a thousand chairs in that gym in Vegas either. Man, we you, talking you, about Puerto Rico, uh, man. Uh, I, I mean, I don't I'm think just you giving could a... get a thousand chairs. No, I don't think you could get a thousand chairs. You might get like five hundred chairs and maybe five hundred standing room. My dude, it's a four-sided room room. gym. Like the ring is dead center. Bro. They can bump, 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 yeah, bump. But, only the right and side. Then that, you right, man. You right. Listen, 
Y'all all haters, the man getting his Puerto Rico fight, and that's all that matters. We talking about gyms because y'all the ones doubting he could sell. Y'all the ones hating. No, you're no, fuck? no, 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 no. There's no doubt. It's not about a doubt that he can sell. You just stated some blasphemy saying that his gym sales are the reason Matchroom signed him and is taking him <laughs> back home. I mean, yeah, what I, else think, said, I, think, man? I think I think Urango and his team certainly said what well, he sells over there. How do you so not? It had, it had how do nothing you not do, present? It had nothing to do no, with no, him no, becoming no, a world no, champ. No, no, right? no. Since you want to make it sound like I'm 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 talking crazy, if we planning on taking uh-huh. a fighter back to his hometown, we don't ask him how many tickets they selling. Yeah, we also okay, so end the story. How long end the story. Hold on, hold on, end the story. Hold on, hold on, Let's hold on, just hold on. move on, man. Hold on, hold on, end the story. Hold on, 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 and if you say that it's not, since, no manager, no manager is gonna act, gonna no promoter is gonna fucking sign you, knowing you did shows and Damn. not ask you what they Damn. did. That's great. That's great. No promoter. You just and, say and, that's and, all and that matters, what? and we and know guess that's what? a lie. No, so let's just guess move what on. I, guess you what said else? that's all that matters. We know that's a Matisse, lie. So let's just move Matisse on. Matisse is with let's a just co-promoter, move on, brother. Let's Matisse just move is with a co-promoter. So definitely, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm not and, talking to you. And you standing on it. I said, it. guess what? The- Mat- uh, uh, and, uh, Matisse is with a co-promoter. So there's definitely going to be a conversation between promoter and promoter about what that man sold in Puerto Rico. Because you so they, they Juan feel like Urango, that man can say a $10 Juan Urango, Juan Urango, Juan Urango and Fresh Promotions are still promoters. So they are certainly going to tell them what they've done in Puerto Rico. Damn. Let's just move on. He's lied. All right, so, 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 so about what, man? So lot about what? Fight not in Puerto so, Rico, what let me say, lot about what? I, I, it's true. So I, hold on. Let me let me tell him what he lied about. You know, you literally just asked me, do I believe they would ask about his previous sales, and then proceeded to say that's all that matters when they sign him. Knowing damn well that man, becoming a world champion matters. Man, that's not what I said. That's what you. That's what you interpreted. Yeah. I'm talking about. That's all that matters between you and I. That you and I understand. They fucking ask the question about his ticket sales. I'm not saying that's all that matters to Ooh, get a contract. Answer. That's not what I said. You're interpreting that way because you want to be thick-headed. So, that's what you want to be. So what's all that matters? What's all that matters? Yeah. Between you and I, all that matters is that you are agreeing that they. Asked about his ticket sales. That's all that matters in our argument. That's all that matters. We are saying the I mean, same thing. You saying tickets no, don't matter, not. and I'm saying <laughs> you saying not. his sales Absolutely don't matter. Not. You're saying his sales don't matter because he did them I so said long that's not ago. The only thing that matters. You're saying his sales and don't said- matter because he did them so long ago, and they were in a gymnasium. So I countered that by saying, Danny, do you believe they asked about his ticket sales or not? You said, yeah. That's all that matters. End of story for me. I don't need to further what, the What argument. a Puerto Rican call it. What a Puerto Rican call is that? I want to know the hype. The hype is that big. This man going to send a guaranteed 10,000. We already 000. had a Puerto Rican caller call in, and, they, and Danny hated on him. Danny got a thing against the Brill. I could see it. We had a Puerto Rican caller call in. Danny commenced to say, mm-hmm. that kid's not even from Puerto Rico. But look, I, wasn't I gotta the go. Only one, by the way. I gotta go. I wasn't the only I gotta one, go. by the way. You were the only, only Sabrina Matias hater to say that, though. I mean, if so, if somebody else said it, it make me a Adrian, Sabrina Adrian, who actually them, right? has a gym. Adrian, I ain't going back in my Texas because Yo, I so, feel like so I remember. Clear, but clear, did you or did you not say your gym hater, holds But somebody else people? saying it, it don't make them a Sabrina hater, right? Adrian, I ain't going through my Texas, but I feel like I got a decent memory. Did you or did you not say that your gym holds 2,000 people? I can hold a thousand inside, and I got so, two. I got let that two man acres talk, Danny. Back, just let flat, that man flat, talk. Back, flat black top. I mean, you said a thousand flat, black seats. Top, man. Like a thousand. Yeah, you see, he it, don't want to let that man talk. He don't want to let that man talk. He ain't gonna hold let on. you talk, champ. It's all good. He ain't gonna let you talk. He mad. Listen, in the back, in the back, outdoors. If we go outdoors, I can fit more than two thousand people. If I put the ring outside in the back. So yeah, I mean, and inside, for an indoor, and inside, you said a thousand. 
Yeah, if I move enough stuff around the gym, yeah, I can definitely fit a thousand seats. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but somehow gymnasiums don't hold a thousand. Thank you, Adrian. Let me get to this Bro, other caller, man. Two. Let me get to this you other caller, two. man. Let's be clear. Yeah, I know. I hear you, man. No, Q, what up? If you don't like the man, say you don't like the man. You've been against it since I said Devin should go to Puerto Rico. Just say you don't fuck with him. Hey, Ness, what up, you now, now he going to Puerto Rico without Devin. Then he still got a fucking issue. <laughs> Gang, Q. I mean, who he going hey, to Puerto look. Rico against? There you go. They go to hate. They go to hate. I'm just asking a they question, hate. bro. You talking you, about... You know, at least you Bill... Know, you at just least like Bill, the rest of at these least Bill say one-handed bandit. One you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ask one question and, and call nah, it it's hate, been, bro. It's, it's been more than you one question. Like, it's been more than like one show. You just like the rest of these Thurman weirdos. Yeah, you bro. can call me whatever you want, but everybody knows it's not just this show that you've had this attitude towards Sabril. It's all good. We peep you, though. We see you. I mean, call it what you want, bro. We are. I am calling it what I want. You hate him. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. Cool. All right. I mean, you the one saying, well, is he fighting in Puerto Rico? Like, you haven't said anything positive. You were negative when it comes to him. But Q and North is all good. We, we, we see Has you. Has the fight been announced? Yes we, or no? We see you. Has the fight been announced? Yes or no? Te vemos, te vemos. <laughs> Has the fight yeah. been announced? Yes or no? Te vemos, te vemos. Oh, okay. What you say? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Go ahead, Q. Go ahead, Q. It's on you. Hopefully. Hopefully it's on you. Hey, yo. So, <laughs> since it seemed like the like the conventional fights that make sense type of fights ain't really available for Sun, I got like three, kind of, uh, maybe three fighters that maybe he might be able to fight, right? Uh, One is, where the fuck is Montana Love? He not with Matchroom no more? They they shot that name down. They said no because he he, they he got him. he got beat. They dropped. Yeah, him. but they can still offer him a fight. That's even better. You got dropped. Now you you really want to come back? Because you know what I mean that's the. I feel like I feel like people uh, the, don't want him Spanish to fight. Is, like I don't know if you've been listening, but basically people don't want him to fight. Nobody coming off of a loss. Don't matter if it was knockout decision. They not happy with Regis because Devin did what he did. They don't want Duarte because Ryan did what he did. They don't want Montana because Paro did what he did. They, I mean, they just been. They don't. They say they want undefeated. All right. So how about Adrian Broner just got to win? That's a big enough name for me. I take it. But you know, uh, you know, only one other uh, one other caller called in and said that name. Only one other. But that's what, yo. A B going just make it like you know what I mean. It's kind of on that he just got to fight somebody out there. Yeah, but AB, but AB going to want, um, you know, a million plus dollars. I'm not saying two million. I'm saying maybe a million and some change. And I, I doubt that's in the budget. Like, AB. I think. He's just I too think, big a name. I think he's just yo, too big a name. Bro, come on, but man. If they had a million for Frank, they ain't got a million for AB. What you mean? They had I a million. They they had a million for Frank via top rank. Via top rank. No, 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 for sure, for sure, for and sure. And that was for, for sure. Shakur. That, that just, was for Shakur. I'm just, the, 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 sure, Shakur just, the Shakur in this equation is Sabril. He not as known as, he not a no, three-time champ. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, that was that was for a fight on a forced card. This is for a homecoming with a champ. Like, no, I mean... I'm not for or against. I just thought they they could at least do that for you know for. for I that. mean, look, I would love Brona. I just think Brona is gonna ask for man. Come on, man. Brona ain't for the puncher this size since fucking Madonna. Y'all tripping right now? Like his coach. What you don't think? Know. What you think? What you think? <laughs> uh, they offering Danny Garcia for the uh, Conor Ben fight. I'm not obviously Conor's a bigger name than Matias, but obviously that's a good. I mean, they you know they're gonna offer uh, Danny something decent. I think it's, you know, a decent offer. All right. I got one more. Where, where the fuck is Josue Vargas at? Nah, man. That's crazy, bro. That, that dude got I killed. I know he caught a body already, and Josue might be number two, but, like, where he at? Like... Now nah, Josue trying to get fights on box inside, boxing inside in New York. He, he He's back on a club level trying to rebuild. You know, um, and he just don't have the punch resistance, man. You're trying to get him hurt. Plus, 
It goes against <laughs> no. Plus, it goes against everything we we've, we've been debating that we don't want Puerto Rican on Puerto Rican crime in Puerto Rico. We're trying to gather the island behind this Puerto Rican, not divide them. I mean, I hear you, but I don't think they would be divided, though. I think you know what, what I mean? in the fuck. Bro, there's always going to be somebody that loves another Puerto Rican. Like, he's, I mean, Josue, first of all, had the top rank push. He was on, he had the machine. He was there first. You know? You Josue on, from New York, right? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You know how fucking many people from New York going to go to Puerto Rico for that fight? Like, he, he going to have Americans, Puerto Rican nah, Americans man. on his side. And the I mean, Island hey, man, going to hopefully y'all yeah. right, man. Hopefully y'all right, and they surprise us with a Puerto Rican but I, I'm I'm sticking with non Puerto Rican fighter, preferably a Mexican fighter. Hey man. But I do hey, think too. Hey man. I fuck all that, man. Fuck all good, that, man. Ness, I fucked up, man. Too. I ain't gonna lie. I've been Real with quick, Danny. I Real quick, up. Danny. I think I think ahead, Regis would be good too because New Orleans is right there. So that's also a lot like easy travel to, you know what I mean, bring the fans from the other side. Like, because New Orleans is close. So I think Regis would be good coming off a loss or not. I know you say people arguing against that, but. Yeah, they arguing I mean, against that. He the highest rank too. So, like, it don't matter no, about man. rankings when it, when, when, when it ain't the person you want because Regis is the highest available rank and people saying no to him. Nice. Thank you. We fucked up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Go I'm not. I can't say you fucked up because I don't know that you know what I know. What but do you I think know? that I I think that you have to because these are your people. What do you at know? At the end of the day, bro. J the an the correct answer is Jermaine Ortiz. I mean, they got to send an offer to Jermaine, and Jermaine's coming off a fight. It's gonna be tough to get a. You know, I we you and I know that Matisse is in camp, so obviously the date ain't June. No, nah, they said April, May. All right, then. How the fuck you want Jermaine to... This dude, crazy. did you see his face? You want him to turn around that fast? I'm just saying, bro, like... I hear you, man. God I'm bless told, him. I I'm hope he can get Matt it. Trim I hope he can get it. What? I'm hurt. Matchroom is interested told... in Jermaine? I can't Man, see that's your what face, I'm told. so I don't know what you're saying. What? That's what I'm told, that they interested. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see his manager tell me. I ain't know that. No, nah, that's why I told you, bro. That's why I thought you knew. Mm -mm. I thought you knew. I ain't know about that. Sh let me get to... Bo Rogers, we're going to get some hate today. I love Bo Rogers. He, he, he give us that daily dose. Bo Rogers. Fucking that old Santos, man. Bo, are you Yo, here? what about Javier Fortuna? I mean, he fought at 40? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he ain't fought in a minute. Yeah. I know that. And well, he got a tune up last year, but it ain't on that level. So, so, so without getting too complicated, but just based off, off of y'all logic with the whole no, no, Dominican um, Puerto too, Rican that's crime. Perfect. Hold on. Again, so just based off that logic, would Jermaine be out the question then because he half and half? Or do do the half and they, half, they might like nah they, they might get a they pass? might they might just play up his other side, you feel me? To 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 add to the feud. Well, well I'm asking I'm asking you, like, would you be cool with that? Like just I just, mean I ain't you know him, me, but I'm just I'm, saying I'm, I'm just saying I'm from a nationality cool. standpoint. Nah, from I can't I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna be able to separate myself. I'm gonna be cool with Jermaine getting it because I'm cool with Jermaine. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, would you consider Jermaine to be Puerto Rican, even though he like? I don't know. It just seemed like that's that's a big thing for y'all. You feel me? It seems like that's the sword y'all dying on, and what y'all feel is is right. So, I don't want to stand on some 
that child's just going to shoot down. That's why I'm like, before we even get started, to not hear y'all mouth, to before we even get started, if y'all going to rule them out, I won't even bring them up. But if y'all going to accept them, then, you know, I got to throw in Jermaine Ortiz for sure. Nah, bro. Actually, the perfect name is Javier, unfortunately. Um, I'm actually texting the matchmaker. That's the perfect fight. I hope he takes me serious. Bro, he trains in Puerto Rico. He's fought Ryan Garcia at 40. He's a former world champion, and he's fucking Dominican. Built-in rivalry. Who'd you touch? Your guy. You should you should follow up since he likes you more. KR? Yep. Ralph. Right. You know, I try to I try to get Johnny Fisher's opponent for for the last fight they had. But he told me they already had a guy. Hey, man, I just want to give a huge shout-out to my family over at Hardin. That's, they got this very beautiful gelati that I'm smoking on right now. Great sale going on. You guys could go get two and a half ounces of that flower for the two blue bills. Best Damn. Deal in they can't use Fortuna because he's not rated. So remember someone asked that question like, oh, if you're not rated in the top 15, there it is. I was right. If you're not rated, you can't get it. That was the perfect bro, fight, bro. If you're not rated in the top 10, you have to get an exemption to, to fight somebody and defend that belt against somebody in the top 15. What about what the title defense? What? Title defense got to be somebody in the top 10, bro. Even you with a petition, you think, you, think, you think with a petition it, 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 it wouldn't fly? With the petition, you get it's the IBF. To exempt for 11 to 15. Damn. I'm not even going to send it then. Damn. Shout out to him for the quick ass reply. Fire. Ho, 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 ho. Who the fuck is this? Paging me at 546 in the morning. Crack a dawn and. Now I'm yawning. Wipe the cold out my, my eyes. eyes. See who's this page in me. Bo Rogers, and what up? You there? Did we get to you? You ain't say nothing yet? Okay, Bo, that means you got to jump out, jump back in. That ain't working. Rafael is on you. Bro, it was so beautiful yesterday. And now it's back to being cold. Mm. Yo, y'all had snow up there. Damn, you in Vegas. I'm, I'm, but listen, listen. Yo, what's up, bro? Did you ever get to Adrian? Like, what we? What's up? Yeah, Adrian was on a show. He gave you the fucking ticket info. You talked all over his fucking call. Bro, what ticket info, bro? Oh, you talking about the other Adrian? Yes, I text him today. Rafael. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do, let me follow up. Yo, yo, yo. What's going yo, on, guys? Yo. What up? So uh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm a little bit behind, but the 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 Liam Pato fight and um and and uh, Matias is off. Like what? How that kind of dropped off? What happened? Uh, Frank Smith, the CEO of Matchroom, said that Liam is not an option, even though we've been hearing that online. He's not the one. So they're going down the list. Maybe Liam said no. Not enough yeah. money, man. You know how it goes. What about um uh any chance it any chance they can kind of co-promote with Golden Boy and do something with Jose Ramirez? I don't think that that will happen only because of Mar Ramirez's manager and Ramirez's long layoff, and this will be his first fight with Golden Boy. It'll be like throwing him to the wolves. What about Jose Cepeda? Chung. Damn, they I mean, could, they could love. go there. They could go back to Chong. He keep getting opportunities, that guy. But nah, Is but that, Chong it, ain't even ranked. I don't think he ain't in the top fifteen either. And um, 
any options probably with a uh it's is is William Cepeda at one thirty five or it's is he jumps at one forty? William Cepeda, no, he's thirty five and he's at he 35, got a fight. Any with... fight in Maxi Hughes March sixteenth in Las Vegas for a title eliminator, uh IBF title eliminator. So they are in the IBF family, but it's at thirty five. Yep. Damn, man, I honestly don't know because you, you can't really uh, throw in. I mean, I know it will be a fight in Puerto Rico, but it can't be really that much of a risk of a fight because then he's throwing, he's risking money, you know, for a big fight versus Haney or Teal. And, so. and, and keep in mind that being a world champion, in order to defend your title, it has to be against a top 10 no more than a top 15 guy. And and to fight somebody outside of the top 10 to defend the belt, you need an exemption. So at worst, they have to be a top 15 IBF rated at 140 pounds. Damn. Well, I mean, uh, wasn't that in the cards prior prior to him uh, signing with Matchroom? Like the, the opponents that might be available <laughs> should have been discussed right there and then. Or it's just kind of like, hey, listen, we're going to give you X amount of fights for X amount of years, and these are the fighters that we have. We just kind of have to go at it in an order. All right, champ. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you. No, no, I said, um, wasn't the, weren't those things discussed with matchrooms prior to signing? Or is it kind of like, hey, listen, you know, we, we're going to offer you X amount of fights. And these are the fighters that we can't offer you, but we can't guarantee you this is going to be the first match to begin with. Uh, I mean, yeah. they might have mentioned the name. You feel me? But at the end of the day, both guys have to take it. It's a two it's a two way thing, right? So you I can tell you that we'll offer the fight to this guy and that guy. Now it's on them to take the fight too though. Damn, that kind of sucks. But uh now nah, that's that's my call. I was just curious. I didn't know because I, I was pretty hyped about that. Uh you know, uh the Subriel in, in Puerto Rico, uh, with a, another 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 name like like Pato, like that 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 would have that would have been a, a really good fight. But let let's see what the cards hold. All right, champ. Appreciate you. Um, that is everyone. That's GTO Instagram and Twitter. Let me double check here. Any super chats we might have left behind? Looks like we got. Do, 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 do. Big step of five dollars. Jason Rosario would be good work for Keith. Yep, maybe he's a little big. I'm pretty sure he's above fifty four at this point. But yep, Daniel Vega two dollars. Why not Sugar Nunez, who had a great win in Russia? Um, yeah, Bro. I mean, quick turnaround for him, right? Did and you see? I'm sure. I'm sure was you that, saw wasn't Eddie's that at reaction 35? to that, right? Wasn't that at 35 though? Reaction. Who? What, what reaction? Danny? Eddie Hearn's reaction to to Sugar's fight. No. So, uh, Eddie was in Mexico for their show, right? Mm. Uh, that fight Ellerby was in taking Russia. Shots. Huh? Leonard Ellerby took shots. He said, "All these fake scuffles are terrible. You can see right through all of it." You know who he's shooting that at. Um, so Eddie Hearn obviously sees the reaction, the fight gets stopped. He jump up right from the seat and fucking uh cuts his head open. He was bleeding. They took him to the hospital. Uh they said it was two stitches. So Eddie said two wasn't enough. So he just left the hospital with a hole in his head. Crazy. Yep. Uh, I think Frank Smith, if you go to Frank Smith's Instagram, the video's up there, um, the video's there of the reaction and all the blood and shit. Uh, I ain't even read that. Is that really like Donaire and Edwards in a fight? Is there an offer? That's crazy. 
Uh, I, I heard that there's been an offer presented, um, but somebody said, I, I don't know, there was like a text. I didn't really get to look into it, but somebody made it seem like it may be for like a, I don't know. I don't even want to say it. All right. Troll beta, $50 from Sweden. Danny is the master of passive perhaps? aggressiveness and sly, sarcastic digs. I'm dying over here. No, I know he is, bro. But I actually dig it because... Past hosts would get mad when I did similar shit. So, like, I got to eat it because he do it. And, uh, you know, I I think can, whenever, whenever he don't want to move on, I got to also eat that because there's times I don't want to move on. So I feel like it's been a great balance because I've never had, like, I've always gotten the guy that gets, eventually gets mad. And, and truthfully, Danny just trolls more. He don't get mad. He gets even. And that's the kind of ebb and flow I, I need in order to be successful because... It's never personal. You know, it's topical. It's situational. It's today, right now, not later or tomorrow. Yeah. Nah, and then and and I was gonna say, I think what what's helped a lot, bro, is what you said, it ain't personal. And I one of my best friends in the military was my supervisor, like my first real supervisor. So it's like I used to fuck up so much. He used to have to do his job. I'd get in trouble. And then it's like after work, it's like, yo, so we going to the bar or, you know, we, we going to shoot pool or something like that. So, like, for me, it was never personal, you know? Yeah, which is good, man. Uh, we got Lake County. What up? <laughs> Lake County, $2. Only Ness can be an antagonist. Danny, not you. Uh, Lake County, $2. That's, that's funny. Yeah, no, and believe me, that was sarcasm. He's 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 totally against me. Um, Today, anyway, today. Ness, you took up NO's call. Give him his call back. Lake County, $5. Counterpunch for NO. Intrigued the Incredible. Let Brandon Lee fight Matias. Too late, man. He signed, he's definitely with PBC. So... You know, they should have offered that shit when Matisse wanted to go to Puerto Rico. They didn't want to give him to Puerto Rico. Like, yeah, some my, people ain't hey, beat for the lies or, you know, the long funny. truths. What up? When's the last time you heard Brandon Lee name? Today? Nah, honestly, I think I read something, like, that he's, like, officially with PBC, and that's kind of why I even remember that. But uh, it's still, I don't know when that was. Damn. Because okay. he, he was another Cameron Duncan guy, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, he was a guy with a lot of buzz. That, Like you said, Cameron Duncan, we was we was hearing his name a lot. I mean, that fight with, with Zachary and that other kid that put him down, that shit slowed him down. You know, he beat Zach, no doubt. But, you know, I think that just some, some things were revealed to certain people that matter. Uh, Superstar AT, $5.00. Killer Kerr said he'll move up for Tio. What about Matias? Yeah, he ain't moving up for Matias. But um, I'll tell you one thing. Me and Danny, I believe, was part of that reel. Uh, and we suggested that. And that shit is on fire on YouTube, let me tell you. I've been following the analytics. Bro, just yesterday, it was like 359 people watching that shit live. Um, yeah. So Matias is a hot button topic. And people certainly, look, right now, this is the one, yep. You have to take risks, fight Matias. And I think it's actually Alex Vega's voice is the is the thing. Um, well, right now, unfortunately, there's only three people watching it. But don't matter. Yesterday, it was like 359 people watching it. Uh, but in the last 48 hours, it's gotten over 7,800 views. So, yeah, man. I mean, uh, it looks like people wouldn't mind Shakur to move up. And like I said, Puerto Rico, even though it goes up against everything we've been arguing today, which is don't divide them. But this is more of, you know, this is actually a, a the big right, fight. No, this is actually the right divide, though, Danny, because it already exists. We spoke about it with, with Mexicans and Mexican Americans and Puerto Ricans and Puerto Rican Americans and Dominican Dominican Americans. And, 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 and unfortunately, Shakur falls in the bracket of the Puerto Rican American, not born in La, quote unquote, Isla. You know what I'm saying? So um, he 
will find himself being rooted against. But he could possibly win over the fans, unlike, again, something that was spoke of here. He could possibly win them over. I think, yeah, I think he's actually in a win-win scenario. And let me explain to you why. Like you said, he has the potential to win them over in a fight, as any other fighter has, right? But he also has the potential to, you know, touch, you know, uh, his people. But with him, he's always said, you know, he's never been connected to that side. So he didn't want to, you know, like false claim it in a way, if that makes sense. And I think that fighting out there, you know, he'd be able to touch them in an organic way. So I don't know. I think he in a win-win scenario, right? Tough fight. But uh, you know, yeah. gives himself opportunity to become uh to win them over and and become one for, of them and, for them to division. adapt and be, him and, and and become a four division. Now right. I don't know that he's gonna do it April May, even though he's had plenty of time. He hasn't fought since November. He say he, but I I, I seen tweets saying no, he's he back been in, in the June. Gym. I, don't, I don't know. I, yeah, no, yeah. I, I know he. Yeah. I know that he's when he retired, he said he was never leaving the gym. That mm-hmm. he was always gonna stick around to help others, but uh. Uh, uh, I seen tweets saying he back in June though, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, again, um, that would be great. I don't know that. Uh, would Eddie do it though? Would Matchroom be like, oh yeah, our guy is bigger and he's this devastating puncher? I think they might not take that fight. I think they might not take that fight, even though people be like, you know, I don't know. You know, as a promoter, like, is that the first fight on your contract? Do you really want him to lose the Shakur? And now you got a dude for three more fights with no belt? I don't know how much of a favorite Shakur would be. I don't know if Matias would be a favorite. I just know that with those legs that Shakur demonstrated in the De Los Santos fight, um, he might end up being a favorite. They might know that he can stay away from Sabril. I don't know about at that weight, you know, but... That's interesting. I'm saying, listen, we like I said, that short is doing well because that is an intriguing fight. It is an intriguing fight because you you're forced to consider how skillful Shakur is, but then you know he, you know, can he be touched? This is you know with with his cat like reflexes, can he be touched by Matias? Would Matias even be able to cut that distance? Um, crazy. Listen, we got. James Benitez, Jermaine is Puerto Rican and he wins Dominicans when he loses. <laughs> no, I guess he meant and he is. No, Jermaine is Puerto Rican when he wins and Dominican when he loses. Okay, that's fucked up. Sony Edwards versus Damn. Donaire. Have Shots they set fired. a date? Yeah, no, it's crazy. $2 more. He says, Sony Edwards versus Donaire. Have they set a date? I haven't seen a date, but that is a decent fight. Jermaine, I mean, uh, James Benitez says, Mauricio wants... F- I seen that headline that he wants five to six judges. Didn't he say five to six for the Usyk fight? I'll take it, man. I'm tired of bad decisions, man. Um, maybe that's the answer, having more judges Damn, to call the fight. that's going the distance? What's going to do? I mean, you never know. You might as well. Uh... Mike in West Texas. You know one thing that one thing that they have to do a better job overall. I mean, and there's a lot, right? But, bro, if we have a scorekeeper, it should not take more than a uh, more than a minute or two to get the fucking scorecard into the 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 announcer's hand. Like, bro, what is the scorekeeper doing if the fucking fight's over and we still gotta wait ten minutes? To hear who won the fight. Like, they got to do a better job at that. You know, but uh, that's it. That's it. You said we got Mike from Texas on the, on the line? Hey, what's up with it, fellas? What up, Can Jay? y'all hear me? We hear you. Is we it hear going you through? loud and clear. All right. So, uh, I kind of understand where Ness is coming from. Like, those always been the good fights. You know, Mexicans against Puerto Ricans and... You know the the Trinidad against Oscar, but you know that 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 back in the day that just it, it happened organically. Like we can't just throw any Mexican in there with 
Matthias right now if there's not anyone available. You know what I mean? So I really feel like to me the fight that needs to, to happen is Matthias versus Devin, Matthias versus Teal. That's just reality. But if we gotta wait for it, I think that he should fight Regis or he should fight Taylor. You know, that's two fighters that that Teal fought, uh, a, a fighter that Devin fought, and let's see let's see what Matias can do with him. Cause you know you remember when Mongia, when he did what he did to Ryder, the first well, thing who, we we were, who, who, I was like, huh? Who who you want him? Who you want Matias to fight? Either Regis or Taylor, Josh Taylor. I mean, Josh Taylor just announced his fight. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't mind Regis. Yeah, Regis would be good. I mean, because you know the way David handled him. If Matthias can go in there and, and, and knock him out, then we already know what's going to be the headlines the next day. Like, we're going to want him to face Devin. Because you remember what happened with Mogia, what he did to Ryder. The next day, everybody was talking about what Canelo couldn't do. He did. You know what I'm saying? So, I really nah, do that's believe that. He, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, it'll be good for him to get in. And then, look, that'll be a good style fight. They're going to be in the paint banging. You know that, Danny. It's going to be hit for hit. Um, like, now, now Regis ain't really got is, no... My thing is, you got you to gotta keep this in mind, right? What do you got to pay Regis to take that fight? He I just mean, he, came he's off doing... Really, which fight? He, which fight? The Matias? Matias. I mean, yeah. I mean, you definitely got to pay him more than everybody we spoke about, but... Mm, I mean, Regis is in an opportunity no. where he can't really turn it down. Like, how are you going to get a... Th exactly. That's a, that's a third-time title, like, three-time champion. Like, Ex you know, exactly. that's a legacy for him. Exactly. That's why I think he would take it, and not only that, it's an opportunity to put him back up there in the talk because, you know, that will be a good win for both men, if you think about it, for both fighters. Oh, uh, but then and then Shakur, the Shakur thing. If Shakur moves up, man, who are we? Who are we kidding, man? We do not want him to fight Matias. We want him to fight Dev, man. And we don't want him to move up just to fight Matias. Bro, Devin we is busy. Devin got to pay step aside money. He's already fighting Ryan in April twentieth, so he's forced to fight Sandor. I mean, unless they do a step aside again, you know, I I, I don't see Devin and. And and Shakur and Shakur got to earn the fans back. That's why you fight Sabril. No, that that I understand that, but at the end of the day, so it goes to the same thing for Matias. Matias has to prove himself before he gets in there with Tio. He gets he in there with Dev too. He don't gotta prove himself. He's already the boogeyman. why not because he's already the boogeyman. Nobody else got that title. Yeah, but but look where he was at, big dog. He was with PBC, man. You know they've been fooling us for the longest. It's the same thing with these people calling in talking about Thurman going to win. They're steady being fooled by these by, by, by PBC, man. They've been fooling us. So at the end of the day, I'm glad he went to the zone. This is a it's a it's a perfect opportunity for him to display his real skill against good fighters, man. That's just that's the end of the that's that's bottom line, brother. You know? But that's my call, man. I appreciate it. I love tuning in, man. Much love. Mike, West Texas, appreciate you. Uh, Bo Rogers, we certainly went to you. Did you not? Oh, actually, we didn't hear you. That's right. We never got to hear you. We never got to hear you, B. Bo, Bo, what do you know? Can you hear me down there? Yeah. Hello? All right. Yes, what's up? All right, Sabria, I, I'm just like what the dude just said. I was agreeing with him for a little while till he uh, went to talking crazy about the PBC shit. First of all, PBC really just give a platform to all different promoters to bring their fighters over there and show them off. You know, they, he was never a PBC fighter, but he was fighting over there. But anyway, Sabria. Who was never a PBC to, fighter? Supreme Mati. Man, what's wrong with you, man? I'm talking about he signed, he signed to other people. He ain't signed directly to PBC. M my dude, he, he he signed to other people and he would match them too. Like, that's, yeah, that's what I mean, I'm saying. Called the uh, what, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they not like all, he's not like all the way, I don't make all the decisions for him. 
You know, he just give him somewhere to fight, pretty much. For the, last say seven, that, right? for the last seven fights, huh? Yeah, and he got him a chance, got him a belt, got him a belt, his name hot. So what are he complaining about? He was fighting. That's how I discovered him. Oh, 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 oh. oh and and oh, the guy, and the guy, I do. I, What's the names of the he, fighter he fought? Man, the guys he fought was undefeated. Who are they? Undefeated. Who and they, they, they can fight. What's their names, though? Pa, 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 Just say. Pa, pa, you, oh, so you didn't like Ponce? You didn't think he was a decent fighter? He could pop. Eckershell, he could pop. What? What's his Juke, name? Eckershell? Uh, I don't know. I ain't good with names. And man. that's what I said. Country. What fighter did he fight that you could pronounce? Yeah, what? Hold up, hold up. What I'm saying is, these guys can fight. My they dude, can fight. You and I know them that. guys are rough. You and I know that because we're hardcores, man. That shit did not help his profile. That's why. Why is he so hot? Oh, that's why? why he had, so what, what? That's why when he left, he so had now? twenty thousand followers. Hold up. So why he so hot now? What got him hot? He got the love from his Puerto Rican brethren. Tito Trinidad. Listen, and if, if and look, what's wrong with him fighting another Puerto Rican uh in, in Puerto Rico? They gonna come out for that's gonna make sure they're gonna come out for both sides. That's the point. See, yeah, we, don't, y'all, we don't want both sides. We want one side. We no, don't want to no. divide. Y'all, y'all didn't say that when it was time for Terrence Crawford and um Earl Spence. That divided the shit out of me. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want that fight. I wanted them to keep on doing the green print. But you know, that's that. I don't worry about that. I like a good fight anyway. It don't matter to me. You know, fight who y'all gonna fight. But I don't want y'all using them excuses for other people. You know, Canelo don't want to fight Mexican. So he go to fight a bunch of white guys. Everybody complaining. Now he fighting the people I want to see him fight. After that, I don't care what he do. You know, but I want to see him fight Benavidez too. I don't have a problem with none of these guys getting in the ring. I want to see the best fight the best. I don't care what color they is. One of my very favorite fighters was uh, Juan Marquez. I love that dude. And uh, I love Baby Bull. That fight really hurt me. But they were both Mexican, you know. One of them, you know, I play Baby Bull from America, though, right? But they still Mexicans in my eye. But, you know, you know who am I, though? Just look country in it. But anyway, you know, Sabrea, Sabrea. I don't want him to go over there and take five fights to fight Devin. I want I want Devin to be the second fight. If he gonna, you know, he gonna do something. Ain't no need to let Eric, don't let Eddie Hearn get these guys and put them in fights with who, Champ, that's the people bell. he ain't never heard of. Uh yeah, I hear you, man. Like 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 the guys that PBC put Matias in, people we never heard of. But but you say, no, they're the fight. So funny, y'all biased as hell, man. Khaled, what up? The bias is next level. I wish I wish Barroso was ranked, bro. I wouldn't mind a Barroso fight over there. Yeah, I mean it's corny that you gotta be ranked only in the fucking IBF. Khaled, you there? Yeah, bro, I'm here, bro. What up? Chilling. You know they want their money. Uh, yeah. yeah, bro. So so I'm on match room right now looking at these one forties. I don't think Regis gonna take that fight because he probably gonna be like, yo, I don't wanna get served up coming off a loss. I'm probably gonna be the underdog against uh the uh, Puerto Rican killer. So I don't know if Regis gonna take that. Or or he gonna ask for some money that we probably shouldn't pay him. So I'm looking at this dude, Dalton Smith. He might be a prospect, though. He only got 15 wins. I ain't heard of him. Then you got Montana Love, the journeyman now. Too many losses. You like a journeyman now. We got to serve you up now. But but are we going to give you a little bread to go to Puerto Rico? So I think it should be either Montana Love. Who the fuck is this? Callum French. Y'all know who that is? Y'all heard of him? Nah, Callum French? (laughs) Callum French. He yeah. got Yo, four yeah, he's, he's got four wins. He's nobody. I nah. You know it got to be a rank guy, though. <laughs> he got to ha- be ranked. It has to be, it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, where Dalton oh, Smith I- at? Because that name has been thrown around. He is not in the IBF. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. yeah I'm right. telling you, it's probably going to be Steve Claggett, man. I'm telling you. Like, Steve Claggett, because the handy Hiroka... You know, we never heard of him. It's probably hard to get tape. Steve Claggett is old. He's been around a block. He's known in Canada. You know what I'm saying? He was already offered to to, to, to Matias from top rank. 
Uh, he's at least a name that boxing fans know. Not not all of us, but some of us. Mm. We know Claggett. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. I don't know who he is, but I, I mean, but I'll watch him, though. That's fair. Shout out to him. Okay, yeah. So, so we're going to get some Steve Clavick. After that, we're going to look to unify. Give me the unification with Devin Haney. If Devin Haney. Yeah, it ain't going to happen that right. quick either. I think if they unify, it, it, it's going to have to be late December or, or mid December mm. or, or next year because. Um, Devin got the mandatory, unless, again, unless they pan, step aside, or does mandatories get Trump because it's unification? I don't know. But okay. he got Sandor and top rank Santham to be a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's fair. Okay. All right. Well, well, Devin got to be both of them. Like, Sandor, Sandor, if he be Ryan, I don't want to just overlook Ryan. Like, I think Ryan... Like, I wouldn't pick Ryan, but Ryan may come in, like, a little different. It depends on how he approached the fight. This is his second fight with Derek White, so I don't know. But, yeah. Derek uh, James. That's my call, bro. I mean, yeah, yeah, you right, Derek James. That's what I said, Derek White. <laughs> yeah, Derek James. That's my fault, guy. All right, bro, I'm out. You got it. Barrel City. <laughs> Barrel City. James Benitez, says two dollars. So bro needs a track coach if he fights Kerr. Barrow City. Yeah. 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 I had to. Do that same shit again, but so that shit gotta be in the IBF ranking. You know it. Gotta defend that straight at. His name ain't Charles. And, and, and Richardson Hitchison ain't in, ain't in the he IBF busy. ranking. He busy. He is in the rankings, but he got a fight. He he locked in March thirteenth or eighteenth or something like that. He locked in. They can, he can't ask, wait on. they can always ask him to pull out, but he 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 purposely taking this fight to test the IBF because remember they got the ten pound rehydration rule. He said he fought under uh -huh. that rule in the past. He ain't like it. He ain't like yeah. it. Yeah. Damn man. I mean, I'm gonna just be a hundred man. Like I mean, it it really ain't got no choice but to be Regis if you want it to be a meaningful fight. You know, you still can't name, you can't uh, take Regis out of the top 10, like, you know, just overall into I mean, the 140 Regis, pounds a day. Is Regis going to take that fight coming off a loss? Feel me? I mean, you can't, I don't know. I mean, he talk all that tough guy shit, you know. He all from right. the streets, and you is know what it, I mean? Hopefully, I, I don't see how you turn down your last chance at glory, like. You, you got to stand for nothing, something or fall for anything at this point. It got to be Regis. It's, no, it's nobody else. It got to be Regis, man. It got to be Regis. There's nothing, be nothing Regis. else left on the table. Got to be Regis. Got to be Regis. I mean, why not Elvis? What's wrong with Elvis? I, I, I mean, I mean Regis, it, but... Regis is higher ranked, though. Like, Obviously, to get to Elvis, Regis got to say no. But you know. yeah, if I'm him, if I'm him, man, like you know, I gotta, I gotta, come, they just gotta come correct, man. I know probably about food. how much you think it take to get Richardson Hitches in that fight? Again, Richardson gonna have to. Drop I know he's busy. I, I'm saying, like you know, like what's the, I don't know how much his purse is. Like yeah, you don't think like five hundred thousand to get his ass in Puerto Rico? I, I don't know because I think he is trying to. Be strategic. I think he wants to make sure the weight cut and the rehydration ain't going to kill him, and then he willing to fight him. Yeah, I'm free, man. But yeah, that's my call, man. Yeah, if, it, if it ain't going to be those, if it, it's either him or Regis for me, bro, I can't really see nothing else, anything making more sense than that. If you want to make a statement, ain't nobody ever stop Regis, even though he got hurt in the Devin fight, Devin ain't stop him. You start Regis, you put the whole division on notice. You know what I mean? I'm the one got Ruben Ruben neck hanging, head hanging around my neck. You know what I mean? You got you got to go collect the skulls at this point and a meaningful one at that, especially if, you know, you want to get more exposure. I stopped the guy Devin Haney couldn't. 
and you hang on to that, but you know that's my call, man. Trees. Yo. 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 What up, though? What up, though? What's going on, Danny? But uh, I just I just tuned up, in not too long ago, so I'm here. I'm hearing it sound like we searching for an opponent for Sabriel Matias. It sound like I like the I like the Regis fight. That shit makes sense. That's some uh old swang and bang type shit. Somebody going to sleep in that fight. I'm with it. <laughs> Lord knows I'm with the violence. But uh. On a on a on a name that I was thinking of though, I don't know what uh what my man Jose Ramirez doing. I know he with Golden Boy and shit, but you know me, I think it's all you you a fan of if they all on the same network and shit, then it should make the fights easier to be made. They both on the zone. I like a Jose Ramirez fight for my man Sabriel Matias. I don't know. Is he I'm I'm pretty sure he ranked in the IBF if I'm not mistaken. But uh yeah, Jose Ramirez would be cool. Former champ. You feel me? He decent boxer. Yeah, I would like that. I don't, Cause I don't think uh, they're gonna give yeah, him. He at number twelve. Yeah, bingo, bingo. We got action. I like a Jose Ramirez for him. He ain't been doing shit. I'm sure he wouldn't. I would like to believe he wouldn't turn down the title shot. You feel me? Come yeah, in. You 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 believing wrong, champ? My man been hey, inactive. Hey. <laughs> he been inactive, and he got a manager that really, you know, protects him and 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 has kept him away from fights in the past, right? Like he hasn't never fought okay. T.O. because of his manager. He ain't fight. Uh, well, he was offered. He was they, his manager did offer him up for Devin. Uh, he didn't let him fight Barboza because they both managed by the same person. Like he just, you know, I mean, when the last oh, time I, you see him fight, bro? Like, the, yeah, the last time I, the last time it was him was that Comey fight. That shit was a while ago though. But yeah, that's our that's oddball shit. But uh, I don't know. That's that's management and politics and shit like that. I don't got nothing to do with all that. But him and but Jose Ramirez and, and Sabriel Matias, I'll be with that fight. Or even uh, or I just think Jose Ramirez is a bigger name than a Barbo. If Arnold Barboza could get the fight, I'm with that too. I just think Jose Ramirez more people know of, but he, he's a former sure. champ. You feel me? He just. You feel me? He was on the top rank. Like, I just, yeah, I think that would, any uh, Olympian, two of them, I'm not mistaken. It's just better cachet, you feel me, name value for, for Matias to punch. Don't get me wrong now, we picking Matias by stoppage. But, yeah, I would like that for him. But uh, I'm, I'm happy that he uh over there on match room. I wonder, I hope that uh Boots done find a way to hit his line or something. Maybe they need to be talking at, and he need to see what the... What the treatment plan is that they got going over at Matchroom is. Boots need to do something, man. He need to do something. I need to. I I, I like hearing about Matias and all these guys, but I ain't gonna hold you. I'm, I don't want to hear about Boots in court no more. I want to hear my man's with a fight. Set yeah, up, I mean, I think that's. Know? I think that's the more important thing, though. Can he even get a fight set up with that court situation? Like, is he gonna be willing to fight and and still, and I gotta still pay that. But promoter. with that. But with that, but see, but what I was thinking, me and Uncle was thinking like shit, it's like, we was thinking if it's like football, like say, because I know that his man's had the Cameron Duncan fella passed away. I guess his wife got the portfolio or some shit. Mm -hmm. Me and Uncle was thinking like, me and Uncle thinking like, hell, this assets, shit, it, it, can't she sell the, if she sells yeah, his, but what, can't but she sell his contract to her? But that's the thing, but, he trying to sue to get out and say that she doesn't have the competence or savviness, you know, the know-how to be a manager but uh, until a judge rules on it, he gonna have to pay if he take a fight, cause that's her uh, cut because of cause her, that's and her, cut. her and her inheritance. But uh, that was the bell. Fats, what up? Yo, Buenos Dias. Yo. What up? What up? What up? What up, man? So, uh, what happened with Paro? Uh, Frank Smith, the CEO, is saying no paro. I'm saying, why Why you pull out? What do you got, injured or something? Nah, man, they just saying no paro. Uh, I'm, you man, know, you just gotta, you, me, you just gotta he, assume it's, it's the money. It ain't enough. Oh, uh, man. Oh, uh, man, pulling out of fights. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. Just, just when you get a little respect for the, you know, his last win and shit, because I ain't no who boy was. Like, God damn, you pulling out a title shot? I don't, I don't understand. Well, well, uh, feed, um, 
send uh, Hitchens over there. Ain't, ain't he next in the IBF or some shit? Hitchens got a fight with Gustavo Limon already. But I'm saying where he ranked that though in the IBF later. right now. Where he ranked that in the IBF right now, though? Nah, he number three. He the first one up. Because number right, one man. and two so is what vacant. He, what he... Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying, man. What he wasting his time for, man? DB talking and all that shit like he the goods. I mean, prove that shit. What you need to... I don't want to hear that. Uh, I heard him say on Fight High, oh, he, he pulled out at first because he was in the WBC. Now he back, I guess, because uh, the Catterall, Catterall fighting... Um, Taylor, because I could have swore he said that um he was trying to fight dude next Catterall, but he took the Taylor Yeah, no, fight. no, no. Catterall right. was supposed to fight Hitchens, and he pulled out. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I said I'm saying Catterall pulled out to fight yeah. Taylor. So that's what I'm saying. You you talking shit? Jump jump straight to the title shot. Like I don't I don't be getting that, bro. Like he be on Twitter hating on everybody with a belt. Like T O uh Devin, he be hating on all of them. Man. He be talking the shit like. Show, show, show your worth. You, you, you saying you all listen all that, but you don't want to fight Matias right away. Like, come on, man, that shit crazy. I like, mean, I think he's I entitled. I think he's entitled to to take a fight in an eliminator in Matias's sanction and to see how he feels with the ten pound rehydration. That's what he's I mean, saying. Sure, he can do. I mean, I'm sure he can do what he want to do. I'm not. I'm not saying he wrong. You make this, this whatever decision you want to make. Though. I mean, but there's some soft shit. I mean, I'm I'm being straight up honest with you. I think that's not being so. I think that I think trying to see if you could fight in this division under these new rules is showing that you're not soft. Hold on. So he never he never fought he never fought in the IBF at 140. And he said he felt he did it a while ago and he felt bad with that 10 pound rehydration. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm just not believing that man. I mean, I'm I'm again. He entitled to what he. Yeah, uh, he entitled. He entitled to do what he want to do. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying like you know. What I'm saying like he a bum or nothing. I'm saying like you. You talk all this shit. You on Twitter. You hate on everybody. Oh, this dude got an easy belt. This dude got this easy. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. If you wasn't talking all that shit, maybe I wouldn't have these expectations for you. But you got to put your money where your mouth is. You. You saying these dudes food and all that. This guy food. This person food. Okay, you number three in the IBF, brother. What, 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 what you waiting for? What you waiting for? I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, you guys see how this feels. No, 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 no. You Catterall, they want to fight you. Okay, cool. You you right in next in line for a title shot. Why don't you want to fight Matias? Seem like, seem like don't nobody, seem like don't nobody really want to fight Matias, man. That's, that shit crazy, bro. I mean, dude, they make it seem like dude not beatable. I mean, anybody fucking beatable. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't get it. Like, Paro had a good uh, fight his last outing. Like, I heard his name before, but I never saw him fight until his last fight. And he showed me, son. So it was just like, damn, like, you in line for a title shot? You don't want to get a chance at the title? Neither. It's like, who else is over there for Matias to fight? Hey, champ, I don't, champ, I don't champ, know his champ. Own. The way Frank yeah, Smith yeah, sounded, it, the way Frank Smith sounded, he sounded like it, it was never going to be Paro. Yeah, that's so probably we can't gonna, assume. Gonna... We can't assume, bro. We can't he probably say throwing us off the out. set. I t- it's like I said earlier, they probably throwing us off the set so that Paro could think they got options and come back to more realistic offer, maybe. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm going based off of y'all title. I just, I just joined. The, nah, uh, for sure, the he's position. out. He's yeah. out. Frank Smith is the CEO, and he's saying that Paro is out. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know who else for Matias to get over there unless he wants to sit, sit down for a couple months. I doubt he want to do that. So wow. we just gonna have to see, man. Hitchens, you gotta step up, man. Nobody wanna hear that shit. All right, champ. Uh, Alex, what up? What up? What up? Yo, yo, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What is uh, up? So that's yes. Cool, cool, man. Hey, man, shout out to both of y'all. Yeah, man, hardcore shit. Uh, Hold on, I'm sorry. There you go. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, man, Sabrina Matias, man. I think that's perfect to put. Still hunting, man. Seems like he's been hunting for, uh, you know, some time. I uh, just can't seem to be, get the big names, you know. Now he's signed with Matchroom. I thought the Leon Paro was a was a great first 
first opponent within his new contract with Matchroom. It's somebody that people within boxing, I think he has a lot of people's respect. Um, in probably Matias, I would expect him to go ahead and defeat Paro. Uh, with him not being an option, I mean, you look at what's available, and it, it's spare, man. I mean, 140, you got to give it a lot of credit. I mean, they're getting busy. Hitchens, Catterall, uh, Ryan Garcia, Josh Taylor, you know, a lot of these guys already have fights lined up. So you go to what's available now. And it's like, all right, yeah, this guy, Machu Jemain, I believe, is how you pronounce it, according to Mitty. I'm probably butchering it. Sorry for all the French people, all the French listeners. We know Jose Ramirez isn't taking that fight, right? Uh, I like the Elvis fight. Um, you know, I'm sure everyone, man, every Puerto Rican I know has spent time in the Dominican Republic and vice versa. All Dominicans spend time in Puerto Rico. Um, you know, so I think they can get probably a good-sized crowd. I think it'll be a great atmosphere. And I think that's probably, that should be the focus. I think uh, their styles, uh, it'll be an interesting matchup. And I expect Matias to win, which, like you said, you know, like I said earlier, it's his first fight with Matchroom. They wanted to get him a dub because they do have artillery. They, they do have options. People, uh, you know, they mentioned uh, Dalton Smith earlier. He's actually fighting another option people mentioned, Jose Zapata which I felt a little bit, you know, Matthew maybe dropped the ball there. I think Jose Cepeda would have been perfect for Matias. Uh, then you have, you know, this whole sanctioning body thing. But, hey, I mean, the way I've seen things in boxing, I know they say the IBF is probably the quote-unquote strictest with the rules, but we've seen guys pop up in rankings out of nowhere. Um, I think another name, I think if it's pushed enough, could be Arnold Barbosa. He's been hunting. He's been looking for that fight. I guess the biggest thing would be would Golden Boy and his manager agree to it. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be another good clash of styles. But yeah, man, Matias is an inter you know, it's it's like it doesn't matter. It's a new outfit, but it's the same thing, man. Just just not getting the same attention or or the attention he's seeking. Um he seems his name seems to be buzzing when it comes to these Puerto Ricans. They're starting to really, really draw towards him. So I could understand why Eddie Eddie Hearn is trying to get him this Puerto Rico fight. You got to strike when the iron's hot, and right now it's it, it's steaming. Um, yeah, man. Just number one, let's get a fucking fight going. Hopefully, Leon Paro, maybe something changes. Uh, if not, there's still other options. It just, man, it takes two to tango, man. That's my call. All right, all right. Um. We got, shout out, Nate the Alien. What up? He says, yo, Ness, rocking that Alien Game shirt today. Fire emoji. Got some new hats dropping right now. Let me know if you want one. I'll DM you. Shout out, TBV. Like and subscribe. Shout out to the panel. Shout out to Alien Games. Flex emoji. Alien emoji. Yes, sir. Head on over to Alien Games and make sure you support the homie. <laughs> Uh, we got GM, $5 Super Chat, General Motors. Nah, I'm joking, but it is GM. Don't unifications trump Mandos? Why can't he fight Matias after Ryan? I mean, look, if that's the truth, right? We've we've heard that, but it's like a, a, a fucking urban myth, right? Like an urban legend. Like, let's see if it actually really trumps a Mando, right? Like, look, Devin should not be paying step aside money right now. He had 12 months from the date that he fought Regis to defend versus Sandor, and somehow Sandor is getting a check. That's that top-ranked money machine. Lake County, $2. I'm on the Ishmael Basurro bandwagon. Preparalo. I got you, champ. I got you. Um, Next GTO, Instagram and Twitter. On to the next one, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be talking Keyshawn Davis and Tiafimo Lopez in Honduras. I want it. Do you? I'm ready to travel. Are you? Let's do it. Talk to you then. Peace.